get the link and share it on all my socials. Oh yeah, I see you live now. Perfect. I'll be linking that. Alright, just post it on my Twitter and mm -hmm. there's the Discord. And now we give people a moment to come piling in. Hello, hello everybody, hello. Oh, yep, everyone's in the chat now. <laughs> hello everyone. Welcome back everybody who's coming in. Welcome back to Popco's Arcade. Uh, just letting everyone know right off the bat that Lyra is not currently here, but she will be joining us. Hopefully very soon, in like the next like 10 minutes or so, we decide to start up. And we've already got a super chat. Hello, Mothbot. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you guys are fast. So I know- 200 that... viewers. 200 already, my goodness. My, my freaking statistics haven't even updated yet. Yeah, I'm seeing 270, 280. Nice, nice, nice. We're getting a lot of people in here. Now, so everyone, I, I really pushed Pestra to uh, <laughs> continue the game because uh, I was watching yesterday until the very end. Well, actually, I was I I missed a bit, but I did re I did see the beginning. I was there for the beginning, and then I did also see the end. And uh, yeah, I felt it was unfair to all of you to not see uh, an immediate follow up. And so here we are. Um, you're welcome, everyone. <laughs> yeah, thank 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 Kane for this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was getting. Pestra, you, you, Hmm? You were concerned that you'd be, uh, you you were concerned you'd be a bit exhausted, which I'm not. I'm not blaming you. That, that's fair. I yeah. But, I was. Uh, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Um, I was worried last night after the stream that I was going to be too tired to be streaming it today after the insanity that happened last night. But I mean, yeah, I'm feeling. I'm feeling perfect today. Good. It reinvigorated you more than it exhausted you. Oh yeah, exactly. A good, a good FNAF game. My goodness. Yeah, actually, like. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There are, there are plenty of good. <laughs> oh, there's so many of them, but like, man, like, it was, it, like I said last night, it was one of those things where I was playing through the game and I was not, ex like, I know you said last time that you were, that there was going to be like some kind of meta stuff happening, but I didn't realize to what extent you meant when I was getting into it. Yeah. And I, I just, yeah. I lost my mind. <laughs> yeah, it seems like um, the content uh, in the secret ending stuff was right up your alley. Oh, Which is good. absolutely. I, I'm I a had no idea really, that. but <laughs> yeah, I did. I said uh, you mentioned something about how you found right at the beginning. You said you found it unnerving that you could see the cabinet. I think all I said was that we do take advantage of that at some point. <laughs> no, I I, <laughs> so... I I remember you told that to me like very early on in the stream, and like I don't know if you were there for like the middle part, but I was talking to Lyra. I'm like, what Kane said got me so worried. Now I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. I'm so concerned because nothing's happening right now. Mm. Yeah, uh, I am concerned actually because yeah, your your screen is currently saying that you cannot get to the machinist. Did you bring Bonnie back into the cabinet? I did at the end because people were telling me to. Do I have to? Do I have to go through her thing yeah. again? You'll have to. You have to just go through the um, the bare bath and then the well and then yeah. You'll okay. just have to. You won't have to um, defeat Freddy again. You can just save it, save the game and then go to the main menu. Okay, perfect. I just went to Freddy again. I just you know saw, what? yeah. What? You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reopen the game. <laughs> you can do that. That's fine. Yeah. Um, someone in the chat, how far along in the game are you? Um, you Pastra has just finished yesterday. He finished um, the Dead Forest, so the first campaign, and today is going to be dedicated to getting back to 100, percent which will take like literally two minutes, and then uh, continuing on to Pokers and the Machinist, which is the sequel that we released for the Steam release. And just to make sure, in order to get the 100%, um, do I have to like go through the sequence of uh, not attacking Bonnie, or does it work either way? You will have to, yeah, yeah. One percent is given only when you free Bonnie from the cabinet. Cool. So okay. yeah, you have to be a passive. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. This would be... And don't dig, for God's sake, don't dig, because some people dig as like a a a move that they consider to be passive instead of attacking. But if you dig and then you get a spiky shield. She'll, right. she'll attack us off. <laughs> she'll kill you. She's kind of daft, but that is true. So don't think. Jump, block, heal. Pretty much it. 
Okay, okay. So I'll, I'll just I'll do exactly what I was doing last time. I remember when I got to that sequence in my original playthrough, I wasn't healing and the chat was losing their mind at me because I was like getting yeah. so close to dying before she could finish talking to me. Yeah, it is it is possible to die. Um, it's it's difficult. Ten most people tend to do that when they're already at like max health. And I think if you just block every turn uh, on max health, you can't die, I think. But um, yeah, also some people were asking me, you actually missed an Easter egg in in this game. Um, I did. There's actually a series of gravestones in the Dead Forest, which yes. I think you missed. I, I saw the graves. Yeah. I saw the gravestones when I was looking for Bonnie's parts, but like nothing happened when I went there to them. Okay, so I'll just tell you what 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 it is then, because it's it's not huge. Uh, basically, um, obviously you explore the dead forest a good like half of the, halfway through the game, and then you get into the castle at the very end. So, um, if you see the if you see the gravestones when you're not in that like death spirit world, um, you actually see like a glitchy sprite. Um, swim across the moat mm. near the castle. And it kind of gives you a hint as to where um, Bonnie's soul is. And that's where you're supposed to kind of gather that you clip through the wall in the castle. But okay. you missed that, so I helped you out a bit. I found it funny. I was rewatching stuff from the stream because um, I was, I was kind of gathering some like clips and whatnot from the stream afterwards. And yeah. I found it so funny that... You started guiding me towards all the stuff with Bonnie after I said, "Oh man, it would be terrifying if something popped out of the street or the screen at me." Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I had to get asleep. I was like, I, I can't, I can't get asleep and not have you see some of that. So, <laughs> I gave you a few, a few hints. Yeah. Um. Someone asked, "What happened to your 100% safe file?" So, Pastra did something at the end of the, at the end of the live stream yesterday, where when you save Bonnie, an axe actually appears on the stump on the menu. The main menu and you can select that and then click it and it will bring bonnie's soul back into the cabinet it's not canon it's just an option we added to the game post release so that people could in experience the jump scare again if they want to um and he uh, Pastor did that so that actually minuses one percent from the progression so you have because you have to save her to basically finish the game canonically um so Pastor is doing that again because I, I had then, a lot of people in chat telling me to. Mm, yeah, it gives you an achievement, so. I wonder how many achievements I actually have. I didn't check before I started this. There are 20 per chapter. 20 per... My goodness, that's a lot of achievements to get. Mm -hmm. And there's some that you're not going to be able to get now in the Dead Forest. Uh, it's not the end of the world, though, obviously. Just if, if People who want to get 100% of the achievements, they're going to have to look up a guide before they play the game. I would recommend playing the game normally and then going for the achievements from starting from scratch. Because some of the achievements are tough. One of them is defeat Dead King Freddy without having any, without un unlocking any battle abilities. So jump, dig, and hook. Is and that... So that, obviously, is that, that also means you can't have them for Dead Bonnie or Dead Foxy, which is tough. It's basically like a whole run of the game without the abilities. Okay, and that, that gives you an achievement, yeah. So now we're able to start right. the machinist. Exactly, yeah, now you can. And also you have a gold title. Oh. Now, I will tell you, there is actually a glitch in this version of the game where you get a reward in your bedroom uh, for completing the game at 100%, when it should actually be 200%. So you, you get it early, but you can go have a look if you want. Right, right, I saw this I saw this on Twitter, right? You're supposed to get, like, a gilded version of Pop Goes whenever, um... Yeah. Now I'm not going to use this because that's not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to use that. It doesn't do anything. It's, it, it's entirely visual. If you want to do it, it's up to you. I don't mind. It's a oh. glitch. It's out. We'll, we'll fix it next time. Well, it, it it'll feel better to have it when uh when I got the two hundred percent. That is a self-imposed thing. I'm not. I'm not forcing that up on you. But that's very mature of you. So, Nora's gone. Hello. Oh damn. <laughs> Basically save the world. Okay, so this takes place a month after the events of Dead Forest. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, hello. <laughs> right, and okay. I know. I know you told me this last stream. Um, 
but I need you to refresh me on this. So, the Pop Goes, like, the Dead Forest I was playing all stream yesterday, that was, was that, like, the 2020 version, and then this is all the new content that was added? So, basically, yeah, um, the Dead Forest released in 2020, however, the Steam release not only has the sequel campaign, but it also did affect some things in the original. So, for example, there was no paints, and there was no bedroom, and there was no beast Jerry in the 2020 release. Okay. So those are all additional, uh, basically, premium features. Um, so yeah, the bedroom simply wasn't in the original game. Uh, in fact, if you go to your bedroom now, there should be a new um, thing on your desk. Ooh. Check that out. Second air one. She's also, do, do, do you want to share your screen with me on Discord? So yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot to. I got just a moment. It seems, it seems pretty caught up, actually, but I'll just make sure. Yeah, I always try to have as little of a delay as possible. <laughs> but it'll be still nicer to have the real time. It sounds good. All right, let's see what's in the bedroom. In the, in the on the desk, you said, oh, hello. Index, oh, hello. Yeah, the index is basically just the um, the machinist equivalent. Oh, there's a lot. And as you can see, yeah, there's, there's, about the, there's about the same amount. So, yeah, I would say the machinist is around the same size as the dead forest. Um, some it, it depends though. There's I think it can be bigger or smaller depending on like how much you complete. Also, yeah, your beast is not complete because you missed some gilded characters. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can actually buy gilded pages from Polly now. Oh neat, okay. I'm so surprised I found one on my first playthrough because I I remember after um after I finished the stream, I was talking to uh the baddest about like my experience with the game. And he was mm -hmm. like, how are you so bad at the game, but so much luckier than me? Yeah, I mean, you got the Gilded Cat us. really early. Like, that was insanely early. Like, that was within, like, the first half an hour. Also, don't re don't worry, I remembered my directions this time. Good, good, my god. <laughs> Hello, you're new already. Rusty. Oh, yeah, there's no corrupt animals anymore. You S saved the corruption, so... 65 attacks! God, okay. Oh, hello. Hello, Lyra. Uh, wait, could you say something again? Uh, you sounded kind of muffled. Oh, wait. Uh, am I shoot? Uh, let me... Oh, you sound, you sound better now. You sound better now. That's okay. fine now, yeah. Am I, am I super late or anything? Uh, no, no. We just started. Okay. Uh, it's actually very convenient, the timing. Um, I had, um... I had accidentally, um... Re taken away my 100% whenever I resummoned Bonnie into the machine, so I actually had to take a bit at the start of the stream to get that 100% back. So you came back right as I was getting into the machinist. Got it, okay. All you really missed was that uh, Minora got kidnapped, and now I need to go get key cards in an underground area, and I'm running around the West Forest looking for one. Ah, uh, gotcha. Also, you, I, you're a new NPC. Hello. There's nothing like a good rest. It's quite hard to relax, knowing someone could dig a massive hole from below me and take me away and never to Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my favorite. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Rusty Blink. I like this one a lot, actually. 95! Holy crap! <laughs> so Rusty Blink's a bit of a gas cannon. Uh, he has the lowest health, but he has the highest attack. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he hurts. Do I have a shield? I don't know. I used all my items on Freddy. Jump. Yeah, right. <laughs> It'll take me a moment to get used to this again, even though it's only been a day. That's fine. I'm here to uh, give some guidance on the first hour. Oh, hello. Those are new. That's a new, that's a new currency. You got the uh, Kane Carter power hour. <laughs> the Kane Carter yeah, power hour. Exactly. No, see if you if you're close to dying from anything and you you don't have many items, you can still just escape them, because you do have the escape ability from the dead forest. Right. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You there can it is! actually uh, nice new paint. <laughs> we, I was I was asking my chat if there was a way to get an orange paint, and they're like, nah, Pastor, you gotta get to the machine. I'm like, oh, I'm never getting it. <laughs> nah, you'll get it easy. There's five paints in each chapter, so they all start disappearing now. Oh, perfect. Um, I just read can... back in the chat. 
<laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so stone's not that bad. Yeah, each robot has their own sort of uh, unique kind of characteristics. So um, Blake is high attack, low defense. Uh, Pop goes is sort of like an all-rounder. Sarah has high defense, low, low attack. Saffron is unpredictable, and Stone is predictable, basically. Okay. Uh, you yeah. can get this book with a hook. Right. <laughs> However, there is a mechanic that you haven't encountered yet, which you'll probably find soon by reading a sign in the in in the cell below you. Oh, hello, Beaver. Now this this is a lock. I gotta say, the dialogue is some of the best I've ever read thus it, far. People, people, people really like the dialogue in The Machinist. I've had a lot of people say it's really funny. The, the dead voice is kind of generic, but in this game I kind of just stopped giving a fuck and just did, did like, almost Undertale type dialogue. I was about to say, like, already the dialogue is giving me very, like, uh, Undertale vibes where you don't know what the hell they're gonna say when you talk to them. And yeah, he, uh... I'm just gonna attack. Oh, nice, crit, okay. <laughs> That was all part of the plan. <laughs> nice if you go it. down to the inn, mm. there's another inn and there's something new. So if you read the sign... I'm trying to collect scrap metal to use in my shop. The more excess damage you do to a robot on its destruction, the more scrap... Oh! Okay, so... Like... I should be doing stuff like saving my hook for when something's like really close to dying. Yeah, absolutely. You can give that a go. Okay, nice. Oh, the fruit. Okay, so that's. Already. Still also, also actually, in the end. Right. Okay. I There's figured something was, in there. I figured it was gonna be the same. Well, Manoa's missing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, it can't be exactly the same, but it might be similar. We'll see. I think this uh, this sprite for Blake is really funny because it almost reminds me of the fact that Pop Ghost has a camera and just one eye. Yes, that that was talked about on Twitter recently. Yeah, he has one uh, one camera, uh, and some so people were asking me like, "That's so weird. Why does he have a camera? That's creepy. Oh my god, is that a mechanic?" I just have to tell people, it's so he can see things. <laughs> it's, it's literally it. It's just so he can see. That anyway, was, there's law here. That was me as well, because I saw that, I'm like, who's watching <laughs> me through Pop Goes? It's literally just a, like a design quirk, cause, so that he can like know where he is. <laughs> but it's, uh... you, get, you, get, you, gotta, you gotta tell people it's got deeper lore. You gotta, you gotta string it along. My bad. Also tried working with metal lately, especially after we salvaged those giant lasers. So I might be able to help you out and uh, if you come across any metal on your new adventure. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, he's a blacksmith! Sick! You can increase your attack and health even further. Nice! Okay, I'm gonna- I like the, I like the ring of Blake the blacksmith. Mm-hmm. Blake Smith, yeah. <laughs> If there's if there's one thing with these pop goes games I always appreciate it's the sheer amount of puns you guys worked into all the naming schemes for everything. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Like I remember um. All right, I don't have enough for that. Oh yeah, these are. Yeah, these are all more. Exp oh no, I can buy these things. Ability recharge and shield piercer. You can afford one um attack or HP up. Can I? The cost is four. My bag's three. Oh sorry, no, my bad. I got those numbers mixed up. No. Yeah, I'll, I'll save it. I'll save it for those because those sound really convenient. But what, what I was gonna say, I remember whenever I was younger, like um, in junior high, and like uh, like Pop Goes the original had just come out. I was yeah. always like, I was. I remember I was talking to one of my friends. I'm like, why the hell they name the weasel Pop Goes? And they're like, Zach, say his <laughs> name, and then say what he is. I'm like, what? He's his name's Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I still get people saying, oh my god, I just got that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. It's been years. It's been so many years. The old one sign's been replaced entirely with this thing. It looks like the new device on the desk in my room. I was wondering that Chica, the one who took over the area a while ago, is somehow back. Uh-oh. 
Um, so it's worth mentioning, the, the residents of the forest don't really understand technology. Like, they haven't really seen technology before. So when they see screens, it's like legit, like alien shit to them. Right, right. Hello, Woodpecker. You gave me hell They're during Dead Forest. Creatures. Sorry, Popgoes can't let you through. We're restoring the forest and it's dangerous work. But hey, I wanted to say a pink wrist <laughs> waistcoat. You go, dude. Break those gender- <laughs> We were literally calling this skin Fruity Popgoes last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he'll, he'll react to whatever color waistcoat you have. That's that nice. so good. I love that. Also, I'm, I, I'm not ready to fight an upgraded yeah. version of Chica because, like, even though Chica's like the first boss you fight, Chica was definitely the one that gave me the most trouble out of the three. Mm, you need to grind a little bit. Yeah, but definitely. But you can just check out this area if you want. Yeah, I definitely want to look around. You can call me the machine. You can escape whenever you want. When the king needed his crazy death lasers built, he knew I was the only one who could make them a reality. And we had a bit of a deal. I agreed to build the lasers if you let me do whatever I want with the underground. Cool, okay. And here we are. The king is dead, and uh, the king is dead, and you're now witnessing what I did with that power. Neat. Ooh, fruit. Okay. You know, let's, let's go look around uh, before I inevitably have to fight a boss and I have to run away. You can actually pick that um, ore off the off the wall. Oh. It's like a fruit. Oh, cool. Okay, that's good to know. There's a sign that tells you a bit about this later, but I think people missed it, so I just thought I'd let you know. I remember my jump ability this time. <laughs> Alright, so... Saffron, you said, is an unpredictable one. Mm -hmm. She'll, which means she crits a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, that's this new. The ability of this. Yeah. Uh-oh. We're just gonna jump? Oh! Okay, so it's like the charge, but multiple turns of it. Well, actually, so the, the outline is a shield. It's the exact same as yours. But the flashing she's now doing is her crits, technically. You'll see what it does when you block. Nice. Okay. Uh... Oh, she's... It's a stun. Oh, that's mean. Oh, that is mean. Okay, we're just going to heal, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So stuns will last three turns as well. Uh, hopefully she doesn't do it again. We will basically actually stun rock. Uh, also, in the next update, it's going to stun your escape ability as well. Oh, you're screwed. Oh, you can jump. Jump, 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 jump. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, robot, uh, charged robots, which are all underground, have two extra abilities, which is the shield and the stun. And there are items in uh, Blake's shop that can uh, nullify those. Right, because there, the, uh, there was the shield piercer I could purchase in there. Exactly. And then the ability recharge can actually oh. cure paralysis. Nice. Oh, there you go. So you don't even need to buy one. Perfect. I also feel like I'm gonna need to. Oh, hello, Sarah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna need to go purchase some uh, some of those spiky shields for myself. Cause I, I need to stock up again after that friggin' Freddy fight. All right. So oh, I kind of want to save it though. I wouldn't jump unless she um, charges, just because the stuns are absolutely a, like just. A, Disgusting. Mm hmm. Yeah, she's got Otherwise, I would just block. Right, yeah, because I can't do any damage currently, and I want to save these for scarier fights. I could have sure. just. I could have hooked. I can also run, so but I at least want to learn how to fight these guys. You, you can bring it down to 10 health if you just keep attacking. Oh, she keeps missing. This is great. And now you can hook her. Uh, do you have an attack plus? Uh, that is a good question. I think I think That's I fine. used all of them during the Freddy fight. Yeah, you probably did, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I did. Right, so there you go. So you just got one overkill. Uh, I think that's your second time getting that. Um, yeah, it is. And, uh, yeah, Sarah's really tough to get overkill out of. Um, I'll tell you here, overkill is calculated as one-sixth of the enemy's max health over what's required to kill them. So enemies with, with low max health, like Blake, will give a lot of overkill. Okay, so Sarah's not as worth it because she's ta that mimic. Hello. Oh wow, he's tanky too. And you can't escape. And I Sorry. can't. Oh. Yeah, mimic battles cannot be escaped. This is evil. Uh, 
Yeah, you're gonna have to actually oh, fight for your life. Oh no! Oh no! It's doable. Let me see what items you have. I don't got nothing. Okay, no, you, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Don't block unless, or well, I would, I wouldn't suggest blocking at all because if he charges, you should jump. Right. Um, and if he has a shield, you have a shield person. So. And there's the shield. So let's save the. Good thing I saved that. Oh my god. So this is gonna just apply to my next attack. Yes. Cool. So just hook whenever you can, jump if he charges. And also, the robots can only activate shields once, so you're fine. Nice, okay, that's good to know. Uh, I'm gonna heal a little bit. Also, mimics do not give any overkill, so don't bother with that. Okay. I'm saying I'm saying all this is if like um this is like exclusive information, but it's all told in the index. I'm just right. saving your time. Now that I know that the index is there, I'm gonna be running around reading it whenever I get the opportunity. There's just there was get get to hmm? go on. I was gonna say there's a lot of resources you had already in the game where I'm like, oh man, I wish I knew this, and you were like, oh yeah, you could just go to your room and there's a book that just tells you <laughs> everything you need to know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, um, I the map. I would have yeah, cried. There's no map. Thankfully, that was not. Oh, you. I think you. You win now. Yeah, if you just attack. Okay. Nice job. It was close, um, but we did it. Yeah, very close. Uh, so to get two hundred percent in the machinist, which you absolutely should do, uh, you will actually have to complete the beast Jerry and the index. Okay. Um, so you'll you'll end up consuming a lot of extra knowledge later on. There's the boss. Okay, I'm gonna have to go grind a little bit. So that that includes like all the gilded animatronics too, right? Well, there are no gilded robots. Um, so you'd have to worry about that. But there are gilded or uh, characters from the first game, obviously, and you can buy all of those from Polly's shop. Perfect. So near the end of the game, if you have been unlucky, you will have to spend quite a lot of money and but but there are features in the game to help with grinding uh post game, basically. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, right, because I uh because I got rid of all of them in the dead forest. Yeah, but it's fine. We, we weren't really expecting people to grind for, for gilded. That would have taken fucking ages. Yeah, that that would have been... Like, what was what were the odds of it again? Like, a, 1 in 120 or whatever? Yeah, it's 1 in 120 uh, per gilded. Uh, however, there are three gilded, uh, sorry, three gilded enemies that can appear in the dead forest. So, it's actually like 3 in 120. So, 1 in 40 chance in the dead forest to encounter any. Um, but yeah, there were there were six guilds in total, and they're each one in 120. So yeah, pretty tough. What so if... with Blake, actually, let's see if you can get more than one uh, overkill. Bring him down to I think he can bring him down to 20 health. Yeah, we'll, we'll be getting. We attack one more time. Nice. Okay. And now if now if you hook, you might get two. There we go. So it's good for grinding. If Blake's I... really good for grinding. If I crit him, I would have been very sad. All right, so I think exactly, I that's the thing. In this game, crits aren't always on your side. So cool. yeah, I can afford. I can afford uh, two stat boosts. Two stat boosts. Okay, perfect. And yeah, these are both two, so I'm gonna have to go grind a little bit for those. And also, you can change your color to orange if you want. Yes, yes, I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> Wait a minute, that you was right. That, I just left me. I was. Uh, if you didn't say anything, I was. Gonna, like, I was dead ass gonna run back to the garden. <laughs> right. Nah, it's in every shop. Every inn, sorry. There we go. I'm gonna try oh, to get all the paint buckets. I'm gonna try very hard to get all the paint buckets, but I'm gonna be rocking this the entire playthrough, so no pulls for my color this time, chat. Sorry. Uh, I think we're, we... Well, if you speak to the woodpecker, he'll tell you guys. something else. Ooh. I don't remember, remember what he says about... Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit uh, less... Um, risk, yes, please. Let's see. Sorry, Pop goes can't leave through. We're starting the forest and the dangerous work. Hey, I wanted to say, Minora's gonna love that orange outfit when you get her back. <laughs> love that. Go. So he is reactive. He He's like the only thing in the game that really, like, responds to your colors. We just, we just thought with this new feature, because paints are brand new to um, the Steam version, we thought, well, if we had this NPC to block people from this area, we might as well have him respond to your the colors. And there's some funny ones, like the uh, oh. the pink one. Oh, speaking of paints. 
Yeah, I saw that one in the corner. Yeah, it was just so funny though, cause like, literally during the chat, we were, like, everyone was like spamming like, uh, Fruity Pop goes whenever I saw the pink, and everyone was like voting <laughs> on that one. So it's just so funny that like, coincidentally, had a voice line that perfectly lined up with that. Oh, yeah, he's charged yeah, twice. I mean, yeah. He doesn't stun you though. Nice, okay. Only the, uh, charged ones do. Also, I think you, I think you need to save your game. Yes, you are right! I don't want to hear crap from the chat this time about me saving the game, okay? <laughs> I don't want uh, to hear it. You could have him down a little lower than that. Yeah, I probably could have. That's fine. It'll, be, it'll become a habit later on. It's a new mechanic, I don't blame you. Oh, what's this? Hello, you're new. It's a... <laughs> it's another mimic, yeah. <laughs> you knew this was going to happen to me. Of course I did. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sip of water first. You are such a These guys are tough. But these guys have a very specific pattern. I'm sure you'll figure it out. You're saying this to the person who didn't know what West was. Okay, shut up! <laughs> Leave me alone about <laughs> that! <laughs> Sending that freaking compass emoji to me without any other freaking directions on it. Cope. My chat never let me live that down. That is like, that is a permanently ingrained thing. I'm gonna be streaming like three years from now and someone's gonna be like, hey, look, you gotta go west. All right, fortunately he wasn't as bad as the chest. And hey, okay, he actually gave me what I wanted. <laughs> All right, let's get some items. Definitely want a shield. Ooh, hello. Yeah, right, okay, yeah, his, uh, we've got, like you said, the gilded uh, characters now. And oh, he can, he sells he sells decor for my room. Yeah, that's the most expensive item in the game, and it is required for two hundred percent. I'm sorry. Don't worry, I got it. I'll grind it. A thousand coins, but again, later on there will be uh, some things to help with grinding. All right, we'll get an attack boost. I can't afford the defense boost. Uh... Oh, uh, Zach. Yeah. I forgot to tell you, but I am. Uh, currently working on a unique chat sprite for this stream, so I thought it'd be fun. Perfect, sounds good. Hell yeah. Are you, uh, like, is that, like, something you're working on right now that, uh, we'll be able to have on the stream later, or is this, like, a future stream? Yeah, day? yeah, it, it, it'll, it'll be, it'll be done in probably, like, less than 30 minutes. Sick? Alright. I'm gonna try and get as many, uh, as many overkills on these guys as possible. It's a bit like um, the fainting mechanic in Pokemon. Wait, no, the uh, capturing in Pokemon. You have to bring them down to the lowest health you can before killing them, right? And then you... You play Pokemon, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I am a huge Pokemon fan. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I... yeah, although this is actually inspired by something from Inscription. Right, because you, you were saying the other night that you played Inscription and there was a machinist mechanic that was inspired. Yeah, it's this. Um, cool. The overkill mechanic. It's something... Um, there's something similar in inscription. It's it's entirely different in its execution. No! But it's inspired. Ah, oh, unlucky. But it's inspired by inscription, yeah. Really, really like that game. That was a game I had on, like, my list of games to play on stream for quite a while now. I know a lot of people You really can go into that boulder, boulder, by the way. There's, there's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah I, I didn't want to interrupt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should definitely play inscription. It's a good stream uh, game to stream. I think Phil will be playing it soon. I love the art style oh, of it. Oh, can he? We haven't had like a Phil stream in a good while. Yeah, he's been too busy with Half Plus, but he'll be getting back to streaming soon. I think he said on Twitter yeah. yesterday or maybe and today. I, and honestly, like I respect the grind of, of just being like, fuck it, time to just work and set everything else aside. I do miss his yeah. stream, so I'm happy that I'll be streaming again soon. But right, if he's, guys... he's working, he's working. These guys don't need the. Overkill, so I don't need to worry. He, he doesn't drop any anyway. He's a mim mimic. So he always gives you five anyway. Okay, hello, kitty. If I have to get fruit from one of these trees, I have to climb it. Like, I have to climb up the tree and throw something at it really hard. I heard that you just have to jump, a big jump, and then boom, fruit. Is that true? Seriously? What's my friend pranking me? Oh, the poor cat. You just showed in front of him, and he didn't seem to notice, which is funny. The poor guy's blind. 
Can't blame him. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, these these uh these encounters are the ones I really want. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be a good overkill though. I'm just gonna have to I'm just gonna heal and save uh save for the hook. Oh and I can use uh I can use the attack plus to get Maybe three. Four! Four Let's go! Not bad. Not bad at all. That that leaves that gives us ten. I'm gonna head back to Blake and get some upgrades with that. I don't know what to expect from Chica, but like for some reason I just cannot wrap my head around Chica's mechanic, so I'm very worried to fight her. Attack's always a good one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll just get the perfect. Save up a little bit more, and then I'll go see what Chica's like, and then I'll decide if I want to continue doing a, a bunch more grinding or not. Sounds good. The, min the mini bosses have auto saves, as we've already said, so it's, it's, it's safe to experiment. Yeah. I don't think a hook will kill him. No. You do one more normal attack and then hook. Perfect. Just the yeah, one. He's got quite a lot of health, so tough to give overkill. Your, your attack, uh, the new max attack in Machinist is 50, and the new max health is 500. So. You can still get quite a lot stronger. What kind of horrible monsters am I going to be fighting if my max attack is 50? There are some serious monsters in this game. I am so scared, because, like, I remember... Like I said before, uh... I, I forget if I said this before I started the stream up, or after. But, like, I got so many people who were, like, messaging me on, like, Instagram and Twitter, like, You struggled on Dead King Freddy, you're screwed! <laughs> Nah, you're you're all right. The experience is is what matters. Exactly. You've experienced a lot now. And in my defense, once I figured out his mechanic and I stopped gambling, I actually did like. Yeah, I, I think you struggled because you were so obsessed with those uh, those bonus sacks. It's not my. I think if you were to play safe, you would have been you you would have been it much faster. I'm... But it's it's a play style. It's up to you. I'm just saying you like. You didn't have to make it so satisfying to hit one of those yellow hits like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, originally those lasers were just um, visual, and then we decided, wait, hold on, let's we might as well make this game, this this battle a bit more deep, and uh, we went with those Golden Freddy, Shadow Freddy, Easter egg kind of mechanics. Right. Yeah. Also, I just got a super chat, twenty dollars from Festive. Don't you agree that the new Blake design got drip? Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I can't Nature's tell. Just the least amount. Hmm? Go. I was gonna say, I can't tell if you're talking about the uh, evergreen Blake design or the one for the machinist, but either way, yeah, I agree. Although well, Blake has the least amount of drip of all the characters. He, like, he literally is, like, naked. He's, just, he's like, literally naked, he's got, like, a tool belt. Isn't, isn't there a line of dialogue in the game that jokes about that? Yes. Yes, there is, yeah. Saffron in the Winter Forest, she says, I, like, I, 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 I just saw Blake here and he's wearing no clothes. What the fuck <laughs> is he doing? Like for everyone got a, like everyone got like a new outfit uh, for like the evergreen cast. And he's got like his little tool belt. Yeah, he's got a tool belt and he's got a lanyard around his neck with an ID badge. Stone's got his little. Oh wait, uh, go motion. Wait, go motion's in the chat. Go motion. Go motion. Where's go motion? Oh, yeah, go, go motion. motion. Astra, can I have a shout out and can I cameo in your YouTube video? <laughs> Absolutely. And where are you? I want to mod you. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Uh, pleasure having you in the chat. There you um, are. Here's your mod. You are now immune to the pains of slow chat. There you go, Gomo. All right. Let's see. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't. I did not get much more coins. And we've got three scrap right now. I'm gonna. You I'm can gonna try Chica. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Chica. I'm gonna try Chica. Wait, save your game, save your game. Good idea! <laughs> um, so in, in this in this game, because uh, there are many more enemies that can appear per forest, 
Uh, coin coin drops are judged by how much health the enemies have. So Blake gives five like coins, but he gives a lot of scrap potentially. And then the other way around. So Sarah, who has a lot of health, will give a lot of coins. Um, but generally speaking, no. it's harder to get coins at the beginning of the game. Um, so you will, you know, struggle a bit. But there are also there's no gilded, but there are coin bots. And coin bots were those chest mimics that you found. Um, I uh, Zach. Real yeah. quick, sorry to interrupt. Do you mind if I go to a guitar shop real quick with my dad? Oh, yeah. He's like, hey, I'm going to be going and picking up some gear, so I thought you might want to come along. I'll be right back. All right, if you want to head out, we'll still be here. Well, at least I'll still be here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've still got about half an hour. We'll see. All right, so... But I will still help with, um, with text later on. Yes, that is, you came in clutch for me multiple times during uh during the dead forest. Oh, I should have. I don't have a. I don't have shield piercer anymore. Just probably. block. Yeah. You don't want to jump in case she charges. Like that. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, we got another super chat. Lol, you missed my first chat, but hey, Pastor, hope you're doing well. It was a surprise to hear Kane's voice because his name was cut off on the stream title when I saw it. Yeah, uh, sorry, sorry, I missed Jumpscare. your original. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like you, you, like you jump scaring, like right? I didn't block. But like it's a, it would be like the most like softly spoken jump scare. <laughs> yeah, I don't like um, I don't like shouting. I'm not very emotional. So uh, yeah, I, I will probably be a uh, a fairly passive jump scare if I ever had one. I'm like Lyra when she came back during last night's stream, and I she nearly died. Sin screamed it nearly killed me yeah i was there for that that did hurt a bit <laughs> i'll see yeah, apologies to anyone whose super chats i miss like i said uh at the beginning of my last stream um i'm just like partaking a lot of conversation i'm focusing on the game so if i miss you um i'm sorry about that but that's just kind of how it's going all right let's see what uh let's see what rusty chica has got going on <laughs> okay so I'm assuming, I'm assuming she's going to be like a buffed up Chica with, uh, like the new shield and charge mechanics. That's exactly it. Yeah, she's, she's the same mecha same character, same enemy, same mechanic, but she can also do the, uh, charge and crit. Okay. Or charge and stun, sorry. So what, what am I talking about? Shield and stun. Uh, so she'll jump on this turn, I think. Or basically the next turn you attack. The next turn I attack, okay. Yeah, so don't, don't, don't use a hook because it'll be wasted. Right, because that was that yeah, exactly. was the thing that was the thing about Chica that was messing me up when I was specifically fighting the dead version of her, was that mm. um, I kept forgetting that she always attacked the next time or she always jumped the next time you attacked rather than just automatically on her third turn. Yeah, because if she if she always jumped on her third turn, then you could heal, and it would just mean she had basically no ability. So she has to use it when she, when you attack her, but it's just useless. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is her second turn, yeah. Yeah, so the next turn she'll she'll jump, but it doesn't matter because she's got a ship. Then now jump, yeah. Very nice. Let me read the chat. I need to join the stream for one second. Important. You want to you want to hop in like the VC go motion? Is that what you're saying? I'm gonna say the M word. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna say she's gonna come in here and say something that's gonna get me demonetized. Yeah, she's gonna actually just suspend your account for fun. I can, uh, I, I can add you. I can add you to the. Okay, all right, all right. She wants to be added to the Discord. I'll add her and see what kind of horrible atrocity she's gonna do in here. Uh, all right, let's go. I apologize in advance to anyone in the chat who is going to see YouTube take down this uh, stream after Go Motion doxes me. Uh, okay, where do I have you in my friends list? Just a second, gotta find you on my Discord friends list here. Did you change your profile picture, Gomotion? I can't find you and I identify people by their profile pictures. A name on uh, Discord's just Jody. Okay. I always have to search that. Yeah. 
Right, thank like, you. I always search Gomo on first attempt, and it just never appears. I always I always forget to write Jody there. All right, you've been added. Uh... Right, I jump. I got distracted by Jody joining. Hello, welcome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, she's here. Everyone in chat, thank you, Jody, for being here. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Go Motion. It was lovely time. That was sick. That was that was really good. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> God damn it, she, she distracted me. I can't I can't remember. Is this the second turn or third? Have you been paying attention? I have no idea, but you uh, yeah, I don't know. I I wouldn't risk a hook. Just We're attack. Gonna, okay, good, good. Okay, good. You've good. got good intuition. <laughs> Now you can hurt. Right. Ah, she killed herself. Nice. <laughs> and one of the chats saying woman jump scare. Yep. Uh, interactive fail. That okay, was, nice. Uh, very productive. Perfect, and we got the first key card. Okay, cool. Nice work. You're one step closer to saving your girlfriend or whoever this is. I hope machines weren't too much trouble for you. That's a lie, by the way. I'm actually amping up the trouble as we speak. I haven't even seen th this guy, but I absolutely love his personality. <laughs> yeah, she missed an ore in oh. the room where Chica was. Right, because you can collect the ores. I'm going to forget that a couple times. That's all right. Some people go the whole game without ever picking them up. And yeah, the machinist says some pretty uh, snarky dialogue. We're gonna... Yeah, right, because, uh... Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna... Cool. You're one mini boss down. Right, I'm a... What's your percentage at? What's my percentage? Oh, Let's see this, we'll find another second here. 120, okay. Perfect. Yeah, I think you get 20% per mini, mini boss, so yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, uh... So my objective is... Okay, speak to Sarah in the garden. And for a second it said that my objective was still getting the key card. Oh, I don't know. All right, we'll just leave you for now. Oh yes, I should remind you. You can also use the zip lines. So you, you may have missed something. Someone right. just just told me. I think you have missed something. Yeah. All right. Please don't be a crit. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. How many of these scraps do we have now? We got six. I can get some new upgrades as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go save first. I don't trust myself. I'll forget again. Got 1,100 viewers. Damn, we got a lot of concurrence. Oh, yesterday, I think. Yeah, yes, yesterday, uh, yesterday's stream was really big too. It, it, told, it told me at the end that the peak we had was 1,700 concurrence. Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's the biggest stream I've ever had. <laughs> That is power of Popco's. Sorry, Popco's okay. You need to you need to recommend this to other YouTubers. This will absolutely revive careers. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. There, seriously, there's very few people um, like watching this on YouTube. Let me have a quick check. If I search Popco's Arcade, most viewed in the last month, because obviously the game released this month. Let's see, this month view count. Yeah, the most viewed video of this game has 98,000 views. That's it. That is And that's insane. from Dorko. That, 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 that was from Dorko's, like, uh, playthrough. Yeah, Dude. that's from his first part. And then the next one has 66,000 and 64,000. There's no there's no videos of this game with more than 100k. See, I mean, there's from, like, the 2020 version, but it's just done really poorly on YouTube. That, that for some reason, like, really, really, like, surprises me because... Like this is this is like an officially licensed FNAF product on Steam. Yeah. You'd think. You would think, and I, I actually gave, I offered free codes to big YouTubers, and they actually some of them just I told me that they weren't interested. They said that they wouldn't fit their channel. Really? I was quite upset by that. Yeah, I gave free code. I'm not going to say who, but like the big FNAF YouTubers, the ones that you would expect them to play an official FNAF game. I get, I, I you know, I'm, I'm, it's surprising, but. We're doing our best. We had a, a bit of a, of a community push on on Twitter recently, which helped. 
Yeah, there was but, a. Um, yeah, it's, it's. Yeah, there was a. There was that community push on Twitter, and like, I can tell you for a fact, after after playing through the Dead Forest last night, like, I definitely intend on making a video on this after I finish the Machinist. Yeah, I hope that helps. That's nice. Thank you. I hope. Um, I think I actually think Jody might be working on one as well. Um, although she seems not as keen on FNAF recently, so I don't know how likely that is. But yeah, it's, it, we've seen some YouTubers sort of pick it up. And like uh, Astral Spiff, for example, he streamed it recently and he's going to play it again this Thursday. Um, but yeah, on YouTube specifically, it's it's really quiet, um, which we were surprised by. We were kind of, when I've said on Twitter that we kind of expected more of a reach and people were like, well, what, what were you expecting? This is just a, it's just a FNAF RPG game. I was like, I don't know. I, was ex I don't know. I was just expecting some of the bigger YouTubers to at least mention it. Well, um, but it's been really quiet. Yeah. I feel like I feel like that logic is still kind of strange because everyone played FNAF World when that came out. Yeah, I mean, FNAF has had FNAF World, uh, Freddy in Space, For Yuri's Rage, um, and like Chomping with Chomper, which came out, which was a, a teaser game with a similar kind of role as arcade. Which uh, for chomp for chompers, obviously. Uh, if I check chomping with chomper viewers uh, views, uh, uh, check this out. Chomping with chomper has 1.2 million views on Fusion Z Gamers channel, 1.1 million views on GT Live channel. So there's 2.3 million views on just two videos there. And that's, that's literally a, t a teaser game with way less content than arcade. And I'm not putting that game down, even though Ultra Knights is a complete dickhead. But like, kind of surprising that these those channels didn't pick up on, on this game. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I genuinely can't wrap my head around, like, what it is, like, with this specific game that's making it just kind of, like, go under the radar. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of theories, right? The, the theory is that, like, this game originally released in 2020, and a lot of people don't know that there's, like, literally a built-in sequel into it, uh, with way creepier no, not spoilers, but actually much more disturbing sort of um, Easter eggs in it. Um, and there's the theory that it's paid for, and some YouTubers don't like respect. I guess the idea of fan games being sold. Um, there's, uh, I don't know. I, I really, really don't know. Dorco had a perfect response to it. He played it exactly how he normally would. His thumbnails are really good. His playthroughs, his reactions are really good. Um, he helped a ton. Um, Obviously, what you're doing right now, there's a thousand people here, and there's been a, a huge sort of response on, on Twitter in, as a result of this and the drama recently. But yeah, big YouTubers have really just sort of ignored me. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Really, I don't really know. I can tell you too. Um, after after the last night stream of the Dead Forest, um, I went and checked in on my Discord server after the fact, and I saw a lot of people who, um, like, both on my mod team and also in just, like, in my general chat, sending screenshots of them playing the game for the first time after seeing me play it, so... That's if, nice. That's if, it, nice. if it means anything, um, I got people within my community actually trying the game out after my uh, stream the other night. That's that's very nice, yeah. I mean, I think I've seen Phil have a similar effect with him just basically annoying the <laughs> hell out of everyone to play the game. But, uh, yeah, you, you've got a bit more of a friendly approach to it. Um, but, yeah, that's really cool. I, I, that's awesome to see. A lot, less, um, a lot less aggressive than Phil's Twitter is about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, I, it's equally effective. I mean, I don't... I can't, it's I true! The hustle. <laughs> I, I love checking it on Phil's account because, like, he, he was slowly, in more clever fashion, like, weaving in the same sentence of just, like, you can check out Popco's Arcade for four ninety nine on Steam, including the Machinist expansion. Like it was slowly getting more and, and more complex. Cards. <laughs> with the trading cards and achievements. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's great. Yeah, people are, are. In fact, we recently ratioed YouTube Gaming on Twitter. Oh. Uh, YouTube Gaming on Twitter, they they tweeted, "What's your favorite animal themed game?" And I quote retweeted it saying, "It, it counts, right?" <laughs> uh, obviously, you're referring to Arcade. And then there were a like, I got like five times as many likes on my tweet and then there were tons and tons of replies on youtube gaming's tweet saying that their favorite animal themed game is poker's arcade and there are other people on that tweet asking where all these bots came from they think that everyone who's making who's, who's doing this meme is a bot so uh we'll see what happens but Let's... yeah uh twitter is definitely the most sort of active sort of supportive place for arcade right now um 
thousands, like tweets are getting thousands of likes. Fan art's doing really well. Um, yeah, speci it is specifically YouTube that I'm just really surprised by. But yeah, maybe it'll pick up eventually. I figured I figured YouTube would be like the number one place for uh yeah. for pop goes arcade and then like twitter would be like a smaller thing but like to see to see twitter kind of exploding with a lot of stuff on it um like especially recently and then seeing youtube kind of just being very mellow like yeah that was very shocking I, I guess, to me I, I guess watching someone play an rpg game obviously i i know that watching an rpg game isn't as exciting as watching a horror game i get that uh i was never expecting this to be as as popular as evergreen or fucking the original pop goes but um yeah it's, it, it is strange because th this game has some moments that you really would want you really would expect uh youtubers like gt live or fusion z gamer or maybe ryan recording reactions for uh, i don't know if they just don't know about that content but um i am i would love to see that happen eventually maybe maybe in like a year people will sort of pick up on it and it'll be like a cult classic kind of thing <laughs> well, <laughs> that's wishful thinking but uh... Like, dude, I can I can imagine I can just imagine the reaction of of uh, things like GT Live to especially um to especially the Black Rabbit scene at the end because like yeah I mean you were there whenever I got it I can only imagine what yeah. like Docco's reaction was when he saw that yeah I honestly think GT Live is a really good one um I emailed them with a free code an explanation because he actually played uh, Matt Pat he played Pop Goes on stream I think it was earlier this year. After he heard about Pop Goes the series being in the fanverse. So I emailed him saying, hey, you played Pop Goes, which actually isn't in the fanverse, um, the original game, but this game is. This is an official FNAF spin-off, uh, licensed, produced, endorsed by Scott Cawthon, and it's now on, ste on Steam. And I gave the free code and I never got a response. So I don't I, I don't know if um, if his fucking receptionist or whatever just sort of saw it as maybe spam. But, um, Maybe one day, maybe one. Because I really do think his reactions and his sort of theories and stuff. Because this game, Arcade, is obviously the first entry in a reboot. So you don't have to understand the previous lore. This is, this sets up pretty well, I think, the new story. Um, so having him sort of speculate that with the, with his viewers would have been really cool to see. Well, and obviously there's, there's, no, there's no time limit, so maybe he'll play it next month or in a few months. I don't mind. Yeah, because the, the the game is still like relatively new, so I think giving it like uh like a couple months to see where it goes from there, especially especially yeah, with the sort of insurgence that it's had on Twitter, I imagine that like you know some of the bigger people are gonna start seeing that people on Twitter talk about it more, and it may lead to uh it may lead to more and more like uh, attention on the platform. Because I I would love to see um I'd love to see GT Live playing that because like you know like like last night um whenever I saw that collect prompt show up on my screen. Like, as somebody who was really invested in the lore of, like, the original 2016 game, once everything kind of clicked, it was such a cool moment. I feel like someone like Matt Pat, he would absolutely be on top of that. Mm -hmm. I'll actually say, um, I played the clip of you figuring out the, um, the collect thing to my, fa my family at dinner today. <laughs> that was actually played on my phone in front of my parents. And um, yeah, it was very fun to watch you, watch you sort of uh, kind of that, that, res that re revolution, revelation, sorry, appear in your head. And yeah, I think I think seeing Mapat or any other sort of big YouTuber give it a go from scratch, you know, not knowing anything about pop goes and something, figuring it out or whatever, yeah, it would be really fun. So yeah, it's still it's only been out for basically a month. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not all doom and gloom. There's still a lot of um, support. And there's plenty of time left, so it's not something I'm, you know, moping about. But uh, if anyone in chat has any idea, has any um, recommendations for other YouTubers who could play this game, you know, don't spam them, but let them know the game exists, I guess, in the comment sections of their videos and stuff like that. Because um, yeah, maybe the, maybe some of them just don't know about it. Because Pastor, you only figured, you you only did you find out about this game recently, or did you know about it uh on the launch? So what it was was that I knew about this game since launch, and um, I saw like uh, I saw the baddest playing it, and um, the the game came out whenever I was just releasing my like massive like two hour long Bendy and the Ink Machine video. Right. Uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. And he's gonna. Oh. 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 Perfect. I need him to charge. But that that um that the game came out right as I was working on like a, my movie length Bendy video, and that was taking up all my time. And then I had been in the background of 
editing that, I was working on my video on Epic Mickey by playing through the game. So I was always yeah. like, I'll get around to the game, I'll get around to the game uh, once all these projects are done. And then by the time I uh, finished all that stuff, you know, I noticed on like uh, Twitter that Pop Goes Arcade was having a massive insurgence from all the stuff happening. And I was like, well, I was going to try the game anyway. This is literally the perfect time for it. Hmm. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, and I don't blame you. And maybe there are other people in a similar situation. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not upset with anyone. Uh, I'll just continue to promote the game, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, recently, it, the game has sold better than usual. We were kind of um, uh, plateauing at about 50 sales a day, but with the drama, with trading cards, and now with your streams, we're now going up to around 100, 200 a day. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, it's good. To, it's good to have a little boost near the end of the near the end of the month, and we'll see how long it lasts. But um, yeah, it's very nice to have some support. <laughs> I picked it up and moved it out of the way. <laughs> Did I put it back just to mess with you? <laughs> or we just climbed over. Who knows? It's my head cannon. She picked it up. Did you interact with the well, or did you? So I can tell. I did not interact with the well yet. Note to self: scrap the blossom forest entirely. Just bring oh, it. we f we left this in. And the gateway down. We spawn. Wait a minute. You know what? I'm gonna go now, and I'm gonna go and let Emil know. I can't believe we left such an important bug in the game. Kane, don't um, you do this to me again? <laughs> you, you, um, you just—I would like not <laughs> investigate that. That seems something that could maybe break the game. Kane, uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll leave you to it. I, mean, I, need, I need to relay that to Emil. I think he's still awake, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll leave you to it. Kane, Kane, no. Chat. <laughs> Chat. Bought my copy after yesterday's stream. Really like how it looks and we'll be playing it on my channel at some point in time. Sounds great. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Can't wait to see that. Chat. Kane just... Kane just left me here with this. Kane just left me here. Excuse me? Are you guys... Are you guys seeing what just happened to me? Like, what the hell? <laughs> I can- Listen, listen, chat. If Kane puts me through another one of those moments like I had to deal with last night, if I have to deal with another one of those, like, horrifying third- like, fourth wall breaking moments, I'm going to lose my mind and I have nobody here to calm me down. Nobody here. <laughs> We're gonna- <laughs> We're gonna read this. <laughs> We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> but I, I'm worried. Okay, note to self, scrap the Blossom Forest entirely. Just bring back the lock gate from the original game to block the entire area off. Entire area off. Adding the gate might automatically spawn gate keys around the forest. They can't be deleted. Block those off as well as they can't be deleted. Block those off w as well with a woodpecker NPC. Lastly, wipe the woodpecker's code before shipping the expansion. It has a weird connection with the painters, paint bots in each forest. No idea why. Okay. So, um, okay, so chat, um, I know, I know there's gonna be some people telling me what to do with a lot of these things, um, I'm only gonna I'm gonna be I'm only gonna be looking at chat for help with this stuff once um if I'm not able to figure it out myself. Because it looks like we've got some crazy glitch stuff happening once again. Um just like we had in the Dead Forest, and I wanna see where this stuff goes myself now. Um Oh, hello. Oh yeah, Emil's offline, so that's a, that's a <laughs> Oh damn, you yeah. just came in at me dying. That's tragic. That is tragic. But of course you've been saving your game. Oh, yes, I have been. When did I last save? So, we're back in the West Forest. Uh, I don't know how much progress I just lost. But, uh... I swear to God, if I have to see... If I have to see the crap I did during the Dead Forest again, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> 
I have. I already. Well, I already... I, let me clarify. There is something. Just so you kind of have a better understanding whenever anything happens. Uh, Bonnie is gone from the arcade cabinet. You freed her in the dead forest. Right. So anything you see in this is actually in the game. It's not like a outside force. Um, so yeah, if you saw something in the well that wasn't meant to be be there, that sounds like some kind of bug. It's that's you know what I mean. It's kind of a it's kind of a it's kind of a funny bug to just have sitting around in there. I, I must say. What did it say? Oh, it, it said something about uh, it said something about scrapping the blossom forest, something about gates, and uh, something about the woodpecker NPC blocking some keys. It was kind of weird. Yeah. So the blossom forest is is what the north forest was before it became the dead forest. Right. Um, so we we were supposed to bring that back. If you if you read at the end of the dead forest, um, someone's like, oh, so we can go back to normal, and Sarah's like. Well, we have to re we have to restore the dead for we have to rest restore the north forest before we can call things normal again. Um, so yeah, we were supposed to do that for this game, the machinist, but we ran out of time. Oh, oh so yeah. So we blocked it off with the with the gate, and um, yeah, we had to yeah just just ignore that. I would, oh, I would, I, would not I, that. I understand completely those pesky time limits. <laughs> yeah, we really needed this out um, on July first. Uh, for the expansion, anyway, and um, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, also you you missed a paint bucket. I did. Yeah, just above this cell, I think. Okay, perfect. Speaking of paint, uh, you know, you know, just just because, uh, just because, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a little bit curious. I know you said it's just a it's just a bit of a problem with the development, but you know, they, they mentioned something about uh, the woodpecker having a weird thing with paint bots, and I happen to have one that I acquired from a paint bot, so you know. I'm I'm just for no reason in particular gonna try putting that on and you know seeing what happens if I interact with him because he likes to comment okay. on my paint bot or my on my paints. Yeah, right. Well, you can do that, but if a bug happens, I'll just report it, and I would suggest everyone in chat kind of ignore it. Yeah, we we, we wouldn't want uh we wouldn't want a meal's work being uh being screwed up like Exposed. this live on stream, yeah, right? I, like. I don't know. I don't know what happens. Um, that was that note would have been put by someone else, so I, I, I don't know. But you can check it out if you want. <laughs> Everyone in chat is telling me that you are insanely hard to read because of how monotone you're being about this. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, there's the paint bucket. That's a nice. That's a nice like. <laughs> you're so mean. Yeah, there's one paint bot. There's one paint bot per forest. Okay, good to know. Well, now I've got options to go talk to that woodpecker wick. Not that I suspect there's anything wrong with the woodpecker, of course. Uh, no, there, there might be. Uh, I'm not going to joke around. There might be something wrong with the woodpecker. Uh, <laughs> but we, you know, we've already released two updates, and sometimes we miss things like this. So, two point three, yeah. we'll probably fix it. Also but again, Emil's got... off offline, so I thought I'd just come and watch. So we got a. Uh... Grover here with the super chat. Guess who likes giving away money to awesome people? <laughs> it's me. Well, thank you. That really means a lot to me. All right. Oh, oh, he lived with two health. Oh. Nice. Oh my god. All right, we got some indigo paint. Uh, now here's the hard part: is remembering where the inn is. I can do this. You're going towards the woodpecker. Right, okay. Ends this way. Oh. To the right of this one. Go away. So if, you want, if you wanna if you wanna put on the um you wanna put the indigo paint on because it's from this forest and then speak to the woodpecker? Yeah, that's what I'm wanting to do. Is that what the well said? Uh the well said the well said that the woodpecker seemed to have a strange interaction with paint bots is what I recall. So right, okay. my immediate thought was, oh, we've got weird paint bots and he comments on my paint colors. So maybe something's going on with that. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll record it on um, on my side and if, it, if something weird happens, I'll send it over. Yeah, yeah. Be, be sure to let Emil know. I wouldn't want, uh, I wouldn't want these glitches getting through. <laughs> 
Probably got a super chat. Uh, the paint is lead paint. Don't expose the poor crow to that. <laughs> He's a woodpecker. I'm not exposing the crow to anything. Woodpecker's up for grabs. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, though. That means a lot to me. <laughs> All right, let's... I didn't save when I was in that. You know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave. I forgot to save, and I don't want to risk anything. I'll have to go on the hour, which is pretty, which is coming up pretty soon. So. All right, I'll get, I'll get to the woodpecker as fast as I can here. See if something happens. See if you can catch any I hope bugs. Not. I don't, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he should just say that he should just say something nice about the the, the waistcoat. Hopefully. Sorry, Pop goes. Can't let you go through. We're restoring the forest, and it's dangerous work. But hey, I wanted to say, Indico. Uh uh! Chat! Chat, did you. Chat! As soon. As soon as the woodpecker vanished, with perfect timing, Kane vanished! As soon. As soon as the woodpecker vanished, Kane left! And we're. We're on the hour where Kane had to go, because Kane could only be here. Kane could only be here until uh, until eight my time, but it's 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 midnight his time. Oh my god! I freaking knew it because because the thing um the the message the message at the well it said that um it said that the gate was gonna be closed off and that they had keys to get through it and then in order to get those keys are it had. I forget, if it's, I forget what specifically said, but it said the woodpecker had strange interactions with the paint bots. So I, I, I immediately was like, okay, there's gotta be something up with the new paint colors. Woodpecker went to the back rooms. <laughs> yeah, he did, guys. I knew something had to be, uh, I knew something had to be up with this. Oh, that's so freaky, though. I hope that Kane reports that to a meal, man. I, I, don't, I don't think that's supposed to be in the game. <laughs> I I immediately knew. I'm, I'm actually really happy I figured that out when I did. Cause like that, that was entirely me. That was entirely, I'm sure there were people in chat who were also like telling me, but that, that, that was me. I have a feeling you'd have an answer to this question. Do you have a favorite Animal Crossing villager? Yes, yes I do. Uh, first of all, thank you for the super chat and my absolute favorite Animal Crossing villager is Tabby. I love her to death. She has been on all my islands. But now we've got one of the keys. Um, oh, this is, this is already so cool. This kind of like, this kind of like weird, like, I don't want to say ARG stuff, but like this weird sort of like meta stuff is what I'm really living for with this game. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a strange glitch, isn't it, guys? That's, that's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, re I really hope I know. I know we lost Kane the second that, the, that this weird glitch happened, but I'm, I'm really hoping that uh, he was able to see that in the stream so that Emil can know. Cause I'm, re I'm really worried that, you know, people are gonna start buying this, uh, copies of this game after the stream and they're gonna have to experience that game-breaking glitch. I adore this game so much. Ugh, yeah, me too. Thank you for the super chat, that means a lot. I should save an upgrade, yeah. So, now that we know, um, now that we know that something's up, I'm immediately going back to the West Forest, guys. Um, I'm immediately going back to the West Forest. And I believe it was the silver paint we got from the West Forest. Kane Pecker knows how to play us and it's so perfect. The way that Kane just vanished in perfect sync with that woodpecker disappearing, I had, like, I freaking sent chill down my spine. Like, that's insane. This expansion's already crazy. Oh wow, he really hurts. Fortunately, I can jump here. Yeah, quote unquote glitch. It is a glitch, guys. Kane told me it was a glitch. Kane would not lie to me. Kane is a very honest man. From the time I've spent having Kane here in these VCs and in the chat with me, he's only ever told me honest truths. Like that horrible wall glitch he encountered, uh, that horrible wall glitch that he encountered back in the dead forest. 
Man, that stuff, that stuff was... I'm really, I'm really glad I was able to expose that for him. Okay, we got some upgrades. Uh, we're gonna save after we got those upgrades. <laughs> this is so cool, though. <laughs> All right, we got. It was the silver. Yeah, silver paint. Oh, also let's uh, let's check let's check this. Uh, let's check our index. An all around a robot enemy. Its metal plates appear rusty and weak. Right, because there's the um. Oh, that's actually really neat. There's a different. Uh, there's gonna be a different version of each robot. Um, there's gonna be a different version of each robot in every single area. God, that's so cool. Man. Actually, let's look through this whole thing. I know Kane likes his secrets, and he... I guess we got that. We got the different mimics of the different kinds. Oh, and there's Chica. Oh, boy. Happy that we can help fight Kane find those glitches. I know, right? Like, I'm really glad that I can be here to help out Kane, uh, like, weeding out these glitches for the... For, like, a more... Uh, for more... What's, what's the word? Um... Polished, that's the word. For a more polished product, you know. I'm really I'm really happy that we can be here uh, to really make sure that he's able to refine the game and make it as good as possible. There's a weird glitch in this game where you can teleport to a scrapped unfinished boss. Hmm. That's kind of strange. It's all lies and you know it. I did not mean to block here. I always do that during these fights. You know what, we're just gonna escape. Uh, and make our way to the West Forest. Although, uh, yeah. We're, we're just gonna make our way to the West Forest, guys. Because we had the Woodpecker was blocking the way to... And he was blocking the way in Chica's area. I love it so much how every single area so far has had a different version of these robots waiting for us in there. That's really neat. I think now nah, we kill him. We do forty-two damage. I've got to. Keep, I've got to remember that. God, this is this is so good though. Just wait till Lyra comes back and Lyra gets caught up in like the insanity of this. Quick abuse the glitch before it gets patched. Yeah, we're we're gonna use this glitch for speed running, guys. We're gonna we're gonna get the world record Pop Goes Arcade speed run, and Kane's gonna be able to do nothing about it because I'm gonna get the world record before he can patch it out of the game. Hey, welcome back. We're uh, we're glitch hunting. Damn it, <laughs> freaking Crits! Crits used to be my best friend, freaking. Crits used to be my best friend during the Dead Forest, but Machinist, I hate them. I hate them so much during the Machinist. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna check what's up here. Alright, we've already been up here. Um, we gotta get back to the Woodpecker. Okay, okay. Let's try not to crit this time, because I'd like to rack up some scrap while I'm, uh, you know, finding some glitches for Kane and being a very good Samaritan. Okay, okay. Perfect, no crits. And he's charging, that's good. Nice, we got that overkill. I'll remember where things are, guys, don't worry, I'll remember. Uh, yeah, I've played Portal before. Portal's actually one of my favorite uh, game series. Alright, let's see. Sorry, Pop Goes, can't let you through. We're restoring the forest and it's dangerous work. But hey, I wanted to say, man, Kane, I'm just saying, man, you have this glitch happening with every single woodpecker NPC. I think you really should work on that, like, and, a, and another glitched out key, like, dude, I understand that you were in a rush, you and your team, but like, <laughs> don't forget your water. <laughs> Thanks, chattel. I'll take a sip of water now. Six hour main game speed. Shut up. Leave me alone. <laughs> Six hours wasn't that bad, guys. Come on. Are you slash J or slash serious? That's up to you to decide, really. But no, I'm like, I'm, I'm really helping Kane here find these glitches. Kane told me that, you know, 
that information was not meant to be in the game, you know, that, that like, whole thing in the well, and, you know, he very clearly was in a rush to go because he was so embarrassed by me finding that glitch whenever the woodpecker showed up. I mean, Kane left the second the glitch happened. Like, if I was in his boots, I'd be embarrassed too. I'd be so embarrassed. It's like, I can't blame him. Alright, that's another scrap. Alright, so we uh, we have two keys now. Um, and are the keys actually like... Okay. So we've got two keys. That leaves uh, that leaves one to the east, which we've yet to find. We're going to save right now. Kane was rushing so fast you're about to playtest the game. I know, right? Like, man, it's so horrible these deadlines that Scott put on his audience. Like... Like, these fanverse developers are putting in all their work, doing all the best they can to, uh, to ensure that we get, like, a good experience out of the game. And here's, here's Scott rushing them and forcing all these terrible glitches to still be present in the game. Like, honestly, if my heart goes out to Ken and his entire development team and Emil, like, to have such horrible <laughs> game-breaking glitches. Alright, uh, let's see. We got 140 coins. We can use them to buy some more items. So, um... Right, we gotta go back to the South Forest, because we haven't actually fought, um, we haven't actually fought Foxy yet. So, for Foxy, we're gonna need to stock up on shields, and I feel like Foxy's gonna one-shot us. Alright, we'll stock up on shields, uh, we have enough for one pizza, or you can buy some defense or attack upgrades. I'm gonna buy some defense upgrades, and we'll buy a single attack, and yeah, that'll that'll be the items we go in there with. Um, so we're gonna make our way back to the South Forest. Hi, Pastor. What's your favorite song? Uh, my favorite song. My favorite song is by King Crimson. It is the Court of the Crimson King. If you have not heard that song, please do. It is an it is an experience. That that song is an that song is just. That, that's, a, that's a song I literally need to, like, sit down and do nothing else to listen to. Because it is just such a ride. Uh, yeah. So we're going to the South Forest. We're gonna go, uh... The main game is supposed to be three hours. That's half of your playthrough. Very good speedrun time. Thank you! Thank you. I've been really working hard on getting better times. I'm really glad that you're appreciating the time I'm putting in here. Oh, yeah, also, because Kane had to leave. I know we're gonna have Kane in the chat here helping me through the game, but I'm gonna just remove him from the title because I don't want people to think that Kane's gonna be in VC with me now, who are just coming in. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try and get some bonus scrap here real quick. Pastor, what's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, my absolute favorite Pokemon, and it has been my absolute favorite Pokemon for years now, is uh, Cacturn. I love Cacturn. Um, Hoenn is probably my favorite Pokemon region. And um, I love Cacturn's design. I love the mixture of like a spooky sort of scarecrow and a cactus. Um, dark types are like my favorite typing, so he kind of fits right in with that. Um, he's awesome looking. And his shiny is orange. And I have an appreciation for any Pokemon that are orange. Pastor, if you were stuck in any horror game universe of your choice, where and how will you survive? Uh, thank you, first of all, for the uh, $5 donation. That means a lot to me. And if I were in a horror game universe, I would choose to be in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. And the way I would survive is I would quit my job. There you go. And that's how we win. Right, there's a big-ass pit in the ground, Zach. Should complete my current task before exploring this area. Right, speak to Sarah. I completely forgot I had to speak to Sarah in the end. I was so distracted. I was so distracted by all the crazy, uh, uh, you know, very unintentional glitches that are happening that I completely forgot that I had an objective. I think he's better at reading chat with no one around. Well, yeah, of course I am. I'm not currently preoccupied by having a conversation with people. If I'm having a conversation with someone, I'm gonna partake in that. No offense to chat, but... Do you accept fan arts? Also, how you doing? Uh, thank you. I'm doing absolutely. I'm doing really lovely. I'm having a great time tonight. Um, and yes, absolutely. If you if you want to draw fan art, go for it. It is. I think I think fan art is like the greatest form of flattery. Just to like see somebody, 
like your stuff enough to be generous enough to make you something to show their appreciation. I will never say no to that. Also, we're just going to hook him because I realize he's going to kill me. Nice, we got a double overkill. My favorite non-horror game is Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is my favorite game of all time. Although, if I had to pick a second favorite, it would be uh, Undertale. The robots underground are much more powerful than what's upstairs. They are capable of activating force fields, which block all incoming damage for three turns. Yeah, okay. And they can also charge up stunning attacks, which can... Yeah, okay, so this was stuff I learned from when I actually came to VC and I was fighting them. So we're gonna save this. Uh, okay. Right, because we have to go to the Garden Inn. I was sitting here thinking any inn. Fortunately, we got this hole right here. Hello, Sarah. Oh, great job, Pop Goes. Where was it? In another cave, similar to the to the one here? Hmm. Then there are probably even more. You should check the South Forest next. Right, okay. So yeah, I gotta go to I gotta go to fight Foxy. How much do you know about Hollow Knight lore? I know it I know a ton about it. Hollow Knight's my favorite game. I read up on the lore of it a lot. In fact, I got so invested in the Hollow Knight lore that uh, there were some bosses that actually had me tearing up and one that even had me crying when I fought it. Because I'm very emotional and get really overly invested in video games. <laughs> Hello, machinist. <laughs> Should I do a funny voice for him? Should I do a- Okay, you know what, you know, chat, let's find out. Uh, do you think I should read him normally, chat, or should I do a funny voice? Uh, let, let's- let's hear it. <laughs> yes, yes, okay, yeah. Funny voice, funny voice. <laughs> funny. <laughs> All right, we're seeing an overwhelming amount of people um, asking for a funny voice. I'm gonna drink some water because when I do funny voices, it hurts my throat if I do them too much. I think I have a voice I want to do for him. Back so soon, weasel. Do me a favor and slow down a bit. My cameras are tracking your movements and attack patterns to improve my robots. They were initially based on Manora, but she's not exactly a fighter, is she? You just carry on with what you're doing. Don't mind me. <laughs> I love this guy. The machinist? The machi I haven't even seen the guy and he's my favorite character in this game. Ooh, attack buff, let's go! All right, any ore anywhere? <laughs> All right, so this is a charged blade. He's gonna hurt a lot if I'm not careful. Yeah, he hurts a lot. Okay, I think... Okay, okay, we can kill him with the hook. Perfect, perfect, we got him. I've seen this guy and I can say the voice definitely fits. Perfect. Perfect. Then I'll keep doing that voice as I've been doing it. Oh, there's an ore. I said I'd remember these. Such a classy old man wine glass. Well, okay, because like I haven't seen this guy, but I'm just picturing him being this like dude in like an old Victorian getup with a big curly like mustache and a monocle and he's completely bald. Like he's got like a whole steampunk getup. <laughs> Mimic. Okay. Okay, this Mimic isn't that bad, now that I've gotten some upgrades. Sounds like Bane. It does kind of sound like Bane. Mm, Pop goes. You merely adopted the dark. <laughs> this is how I broke the bat. Reminds me of the queen from Deltarune. Yeah, that's what- uh, that's- that's kind of what I was basing it off of, because, um... The machine just kind of reminds me of her, which is a huge compliment because I love Queen so much. The machine is Dr. Eggman. I, I, I'm okay, like, like, steampunk Dr. Eggman is what I'm picturing for the machinist. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, we don't have any healing items. You know what, let's, uh, let's dig. Nice! Nice, that's exactly what we needed. Perfect. Alright. Nice. 
I think with the hook we can just, yeah, cool, we kill it flat out. Flat out. Now this is the true power of the machinist. True. All right, perfect. We got uh, we got a huge amount of money from that. No ore in here. Ooh, hello. All right. We're gonna get some good uh, parts from this, even if Foxy ends up kicking our ass. Right, we don't have any shield piercers. I should really be buying those. What's my favorite Hollow Knight boss theme? Uh, okay, it's a, it's a toss up. Because uh, my favorite my favorite video game character, just my favorite character from any game I've ever played, is um, is Grim. Grim is my absolute favorite character from any game I've ever played. He is my favorite boss fight from any game I've played, specifically Nightmare King Grim. So I'd have to say his is my favorite to listen to because it. it if you haven't heard Grim's theme from Hollow Knight, please listen to it. It is a musical masterpiece. However, uh, Pure Vessel's theme is also really high up there. Because the first time I heard that, um, the first time I heard that theme song playing the game, I actually started tearing up. <laughs> it was like, that song, Pure Vessel's theme song, is one of the most emotional things I've ever heard from any game I've played. And it made me tear up so much listening to it. <sighs> we can't actually afford to do that, we're just gonna hook. Hornet's my number one theme. Very good choice. I really like, um, I really like how Hornet's sounds. It sounds very, like, uplifting and, like, really, uh, like, it, it, it sounds, uh, I, I, it's hard to describe, but, like, it's got a much more fun tone to it. It's, it's a lot less intense. Broken Vessel, uh, Broken Vessel is probably my third favorite boss in the game. Um, I really like Broken Vessel, or, yeah, Broken Vessel's theme song, and I really like his whole fight. In fact, I like Broken Vessel so much, um, I already own the Grim plush, because, as I said, Grim is the best character ever, uh, but I recently on Fangamer ordered the Broken Vessel plush, which looks amazing, and I cannot wait for it to arrive. Oof, that really hurts. Right, because she stuns me. Ah, oh, that's horrible. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I should put up the shield. This is, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. No, please come back. Come back. Oh, I would have been screwed. I actually would have been screwed so hard. Are you a Sonic fan? I'm a huge Sonic fan. Sonic has been one of my favorite series since I was really young. In fact, um, before I was doing the Pop Goes in the Dead Forest stream last night, and a bit before, um, you know, I was streaming today, I was playing through Sonic Mania, which is probably my favorite Sonic game. It's either Mania or Generations is my favorite Sonic game of all time. I absolutely adore the Sonic series. And, um, Sonic Frontiers... Okay, Sonic Frontiers I'm kind of weird about, because, um, when I was first seeing stuff for Sonic Frontiers being released, I thought the game, honestly, looked like it was going to be another really bad one, but, like, I don't know about you guys who, like, I don't know about my fellow Sonic fans in the chat, but, um, with everything, with every new thing they release, Sonic Frontiers is looking more and more promising, and I'm actually starting to get really excited for it. Like, I'm starting to get really, really excited for Sonic Frontiers. Battery at maximum capacity, target locked. This hook is, in, is enhanced with the power of the late King Freddy's shield, shattering scythe. And with it in my hand, I will do- Oh, no! Okay, so Foxy can shatter shields now. Foxy can shatter shields. That's not good. Because I stocked up on shields for this specific fight. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, we're gonna... What we're gonna do... We're going to do shield. Okay, he's charging. He only... Okay, but I only have to worry about the third attack for that. So I should be okay. Uh, we're gonna do a defense increase. Okay, perfect, perfect. I was thinking of it like Freddy for a second, and I, uh, I almost jumped. Okay, so now he's gonna hook. And we're gonna hook him ourselves. Put up another shield. Was that? Was that the 
second turn? What was that? What was that? Excuse me? I- oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Kane. I thought I- <laughs> I thought that you were like- I thought you were messing with me for a second. <laughs> I thought there was some kind of crazy, uh, charging plus stunning count as- Right! Right! Thank you! Thank you! What's your favorite monster slash deadite in the Evil Dead series? Now that- that is a- that is a good question. Thank you. Uh, I love getting questions about Evil Dead. Uh, my favorite monster from the Evil Dead series is probably, um... Is probably the evil Ash from Army of Darkness. His 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 design is the perfect blend of being like actually a really cool creature design and being super like corny and over the top. It makes me think of like really corny like DD villains. I really love the evil Ash. But okay, so first turn. Okay, putting up our shield. Right. So that's turn one. Turn two. Okay, turn two. Right, because he's charging attack, so this wouldn't be the hook. So we can keep our shield up for this. And now he's gonna hook. Now he's gonna hook. So now we jump. So now that he's hooked, we're gonna put up another shield. Just for safe measure. He's charging again. Okay. There's that. Okay. Okay, so... So he charged and he attacked. So does that mean... You can actually hear the difference in his normal attack and his hook when you jump, by the way. I can! That's... Okay. I'll have to look... I'll have to look for that then. So this is gonna be a normal attack. This is gonna be a normal attack. That was... That was not a normal attack. He's going to hook now. Okay, well, it's really unfortunate I saw that, uh, that message late. Okay. I think we still got this. So that's two attacks. Now he's gonna hook. Now he's gonna hook. Yeah, okay, so it sounds, it sounds way more intense when he hooks. Cool. And I think... Actually, uh, if he ever does a stun attack, his next attack will always be a hook because his stuns require two turns. Right. Also, um... 90. Okay, um... Kane, correct me if I'm wrong, um... Because I want to see here. Do these bosses give me overkill? Can I overkill these bosses? Because if I can overkill these bosses, then I'd like to go for a regular attack on him and uh, get the scrap from it. They don't have overkill? Okay, cool. Alright, perfect. Alright, Foxy... <laughs> Foxy with Freddy's shield breaking mechanic is way scarier. Alright, so that just leaves Bonnie. Those abilities of yours are fascinating. The ones you took from Freddy's friends. Would would you be up for sharing them, perhaps? We can take turns. I love him. I love him so much. Such so as least Bonnie. Alright. And I think I got all the ore in this area. I think so. Oh, favorite uh, Undertale theme. I'm a huge uh, I love I love the whole Undertale soundtrack, but I think the best I think the best song in the game is Hopes and Dreams. Um that boss fight really hits different to me. Just the entire fight itself is like I think one of the coolest bosses from any RPG ever made. Um but the theme song the way that the theme song syncs up with the fight, with like the drop, absolutely amazing. Do 
try and get some scrap off of this guy. I didn't check how much currency I had, but I think I've got some good, uh, I think I've got a good amount of scrap and money to be able to buy some stuff. Because I feel like I'm going to need to grind a bit for Bonnie, because Bonnie, um, Bonnie's a really, like, Bonnie's already a really long fight. Like, dead Bonnie took me a while. Alright, we can get her down one more if I don't crit. Perfect. Not gonna get much of an overkill bonus from her. I'll just get the one. Hello, welcome, uh, DK. I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say your name is DK. I feel welcome. Uh, pain machinist, pain machinist. <laughs> oh, the voice is really fun. I do for him. I have a lot of fun doing it. Oh, I should have. You know, what? we're just gonna run away from you, Pop goes. Let's see. We've got 180 coins. Oh, we got 13 scrap. Yeah, let's go. To subscribe for that opinion alone. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad my good opinions are getting me subscribers. <laughs> isn't Hopes and Dreams actually from Delta? No, no, no. It isn't. It plays during the True Pacifist route in Undertale. All right, let's get some damage upgrades. Let's get a health upgrade. Uh, Bonnie. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we wanna we wanna get two damage upgrades because Bonnie heals and. Bonnie, we need to do as much damage to as possible. Uh, and I forget. I think the shop's this way, if I recall correctly. I tweeted a drawing for you. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll, I'll be sure to check it out on Twitter as soon as the stream's done. I obviously can't check right now, but um, I'll be sure to check it out as soon as uh, I'm able to. All right, we should be able to. Thank you for no crits. Ooh. Perfect. Oh, we got the three overkills on uh, Blake. Right, because, yeah, um, yeah, the higher level we get, the more, the more easy grinding's going to be, right? Because the more damage increase we get, the easier it is to get uh, higher overkills. Alright, we're just gonna run away. Also, this is not where I was supposed to be going at all. I don't know where I'm going. I'm supposed to be going to a shop. My favorites are Death by or Death by Glimmer, Attack of the Killer Queen. Very good choices. If we're taking Delta Rune into account, um, Big Shot is like the best boss theme I've ever heard, other than Nightmare King Grimm's theme from Hollow Knight. Uh, why do I always forget? You totally missed the shop to the left of the bolter. <sighs> okay, I'll go back to it. I'll go back. This is the end. I'm going down. <laughs> I don't know what it is specifically about Pop Goes Arcade where I just don't have any sense of direction. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so for Bonnie, we want healing. And we want, uh, damage boosts. So, we're gonna buy- we've got two of these. We're gonna get- We'll get four of these, and then we'll just buy two attack boosts. And that should be enough to deal with Bonnie. Oh, hey, and there's a- And there's a scrap I missed, too. I didn't even mean to pick that up. Alright, we'll take care of you. These enemies are now, like, they take a lot more damage from me. I do need to get a compass, like, actually. <laughs> Kane, map update when? <laughs> When's the map update? I need it, man. Ow. Okay, perfect. There we go, we got times two overkill, that's perfect. Hydration check, also saved. Thank you for both. I would have forgotten both. Got my water. World Revolving is also a really good Deltarune song. You know what's funny? Um, one of my favorite, like, my second favorite song from the Deltarune um, soundtrack. Actually, uh, I don't even hear people talk about this one so much, uh, very much. But I, I said during my last stream... Uh, when I was talking about the soundtrack of this game specifically, 
that I'm a really big fan of, like, retro game soundtracks. The whole, like, um, like, what this game has going on. Like, the very, like, NES-sounding music. And for that reason, my second favorite song in the entire Deltarune soundtrack is Chaos King. Which I, I never hear people when we talk, like, when I talk to people about Deltarune and Undertale music... Nobody ever talks about Chaos King, and I think we're all sleeping on that song and that boss fight because that fight has some of the coolest atmosphere in the entire game, and the soundtrack for that fight is amazing for, like, like if you really like that retro-sounding soundtrack. It's so good. It's such a good soundtrack. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy I'm seeing people in the chat who are, like, appreciating Chaos King. It is an amazing song. I had a... I had a, I had a boss fight once in one of my Dungeons & Dragons campaigns, which was, um... Just straight up, I had Chaos King as the theme song, and for each phase of the fight, I had a different cover of Chaos King that I used because I love the song so much. Okay, so... Yeah, speak to Sarah. I could have just used that hole beneath me. I'm just gonna go to that. Go to gar I know, guys. I know. I know. I'm, I'm going to the garden inn. It only makes sense that the final card would be hidden somewhere in the East Forest. I know that place had some pretty tough critters the last time you went there. Be careful. I think we're getting close. Okay, I'm really hoping to see some frozen robots, because we've got, like, a clean version of them. we got a rusty version of them. I'm hoping to see, like, some frozen robots. Can we can we get them? Where are they? Chaos King slaps harder than his attacks. Yeah, that's my, that's my one complaint. I loved the King boss fight from Deltarune so much that the one thing, the one criticism I had for that fight was that, like, the attacks were super creative and the atmosphere was awesome, but it felt like when the fight was finally starting to get difficult, um, it stopped. Like, it felt like when I was finally like, oh man, these attacks are starting to get, like, really hard to dodge, it just completely stopped. And I was like, man, I would have loved to see, like, a longer version of this fight with a ramp up in difficulty. And, okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna explore a little bit, try to see if we can find some scraps lying around. Uh, also, I want to find, uh, I want to find the paint bucket. I want to find the paint bu bucket, uh, mimic. To, uh, obviously help Kane here with patching another glitch out of the game because it seems like a consistent glitch with all of these uh with all these paint mimics with the bird I'm, I'm i'm really i'm really sorry you have to deal with glitches like that in your game man all right so we're gonna go look around for some paint buckets and some scrap metal nothing here there's a paint bucket mimic Okay, that's just a white paint bucket. We want the Mimic. Hello, stone. No, I made snowmen in the other forest, too. They melted, of course. But it's always cold in the East Forest. So I put the important ones here. <laughs> you know, I could never pinpoint why, but out of, like... Obviously, like I've said multiple times that Simon is my favorite character to come out of the Pop Goes roster of, like, uh, animatronics or robots or whatever you want to call them. Um, but, like, out of, like, the sort of main gang of animatronics, Stone was always my favorite, and I could never exactly pinpoint why. I think it was probably because when I was younger and I played the original Pop Goes, um, him turning his head to stare at me through the window used to scare the ever crap out of me. I tried to build a dam at the end of this river yesterday. It's frozen, clearly. <laughs> so, yeah, that didn't work. Am I wasting my time waiting here for it to melt? Yeah, probably. I love it so much how all the enemies that we fought in the previous game are now just, like, fun NPCs we can talk to. I think that's a really neat detail. Yeah, let's go! Pristine Pop goes. Okay. He's in a nice condition. Okay, he... He's gonna hurt with a 91 damage. My favorite character in Pop goes is and always was Strings. Uh, Strings is really cool. Lyra has died. Oh, yeah, it's... I know you said that as a joke, but to anyone in the chat who's wondering where Lyra is, um, Lyra had to step out for a moment, and they'll be back in the stream. Uh, they'll be back in the stream soon. Soon, soon I hope, at least. Oh, I could have gone for the overkill on him. I forgot again. 
my favorite was stone as well. Yeah, stone. I don't know. I, I, I there's just something there's just something about stone's design that I really really like. I like the I like the really dark blue contrasted by the really uh bright red. Also, uh, Lyra's pronouns are she they, or they she. Yeah, uh, I always really liked the dark dark blue contrasted by the really bright red, and um, I like his new getup with the with the scarf in evergreen. Oh, jeez, wow, that hurts. Oh, thank goodness he missed. Oh, that would have been really bad. Will you ever make an analysis on Pop Goes? Oh, it's funny you say that. Um, if you were there for last night's stream, you would have known that I was losing my mind at uh, the Dead Forest and all the Easter eggs and that uh, to the point where I really want to make an, a Pop Goes Arcade video. Maybe something on the original in the future, but Pop Goes Arcade is the one I really want to be covering right now. I, uh, I thought I was already talking to you. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's got to be the Mimic. Yep, there's the Mimic. Okay, perfect. So once we beat this guy, uh, we are going to go and... Uh, once we beat this guy, we're going to go and... Uh, check to see if that glitch persists in uh this area i really hope not um i really worry about that i know you guys were on like a time limit but that wouldn't be very good for uh that wouldn't be a good look you know <laughs> for the game oh shoot i'm just gonna block i should be able to yeah i tank this perfect there we go the violet paint bot is very violent. Indeed it is. A purple guy? She has a purple guy? Oh yeah, I just got an achievement. Sick. Uh, what, how much money do we got? Whoops. Well, I guess we're buying acorns. Well, that's good. I want to buy another, some more attack boosts. Because, yeah, I'm worried about Bonnie. I want to do as much damage to him as possible. Hey, have you seen any robots that look like me yet? They're holding hammers, tons of them, all with giant hammers. I don't own a hammer, Pop Goes, at all, let alone one that huge. But seeing those robots, it kind of suits me. Well, metal me. It's my birthday next week, dude. Hint, <laughs> Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that better be, that better be a hint. That better be a teaser for the fact that um, in Pop Goes Evergreen, when Saffron jump scares you, she beats you over the head with a giant hammer. I'm just saying. In case you missed it, there are exposed metal ores in the caves. Okay, yeah, I know about this one too. Kane told me about this. All right, there we go. We saved. All right, let's uh, let's go see if that glitch is persisting. Okay, yeah, this was the color we wanted. This is the purple. And now, I, I, okay, wait, I think I remember where Bonnie is, actually. Bonnie is down here. Right? I think Bonnie's down here. I'm just gonna run away. Yes, yes, okay. All right. Let's let's see it, Kane. Is, uh, is this one broken, too? Uh-oh! Yeah, that's tragic. That's unfortunate. We hate to see it. <laughs> Alright. That's all three keys. Okay. Now here's the question. Here's the question, chat. Do we go after Bonnie? And do we go to fight Bonnie? Or do we see where these three keys go? Do we go to the gate... Uh, do we go to the gate to the northern forest and use these keys? What do you guys think we should do? Go for Bonnie. Go to the castle. Keys. We got some keys. We got some people saying keys. You know what? You know what? Um, we got a lot of people spamming this. Um, a lot of people with conflicting answers. I'm just gonna put it to a poll. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing. I'm only seeing way too many uh conflicting answers. So we're just gonna leave it to a poll. All right, let's see what you guys think. Let's see what the numbers say. Let's see the numbers. 
Where am I going? What am I doing? Yeah, I don't think Emil's gonna be happy about this at all, man. This is, uh... <laughs> Game's absolutely broken. Okay, okay, yeah, we've got a... We've got a pretty overwhelming majority of people who want to see what happens with the keys. So we're gonna, we're gonna go for the keys. We're gonna use the keys. Let's, uh... No, we're gonna we're just run away from you. Dude, um... So, okay. So we know for a fact... Kane told, him, told us himself... In order to get into the Machinist, in order to get into this DLC expansion, um, we need to get the Black Rabbit out of the cabinet. She needs to be gone. So we know for a fact that whatever the hell is going to happen, whatever the hell is going to be going on with this, it has nothing to do with it being haunted. Whatever's happening here is entirely unique. It is something up with the game itself. It is not because of a ghost, which makes me both very interested and also very concerned because I don't know quite yet what the implications of that, but I'm also very scared <laughs> because I was told that there are some spooky going-ons that have been in The Machinist. Let's, uh, okay. We're gonna save, we're gonna save at the end, actually, just in case. So that we have a- Right, we can't save at the end, Minora's gone. Damn. <laughs> oh, Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous. It looks like you're somewhere you shouldn't be. Report this error and exit the game now. No, I don't want to report the error. I want to. Okay, come on. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to leave the game. You're already watching. I don't need to report it to you. There we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. There's no sound at all. There's no sound at all. There's actually, like, there's no sound effects. Everything's just... Oh, I don't like this at all. What the hell's going on? Oh, sick, we got a coin. No, piss off. Oh, what? I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means at all. Oh, money, yay. I don't know what any of this is supposed to be. What, what what the hell is going on? Hi. Oh, thanks for the shield. Sick. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna try going back to the castle. We're gonna try to go to the castle. Right, this was yeah, this was where the tombstones were that uh Kane was talking about with the with the Easter egg whenever the whole game glitches out to find uh black rabbits. To find Black Rabbit's parts. Oh my god. We're just exploring around right now. I'm not... I'm not lost, I, I promise. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to the... Let's go to the castle and see what the hell's going on. Dude, this is so weird. <laughs> Getting so many of these coins. We're getting rich off of this. Man, like, okay, Kane, okay, you gotta really tell Emil about this. I'm exploiting this so hard. You see how many coins I got just from this area? Like this like this is some this is going to get exploited uh by anyone who gets the game after this. This is going to get really badly exploited, man. <laughs> Because I- These are leftover- 
Well, maybe people like me are going to exploit this. I'm just saying. <laughs> Something's got to happen when I go to Freddy's room, right? <laughs> something, something, something special's got to happen in Freddy's area. I just want to explore the entire castle. I want to make sure I see everything. What the hell? Right, right, yeah, 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 yeah. I just remembered, yeah, the glitch wall. The glitch wall isn't here anymore. See? It's gone. Right, yeah, because the glitch wall wouldn't be here anymore. Because, like, like Kane said, uh, the black rabbit's gone from the arcade cabinet. So what reason would that glitch wall have to be there? She made that. She, she was the reason for the glitch wall. God, I'm so, I'm so nervous. I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. Oh no. Oh no, oh, something bad's gonna happen. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. What? And it goes deeper. Oh, it's going deeper. Oh, it's going... There's another hole here. Oh, man! No, they are... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. There's so much... <sighs> this is gonna be so bad. I've got such a bad feeling. Replace all this Robot Freddy... Replace all this with Robot Freddy miniboss scrapped. Note to self, delete these cells before uploading the expansion to save- Wow, you really weren't kidding about this game being bro- <laughs> Oh, I don't like this! I don't like this! <laughs> Alright, gotta get some more water. Oh my god! <coughs> I'm choking on the water! <coughs> I'm choking on my water! <coughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> you know, something tells me that this isn't intentional. <laughs> You know, someone tells me that we're not, uh, we're not supposed to be seeing this. Oh, hey, there's the folder. Wow, it's just, wow, it's... <coughs> My god, the water. <coughs> oh, sorry. Ugh. Oh. Cam 7. Users Fritz Network Security Camera 7. Security camera seven. Cause okay, okay, cause, cause, okay. Fritz, Fritz, to anyone who's not well versed in the Pop Goes lore, Fritz, uh, also known as Jeremy, was the owner of this location. And to anyone who was here for the last stream, he was the one who killed Black Rabbit. Assuming that the lore is the same. What does it mean by cam seven? Was there, what the, was there, what, what, what? Can 7 record one dot vid? What? <gasps> what was that? What? What the hell? Oh, there's a next. There's a next. What? What the hell? Oh, no way. What? 
to come back what <laughs> you have on? no idea what just happened <gasps> oh my oh, no, god did, did i miss did i miss some fucking creepy shit you did you just missed the creepiest thing oh wait uh kane says you can do it again i can do it again okay okay thank you kane i'm gonna show lyra no. Okay. 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 Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was gone for so long. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill you in. Oh, what just happened? Cause this was insane. So, um, I was walking around the overworld, right? And, um, I was exploring a bit to look for stuff. And Kane, whenever he was still in the VC with me, um, asked if I interacted with the well to see if anything special happened. And what happened was, the well brought up a dialogue prompt that seemed to be developer notes. Uh, presumably from like, you know, whoever whoever's writing that, right? Like somebody working on the game. Interesting. And it was talking about the fact that they were planning on updating the Northern Forest, but they decided because of time constraints that they were going to, uh, instead of updating it, they were just going to block it off with a gate. And then that message read uh, about the fact that the Woodpecker NPC um, was having issues whenever interacted with, with, um, with Mimic Paint Robots. So, um, whenever I saw that, whenever I heard that, I got curious. So what I did was I equipped, um, I equipped the color palettes I would get from defeating paint mimics, and I would talk to the woodpecker, and it was the creepiest thing, because the second I interacted with this woodpecker, he glitched out, the game broke, and he disappeared, and right as he vanished, Kane left the VC and never came back. What? <laughs> yeah, as soon as, as I interacted with this, with this woodpecker... With one of the raw, with one of those mimic color palettes, he glitched out and disappeared, and Kane just left from the VC and left me with that. So, what what ended up happening was, um, every single time I interact with one of the woodpeckers after um, after I got one of those color palettes, um, they would glitch out, and I would get a key to it to open the gate again. So after I opened up the gate again, I got this message when I tried to enter the dead forest. And the thing is, you, oh. if you press E, you can close this box and explore a broken version of the dead forest where the game's constantly trying to get you to close it. And hey, just wait. Just, just you wait. Oh, just you wait. Mmm. <laughs> So, there's this hole in the ground where King Freddy used to be. Yeah? When I enter this hole, it brings me underground and there's another hole. So I enter this hole. Oh, that's funny. There's another hole. Oh, that's funny. Grass texture's being a bit wonky, but hey, there's another hole. Replace all this with Robot Freddy mini boss scrapped. Note to self: delete these cells before uploading the expansion to save memory. Go deeper. Oh wow! Oh. <laughs> these textures get really weird. <laughs> oh hey, what's up with this? Oh wow, <laughs> missing textures everywhere. I told Kane that he should really tell Emil about this so that they could fix it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Look at this though folder that says network go into that security camera seven uh -huh. just wait we go in here users fritz network security camera seven what what <laughs> What? 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 <laughs> Fritz Network Security Cam 7. Look at this. Look. Okay. Cam Open. 7. Recording 1. Okay. I've got 
goosebumps right now. I have goosebumps. My hair, like, all the hair on my arms is standing up. Because, yeah, there's that. We go next. That's, that's kind of weird. Oh, he's, he's missing. What? Did you notice who that was? Yeah, what the fuck? There was a toy body mask on the floor and an axe next to her. That was Hen- that was not Henry, I'm- um, wrong person. That was Jeremy's daughter. That was Bonnie. That was Bonnie. Fucking Bonnie. I never thought I would see an actual human in a Pop Goes game. Like a, like a proper, fully fucking rendered- Oh, Right?! That makes it worse! That makes it worse! Right?! That was Bonnie! That was Bonnie's corpse! We literally saw what happened the night that Bonnie died. We literally just saw an actual human corpse in, in a fucking Pop Goes game. We actually, like, no amp it that's minigame! A, that's a drawing! What do you mean that's a drawing, Kane?! Kane, who'd you get to draw that? Because I deadass thought that was a, like, fully rendered model. Tell them that they have a, so much talent. Also, Dalton's in the chat. Hey, how's the game going? Also, how's your day? The game is going insane right now, Dalton. You have no idea. Also, thank you for be thank you for joining the chat, hey. Dalton. But, like, Kane, how um, is that hand-drawn? Like, what? Uh, Kane, I don't know if it's publicly available. Um, but would you mind sending the the logo for Pop Goes the Machinist in chat so I can put it on my little, uh, oh my, my little silly talk sprite? That's so wild. I'm gonna delete it, chat. I'm gonna delete it. I want to see what happens if you delete it. But that's so okay. crazy. God, your girlfriend drew that. My God, that's so. Ins I thought it was a fully rendered Whoa. image. That is so much talent, man. Also, people are telling me to sew them. That is amazing. I can't sit on the throne, guys. Okay, we're gonna go delete it, though. I wanna see what happens if you delete it. I'm sad, though, because we'll never- we won't be able to look at it again if you delete it. Well, uh... Yeah, we won't be able to look at it again if I delete it, but I wanna see what happens! That's fair. And I've seen- I've seen it twice, and we've got the stream archived, we've seen the insanity. Oh god, imagine if Bonnie gets really mad because she thinks we're trying to fucking erase history or something. Well, that's the thing, Bonnie's not here anymore. In order to- Right! In order to access the machinist, we have to, uh, we have to get Bonnie out of the machine. So Bonnie's no longer in this cabinet. This has- this has nothing to do with ghosts. This is just in the oh arcade machine. Oh my god. Ugh. Also, thank you so much, Kane. Me. This has nothing to do with it at all. It's oh, god, this is so cool. Okay. Also, can we just talk about the fact that the the logos for both games are like really well made? Like I I fuck with both of these. Absolutely, I think I think the thumbnails for my stream look even cooler with the versions that Kane put in with the logos. Like yeah. Okay, okay I I know I'm gonna delete it, but I want to just I want to look at this again. Okay, what I find interesting too, right? What I find really interesting about this whole series of events, we find Bonnie dead, and we know that she was murdered with an axe, but we see here that, like, Blake went missing beforehand. And wait, 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 wait a minute. Yeah, okay, okay, Lyra, look at this, look at this. So, in this, in this render here, Blake is in the room, and the room is perfectly fine, right? We go over wait, to the wait, next one. Again? Okay, okay. So yeah, Blake is in the room against the wall, and everything in the room looks to be oh, like as yeah. it should be. Well, how did I not notice that? Okay, but look at this though. I'm blind. In the next panel. Don't mind me. In the next panel, Blake is missing. But look, the the, the floor panel has been open. One of the tiles on the floor is out of place, and there's a bunch of exposed wires. I don't like this. What the hell's up with that? There's a, there's a floor tile missing, it looks like some kind of tool was used to take it out. So, so... For I, also, I also like how... I, I know this probably isn't intentional at all, but I like the, the parallels to a misplaced tile, because that's how we found 
the whole the whole secret route with with Bonnie Glade in the first place is a misplaced tile. Is there like a is there a note on the floor as well? Wait. Yeah, right. But like, I, I see what you, I know what you mean. Okay, that's yeah, just that's from the box. But I find that so interesting. Is that like okay? I'm gonna delete it now and see what happens. You'll need administrator permission to delete this file. Created two days ago. Created. Two Is there a way for me to- I don't like the fact that canonically we're playing this game two days after this happened. Yeah, if that's what right. that's implying. And also, yeah, we can't delete it. But I find that interesting is the fact that there is an emphasis on the fact that Blake is there, Blake goes missing, and after Blake goes missing is when we find Bonnie dead. <laughs> yeah. Is there any way to delete any of these? I don't think there's a way to delete any of these. Also, I, I really, I really love the, <laughs> the sound design in this part. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it looks like it looks yeah, like there's no way to delete awesome. it, so we're just gonna let the whole Bonnie thing play out. Can't, no, I can't delete any of these files. It tells me I need administrator access. God, the way that the the way that the friggin' music starts up normally and then breaks when the corpse is revealed—that is chilling. <laughs> That's some fucking doki doki shit right there. It Ugh. is. It is. It's so so good. But what's so interesting is the fact that Blake went missing and was moving around, and something was up with one of the ceiling panels the night that Bonnie died. What was up with that? What happened there? Also, we're in the we're going to the East Forest to fight uh, Robo Bonnie right now. I beat Robo Foxy and I beat Got Robo it. Chica. Oh my God! Kane just sent like the. The transparent, like, drawing of, of, the, oh, oh. my, oh. dude! Oh my god, what the fuck? That is insane, <laughs> dude! so fucking cool! Yeah, Kane just confirmed to us guys that that corpse we're seeing is in fact just a drawing. That is a fucking phenomenal painting, Jesus. Also, some of I admire people the... who can digital paint, because I am horrible at it. Now, somebody in chat, too, said that the end sound sounds like Simon. I don't know which audio cue related to Simon, because I don't really, I didn't really hear the Simon that they're pointing out, but... If that is a similar audio cue, that would be interesting. Because, you know, part of me feels like, part of me feels like whatever's going on, Simon is very heavily involved. Because I know, like, we know for a fact that Simon's capable of... Or at least in the original Pop Goes, we don't know much about current canon Simon. But we know from the original Pop Goes that Simon has the ability to interfere with technology. Ooh. So there's got to be some kind of involvement with Simon here, I feel like. Because the machinist, right? It's all about, like, the robots. And there's no possession here anymore. There's nothing to do with possession or ghosts. So I feel like it would make the most sense if it was related to, you know... A, like, an, like... An animatronic or a robot that we know for a fact can interact with machines. But that's so exciting, though. I wasn't ready to see that. Like, I, I feel like I feel like a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's media has kind of um has kind of like made me grow a sense where I'm always expecting to see any like death or anything morbid like that to be depicted in like sprite form. Oh, oh, the machinist. You didn't hear my machinist voice. Um. So, I'm gonna talk as him now. Freddy's plan to keep all of us alive was a unique one. I'll give him that. But me... Not but me missed. But he missed a key step to immortality. Metal! It's one thing to kill everyone and let their souls live on in purgatory or whatever. But I personally think robotic replacements are the perfect solution. They'll be so efficient. I love the machinist. He's my favorite character. I haven't even met him. Tell me why my Photoshop just crashed and I lost like all of the progress on the fucking drawing I was working on. No! Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was going so well too. I was literally almost done with it. I'm so sorry. You don't have any like saved like backups of it? No. Oh no. It was so good. Alright, so she's got the block. I should really be buying the shield piercers, but I just want to max up my health and attack before I start spending my scrap on anything else. Alright.
but my god. Like I was saying though, I'm so used I was so used to seeing um like gore and death in these Five Nights at Freddy's games being depicted in the form of like sprite work. And damn it, crit. Ugh. I was so used to seeing those depicted in sprite form. Something where, like, you know, it's still morbid, the idea behind it, but the visuals kind of, um, make it so that it's not, like, that visceral. But to actually see, like, first of all, you do not expect that. You're not, you're expecting something completely different. But when you just suddenly see a shot of a corpse lying on the ground, like, lying in a puddle of blood, that is such a visceral image. And I feel like, a, like, experience with previous Five Nights at Freddy's games kind of lulled me into a sense of not ever expecting that to be a thing. This is definitely gonna be a mimic. God. This is definitely gonna be a mimic. Oh wow, it wasn't a mimic. I guess I I guess I have to redraw this now, fuck. Ah, oh, I'm so uh, sorry. That is so annoying. It's alright. It's okay, I can just draw it better this time. We're probably gonna be uh streaming for a while anyway, so it's not like it's not like I'm in a super duper rush to get this done. Yeah. Also, uh I see Dank Daddy Jr. asks, how is this game scary? I mean, for the most part, it's not a horror game. However, um, if you missed what we just witnessed, uh, you'd understand. Yeah, go back. Go back. Go, go back. <laughs> if and you haven't seen what we just witnessed, like, please go back. Please go back and educate yourself on what this game is capable. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, wait. Am also, I um... Yes! Okay, perfect. I, I wanted to say, I'm, I'm pulling a very weird route with analogs Damn where it. every de every depiction of a corpse in that project is gonna be done through like a mix of, of practical and digital effects Ooh. practical yeah like a uh, 80s horror movie type shit sick i cannot wait to see that it's funny because um there's always been a kind of moral dilemma with depicting dead kids, which I think is why a lot of FNAF creators haven't done it. Like, the, it, it, it's the whole line of, like, how accurately can we depict this before it's morally wrong? Yeah, right. Especially when you're using, like, Google Images pictures of, of random kids who probably don't want to be depicted that way. Um... I did find a way to pass that moral dilemma, though, and it's really funny. Um, God, this is so fucking cool. Sorry, I'm just, like, looking at this. <laughs> I like, know, right? I, like, I really do like this game's combat system. The combat, um, like, yeah, I was gonna say, um, like, earlier on in the game, whenever I was playing the Dead Forest, my only complaint I had was the fact that I felt like the combat was extremely simple. However... As the game went on, the combat got more and more complex, and it's at a point now, and it was especially at a point, like, later on, in, like, the second half of The Dead Forest, where, um, I find that the combat is extremely entertaining, because it's really easy to get a grasp of, but, like, there is some genuine challenge and strategy to it, and everything there's, has a use. Yeah, there's, like, complexity, you know? And it, it feels like, it feels like everything has a genuine use. It doesn't feel like, uh, anything sort of, like, um, half-baked. Damn it! Right. I saved right before entering this, uh, I saved right before entering, yeah. So, not much was actually lost there. Right, I gotta get back to there. The, uh, the way I, I found to pass that, that moral dilemma with depicting dead kids is, is so funny because the way I did it, um, I have this really weird, unique, deep cut fact about my life to where my, uh, my mother was was an aspiring photographer uh, when me and my brother were born and had extremely high quality photo cameras. And so my life, my like early life is more eerily like documented in great detail than I think anybody else that I've met. And there's just thousands of like nearly 4k quality pictures of me and my brother just living our lives when we were younger oh i see what you're okay so the missing children are actually designed after me my older brother and a couple close uh family members and so because you know i can physically ask all of those people and they've given the thumbs up i don't feel like it's as morally 
dubious to depict them that way because they're like, oh, fuck yeah. They're, it's literally like, I can use my own body that way. That is a cool workaround of that. Also a very fortunate, like, uh, like circumstance you found yourself in for that. Right! It's, it's so funny, because even if I wanted to do, like, a 3D model, like, if I wanted to create an exact 3D model of my younger self to use for gore purposes, uh, where I can, like, manipulate it and everything, I probably, in, in that album, there's probably a picture of, like, four-year-old me from every single possible angle you can imagine. So modeling myself would not be hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is just really insane to think about because they look like modern pictures, but they're from the early two thousands. Yeah, that's such like, that's such like a like a really really fortunate uh, circumstance to find yourself in for this specifically. Right. Like it worked out <laughs> so well specifically for making spooky dead kids horror like. Oh, I think I just got I just got enough for another upgrade. I'm gonna go back. I wanna be fully upgraded and actually have the game saved so I don't have to go doing this over and over again. Cause I died to that mimic and lost a bunch of progress. Yeah. It's a uh... God, I think one of the scariest moments depicting something like that in, in any FNAF related piece of media is um do you remember in The Walton Files 3 where there's like that splash screen of Susan Woodings lying on the ground? Yes! And you can s that fucking screen along with the dialogue that accompanies it, the whole like, I, I can't move, you know, my stomach feels weird. As if she's still alive as she's going into rigor mortis is fucking, right, that right, goes right, hard, that's forward. insane. Ah, oh, man, like... It, it, like, The Walton Files has some of the most, like, just, like, the most, like, uh, visceral depictions of, like, death and ghosts within any, uh, sort of, like, analog horror I've seen. The moment where Billy takes his mask off is fucking awesome. It you is. You just see the face behind it. Same thing with the, that, that one moment with the pumpkin rabbit that's practically the same. They both go really well. The freaking pumpkin rabbit. I, I find too with the When you release rabbit. your video on that, I fucking soy jacked because the mysterious house is like the scariest one in the whole series for me. Yeah, me too. I mean, well, yeah, that's what the video was about. But, uh, like, no, the mysterious house freaked me out so much because I found the mysterious house had so much more subtlety than even, um, like, your regular Walton Files episode and how it depicted its horror. And it also depicted such a realistic right. scenario. And I, I, I know we've, like, lightly touched on this before, but I love how Martin Wall's performance as the Pumpkin Rabbit is, is, like, eerily similar to the way that actual, like, child predators interact with kids. I know, it's that, so That, like, creepy. sly manipulation. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it's fucking eerie. Love that shit. And I also like that throughout the whole series, it never seems like Martin goes too far. Like, he knows he knows his limits and he knows what's morally acceptable and he operates within those boundaries fantastically. She's about to stun lock me. Also, I saw that fucking go motion was in here for a second. What was that about? She arrived in the VC, she screamed, and then she left the VC. And the entire chat. That, yep, that was it. That was all she did. I love that. That was, yep, that was Gomo's entire contribution. Hey, that's a great contribution. We stand that. Alright, let's try that again. I keep dying to these enemies. I could have just run. I could have just ran from that Sarah robot. You could have. But did you? No, no, I did not. I died. But fortunately, I saved, so I actually have the same amount of progress made as when I died to her. Oh my god, this game is cruel. I'm just gonna have to straight up, uh... Oh, but I want the scrap from him. But I can't get the scrap if I... Right, I'll just... Shield. Oh, come on! 
Oh, I, I still got the overkill times too, so I guess it was... I guess I still got what I wanted. But I could have gotten so much more. I'm still fucking reeling over that corpse scene. What the fuck? I'm right! <laughs> That's insane! I was like... And this one... Like, the one. moment it was brought up. My god. Well, like... Imagine if we did something like that on one of your streams, just to fuck with the audience. Like, a purposeful fake-out. That'd be cool. I know, I know I haven't bought any ability recharges, Kane. Uh, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get the maximum upgrades for my health and my damage, and then I was gonna try and buy some, like, ability recharges and whatnot. Uh, I know it's probably stupid for fighting these enemies, but, um... I figured I'd want to prioritize, like, those first, and then once I'm maxed out, then I can start buying the items that are just convenience. Perfect. Yeah, let's go! We got times three. Were you, uh, were you here when Kane was explaining the overkill mechanic to me? I was not. So, something that's really cool about The Machinist is that when you last hit an enemy, the lower on health they are, and the more damage you do when they're at low health, you'll you'll get rewarded with more scrap when they die. Interesting. So, like, this, uh, this Sarah I'm fighting, if I were to get her to, like, you know, best case scenario, even though I don't think it's possible, well, I'm just using this as an example, if I got her to one hit point, and then I use my hook with an attack boost... I'd get, like, an absurd amount of scrap. That is a genuinely fucking cool mechanic. What? It's really, really fun to mess around I've with. I've never seen something like that before. It's, it's really, really I've heard really that it was, it was, it's inscription-esque, but I have not played that game, so this is the first time I'm seeing something like it. Yeah, and, uh, Kane said himself that it was inspired by inscription. Yeah. Also very Pokemon-esque. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm like scrambling to draw this fucking talk sprite again. <laughs> it sucks that Let's you had go. to- It sucks that you had to, um, like restart It was fully process. colored and everything. Ah. Uh, okay, I do 50 damage. No crit? Of course I crit! Why wouldn't I crit? It's okay, I get the chance to make it creepier this time. That's cool. Okay, that's a mimic. I want its loot, though. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. Okay, there's, uh, this is Bonnie. So, I've got my shields. I've got five pizzas to use, uh, in whenever I know Bonnie's healing. I know Foxy, um, Foxy stole Freddy's mechanic of breaking my shields with his hook, so I'm scared of what Bonnie's new mechanic's going to be. Oh, he looks like Ooh. Weathered Bonnie! I love him. Oh, he looks like Withered Bonnie. Oh, Withered Bonnie is my favorite character design in the entire FNAF series. I'm so, I'm so happy to be seeing Withered Bonnie. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, Emily Gordbort, shut up and take my money. Well, don't shut up, but take, <laughs> thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Let's go, we got Withered Bonnie. He's got one of his arms back too, so it's improved Withered Bonnie. <laughs> my purpose is to protect this key card, to destroy you and to remain intact. Calculating chance of success, 100%. To remain intact, my brother in Christ, you're missing your face. Yeah, your face is gone, dude. Okay, okay, so... Hate to tell you. He's gonna dig every third turn. Okay, he's already put up a shield. I don't have a shield purser, piercer. Probably should have gotten a shield piercer before this. That's unfortunate. So he's gonna hit me here. Um, he's gonna heal, so I'm gonna apply one of my attack bonuses. Alright, perfect. Uh, block. Perfect. And now this hook's gonna hurt him. Okay. We're gonna hook him again. Get as much damage as possible. Uh, I don't want to waste time. I should only really be healing and putting up buffs in between um, his digs. Perfect. That's a crit. Okay, now we're going to heal. This boss theme is really good. I was going to say, I really like this music. Okay, uh... 
Go for another one of those. I. It reminds right, me I, a lot I'm... of Sega Sega Master System music, and I would be curious to know what this music would sound like with like a Sega Genesis tinge to it. Okay, we're gonna. Mm, I'm just gonna put up a shield for safe measure. Okay, that's the first. That's two. So he's charging. Uh, that's okay though because I've got my shield up, so we're just gonna attack him again. Perfect. Okay. It, for some reason, when Bonnie died, I thought Bonnie killed me. <laughs> like, I was under the impression that I had just been murdered by some mechanic I didn't know about. This is a quick question. How do you feel about fan art of you and Alice on a cute little beach date asking for an artist friend? <laughs> that sounds adorable. I'd love to see it. Thank you for the super chat and thank you in advance for the fan art. <laughs> Which, by the way... If if the motherfucker who who drew fan art of me is in the chat, I'm. I was about to say I'm gonna kiss you on the mouth, but then I realized I can't make that joke anymore. I'm turning 18 in a couple of days. I can't be neurodivergent and minor. <laughs> oh, machine is back. Oh. But seriously though, thank you. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? Come and find me then. Okay, I've got all the key cards. Me, it, got seven scraps. It, if me and you did a fan dub of any game, it would be absolutely diabolical. It would be hilarious. All right, we're gonna <laughs> flashbacks to Shadow the Hedgehog from last night. <laughs> I probably, damn, I didn't save before fighting this chest, but you keep fucking forgetting. I know. This is what the radical left wants. <laughs> Don't start with that again. I <laughs> I will die. <laughs> I'll fill your room with nothing but dairy products. You're not dairy products. Oh, oh, nice. We got a defense buff. Sick. It's actually what we needed. All right, there we go. We got a hook. Okay, we're getting really good RNG in this fight, actually. We can really, Let's really go. good RNG. Oh my god. Okay, he's got his barrier up. I don't have a shield piercer. Uh, so we're just gonna take this opportunity to heal. So we got the defense buff, and with the block... This game is being so kind to you, despite the fact that you never fucking save. Yeah, I know, right? I I'm saying it's pity. Kane Carter games do not pity. And yet, look at me. You are insanely lucky. Insanely, yes. Look like you missed again! Oh, we're so close. That's the one time an enemy can just randomly crit instead of charging it. Ooh. Alright, that, that gave us 80 coins, so we're gonna be absolutely stacked. Uh, I already went over here, I believe, but let's just check. Yeah, that gave me the ability recharge I was using. All right, let's uh, let's make our way up up back up back. Yes, Zach. Oh, there's another ore. Almost missed that. Man, now you're now you're mixing up north and south too. Fuck. Damn it. I know I'm saving, guys. I I can't save in the mines though. All right, let's uh, let's head back to the inn. No, leave me alone. I'm going back to the inn. That's not where the inn is. Where was the inn? Uh-oh. That's not where the inn is. <laughs> Maybe that was where the inn was whenever I went up there and I just forgot. I think that is. Phew! Oh, that's a shop. <laughs> the inn is to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna save. Uh, Losing our sense of direction, I see. See, current HP is 390, uh, cost 4. We'll upgrade it one more time. And you know what? Um, because I'm scared of whatever I'm gonna encounter down there, we're actually, we actually are gonna buy some shield piercers and ability recharges. Hell yeah. 
Because I feel like I feel like the machinist area is going to be uh, very scary. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the West Forest. And we are going to grind a bit of scrap. Because the West Forest has really weak enemies. And at this point, I'd be able to get so much overkill on them. I guess you could say you're uh, looking for a scrap. You could indeed say that, yes. A <laughs> scrap for a scrap. Alright, let's... Where's the rusty boys? Come on. Alright. Of course I had to get, uh, well, grinding for scrap, I had to get the tankiest robot in the game that gives you the least amount of scrap. God. Okay, I do 50 damage exactly. Uh, we're gonna save- we're gonna save our, uh, damage boost overkills for specifically when we encounter Blake. Because Blake has very little health and he gives you a lot of scrap when you kill him. Oh, um, if you want to do some grinding, I think there's something in the South Forest Cave that might help, says Kane. South Forest Cave, okay, uh, I'll be sure to go there then. Ooh, nice, we got a crit, that was actually a good crit. And you know what, we're gonna use one of the damage boosts on Crowboy. Nice, we got times three. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna save at the end, and we'll go to the South Forest Cave. I probably- there was probably some kind of, uh, item in there I missed. I am going in the wrong direction again. There we go. Alright, we're just gonna leave you, because I want to go to the underground. No, actually, yeah, we will fight you, Blake. Blake is the ideal robot to fight. Oh, of course! <laughs> well, at least we got a single overkill from that anyway. I, mean, I can't be too angry. <laughs> Let's see. What's down here that I missed? Doesn't look like there's anything here. Hello, pup goes. Yeah, there's nothing. It's funny. I can't even make fun of you for not saving anymore because I didn't save my piece like at any stage of the process. Ha! Okay. I'm horrible at this. I'm not the only one. Okay, I'm looking for stuff in the rooms. Check. <laughs> Check and make fun of me for my sins. Anything here? What's up over here? Oh, wow. Uh, okay, it's just a- I thought Clint interacting with that spawned a special enemy! <laughs> huh? 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 What? Huh? Wait. What? Wait. Huh? What? What? what is this? Huh? What is this? This looks different. What? This looks. This is where Foxy used to be. Huh? What? What is this? What is this? What the fuck? What? 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 Huh? The, the weasel. He return. What are you? Do you recognize my voice, boy? I'm oh, it's Freddy! Beyond my... I am one with the Aether, like my fall. It's Freddy! And Pop Ghost, witness this. The abomination... What? Witness the mangle. Wait. It's Foxy! No way! I was, I was thinking it was Freddy because it was like, he was saying like my father, but then, 
and he was saying, my boy. Dude! Maybe the mangle is like a mix of Foxy and Freddy. Oh, Kane's typing. Dude, what is this? Is there a harder version of each boss in their own caves? What the hell? This is so cool. Oh, he takes no damage. Oh, but that's so good for... It's... Oh, it's Freddy haunting Robot Foxy's body. There's a bit of lore behind this. That's interesting. So, so I was cool. right. I was right. I fu I fucking got it. Let's go. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, and he's talking to us like a freaking old friend. Oh, no way. I love this. I don't have any shields though. I'm screwed. Dig. Oh, hang on, attack buff. Oh, and he missed! Okay, yeah. I, I don't I don't even care if he killed me though, because uh I want to I wanna get some I wanna get some shields. I wanna get some uh, I wanna get some shields for this fight. I also wanna upgrade myself. This is so cool this is so so cool this gives me flashbacks to um i don't know if anyone here has played the desolate hope but it gives me flashbacks to um when you gain the ability to fight the friggin uh extremely hard secret boss at the end of the game which is uh it's like the secret uh like training dummy boss that's like insanely hard but this is even cool cooler because there's actually like a lore behind this oh wait this is this is why robot foxy had freddy's ability yeah, because he was using Freddy's scythe! Oh, that's such a cool attention to detail that the boss that uses Freddy's mechanic actually gets possessed by Freddy later. I love that so much. Alright, we're gonna get a little bit of scrap for this. Oh, I do exactly 50. We're gonna jump over that because I want to apply it. I want to apply a damage boost before I, um... Yeah, there we go. There we go! Nice! Times three overkill. We got nine, uh, we got nine scrap. <sighs> this is so cool. Wait. Kane dropping- Kane dropping the fucking secret shit again? There's a major secret connected to every shop in this part of the game, which you've missed. It gives a bit of insight into this. Huh? There's a major s secret connected to every shop in this part of the game, which you've missed? Huh? That's so neat. Oh man, I want to find those now. Now I feel like I'm missing out. Doing that on Rusty Blake will do times five. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to use those on Blake. Oh hey, speaking of Blake, please for God's sake don't be a crit. Do my crit chances increase when I'm fighting Blake or something? Cause that uh, that's just ugh, tragic. All right, let's let's see. I've got I've got ten scrap, so um, I, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go back up to uh, Blake's uh, blacksmithing shop, and I'm going to go invest in uh, some more stuff there while also doing a little bit of grinding because this Freddy boss is insane. Okay, he's charging again. Oh, this is gonna stun me, so we're just gonna hook him. Wow, that hurt. I guess I could have blocked that. I wanna hook him again for the massive, uh... Wow, okay, dude. He's just gonna stun lock me, isn't he? I just, I just want the massive hook value. 
Are you kidding me? Are you serious? <laughs> Come on! Please! Okay, apply the attack bonus. Okay, there we go. Here it comes. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice, a nice times three. It was a long road to get there, but we got our three scraps, so... Alright, let's get back to the surface. I just went back. Uh, forgive me for my lack of direction. <laughs> we already have, don't worry. Oh, oh, this is actually perfect, because if I go to the end of Blake, I can also check the uh, index and actually read about his abilities. May as well get some scrap while I'm fighting this guy. But yeah, I can, I can read up on what Mangle's capable of doing in the index, assuming that Mangle's gonna be there. Let's hope. Let's pray. He does 66, I've got 136, I'll be fine. I wonder if we'll ever... And and forgive me if this already exists and I'm just being a fucking cave dweller, but I wonder if we'll ever get, like, Pop Goes Arcade hoodies. Or, or... Some, apparel in general. Some nice clothing merch, that would be nice. I would, I would fucking rock a Pop Goes Arcade hoodie, I'm not gonna lie. There could be some really neat designs you can make from that too. Oh my god, like a like a shirt or a hoodie design with uh with uh Black Rabbit bursting through it like uh they bur they burst through the arcade machine. I was just about to say something like that. Right. <laughs> We're getting Black Rabbit bursting out of like some glass would be neat as hell. I'd love that. Was it Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we can save here, buy some upgrades, and then I'll read up on Mangle's index. So, um... Kane's, uh, Kane's over here, like, wringing his hands, like, don't mind if I do. <laughs> don't give me ideas. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need some ability recharge. So, that. so we'll be on the stream, like, buy the new Pop Goes Arcade hoodie for only twenty four ninety nine. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, check the index. No, you're the bestiary. Index. Okay, um... Oh! Honestly, oh! Oh? There we go. Okay, Mangle was hidden. A metal giant emerges from the rubble. No longer is it powered by electricity. Jumping won't save you now. Ooh. So does he hit me even if I jump? I guess so. Uh-oh. Reward is a scythe? What? He gives me a special weapon. Okay. So he, uh, okay, so... If he's, um, if he's able to hit me past my jumps... Oh. So he's able to hit me past my jumps and he has the ability to break my shield? This guy's gonna be insane. That is insane. Alright, well, let's head to the shop and, uh... Let's head to the shop and go buy some shields, because I'm going to need to stock up. Like crazy, my god. Then we're messing around with this guy. Chat wasn't kidding when they said you were fucked. Yeah, people on my Twitter telling me I was absolutely screwed. They were not really overstating it much. Okay, thank goodness. Oh no, you don't. Oh my god. Kane said if you jump, he will hit you for 100 no matter what. Ow! Okay, we're not jumping ever! Fucking Christ. That is ridiculous. Oh man. He really also, I love the I love the fact that Mangle has like a, a canonical reason for being in this game and, and it's like this whole like story that connects to the first part like that's so fucking cool that is so neat 
Because Mangle's always been kind of like a non sequitur, I guess. They they just they were there, but you always wondered why. Like even in FNAF two, it was like that's a bit of an odd backstory. Yeah, that's that is insane. I love it so much too. How um. Foxy's mechanic of using Freddy's scythe actually, um, like, actually was, like, foreshadowing for a potential secret boss, and there is, like, you know, apparently foreshadowing in the shops that I was unfortunate enough to miss. Also, Kane just said, Mangle has the same abilities as Robot Foxy otherwise. His hook, which is 5x damage, pierces shields, but has charged attacks, which are not, uh, which are 3x, uh, Oh wait, sorry. But his charge attacks, which are 3x, do not. Okay, jumping is still useful if he hooks. Jumping will prevent your shield from being broken, for example. Okay, so when he hooks, he can break my shield. When he hooks, he can break my shield. But if I jump when he's not hooking, he's going to hit me no matter what. Also, I just realized I went to the... I went down here, dug, and then just left the shop. God. But yeah, like... So if he if he hooks, and and you have like a good amount of health, I would say jump just so that it doesn't fuck with your shield. Right. Okay, that's good to know. Also, I I fucking I remembered to save. I remembered to save the artwork. The line art is done. Good on. Oh wait 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 wait. <sighs> there was secrets in the shop that Kane said. I wanna go. I wanna go see what those are. I think, wait, are there shops in the cave areas, or only the the above ground areas? Oh! Oh! Oh, wait a minute, I just... Oh! I just found out what the friggin' secrets are! Look at this! What? When you interact with these little cabinets, something pushes down and you have to push them in a specific order. What did that do? What did, what did that do? Wait, talk to the shop clerk. Would you like to buy today? Acorns will give you back 25% of your total HP. Hmm. Nothing's different. Maybe go around back? Maybe there's something behind the shop that changed. Hi! What? Wimps the Weeper. Do you have any theories on who the machinist might be? Maybe it's a human, you know, like BB. Maybe BB secretly did did take an ability from Freddy and hid it from you. And it's just a matter of time before you see it. Oh, Wimp the Weeper. So I'm assuming that's who I meet if I do that in the shop. That's weird. Imagine if Kane is that, it's just like, actually, Wimps is just a random occurrence. Uh, that was not related to anything whatsoever. Yeah, you didn't do anything. That was just a fun little Easter egg uh, in the shop. Oh, that's crazy, though. Who the hell is that guy? Alright, so... Let's God, see. this is the first time I have drawn my persona in orange whatsoever. Oh, you got the matching orange color palette? Yeah. I'm giving myself like a like a an orange pop goes arcade tank top. Nice. Thought it would be fitting for the stream. All right, so we're gonna go back to the inn. Uh, gonna buy another upgrade. First of all, we're gonna save. We're gonna buy another upgrade. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. I've got two of each of these. I think that's enough. I've got bonus health. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm good to go in. Wait, was there? No, it doesn't look like there was anything in the end. No. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think I'm. I think I'm good to go and try attempting. Um. Mangle. Oh wait, he has three dialogue options per shop. He has three dialogue options per- Oh! 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 I'll go back! I'll go back!
Also, let me see these AI generated Pop Goes characters. Oh, I've seen oh, those. I love these. I've seen the AI generated Pop Goes characters. They're weird. Oh, Wait, he's... is 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 Wimps the Weeper based off of one of those? Wait, oh, it literally says it right there. I am so fucking dumb. I'm so sorry. Please. <laughs> okay, but all of these go kind of hard. Wait, he was based off one of the AI generated designs? Yeah, look. Oh, that's Cannon so cool. Cannon the Weeper. That's so cool. I love that. <laughs> sorry, I am I am fucking slow, Kane. Don't, ever... don't mind me. Did you notice how... Did you ever notice how even when Fox uses his hook ability, it dealt five times damage, and when you use it, it only deals three times damage? I saw that happen a lot. Do you know why? Maybe the answer is simple. You just aren't as special as you think. Do you have any ideas on- okay, yeah, there's that. Did you know some of the trees in the forest have cameras hidden in them? Huh? Wait, oh, what? You don't know what a camera is. It's an object that can see things like an eye, but what it sees is kept somewhere safe. So it can be accessed later? I think the machinist is using cameras to figure out how you killed Freddy and all his friends. Oh. This is strange. Kane. The Machinist is such an interesting character. Right? Okay, we're gonna... Should I go to the other shops and, s and see the other stuff that uh, Wimps has to say? I might as well. I'm yeah, gonna... everything he's said so far actually has a bit of like use to it, so I would imagine that future tips will be really nice. I am very curious about like what the identity of the Machinist is. That's where... Bonnie was... We don't want to go to the inn, we want to go to the shop. The shop was to the left. What about the inn? Why is, why is chat screaming about the inn? There's a... What the hell is... What, what the hell are you guys on about? There's a file in the inn? Huh? What? Why are- what? What- what is there in the inn, guys? What am I- what am I looking for in the inn? There's nothing here. Missed what twice? Where am I- what am I looking for, guys? Why are y'all screaming at me? Popko's room, what? Where? I'm in my room, what? Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! <laughs> How did you not see that? Did you see that? The, there's a fucking file in the background. Wait, did something like... Did I miss like a split second of something? No, but like, did you see that video file? Yeah, it's- it's- it's right there. No, but- It's real. Would you have noticed that without chat helping? Probably, I just wasn't looking for a second. What the hell? Oh, it's just to let you know that you did the Cam 7 stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. That's- okay. <laughs> that's- that's pretty interesting. Chat's over here screaming at me like I missed some kind of crazy lore thing and it was just the trophy for discovering that video file. Okay, so is it the same? Okay, so this, this, no, this, 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 and this. Hello, wimps. Hello, wimps. So you're looking for Minora, aren't you? You know she fancies you, right? But you don't fancy her back, do you? And I mean, more than everyone else does. That sucks. Well, for her, you'll live. Oh, now I feel bad. I feel bad. Of all food items you choose to collect, <laughs> why acorns? Weasels don't eat acorns. 
You know what they do eat? Rabbits. And they're really, really good at killing them. In fact, weasels are one of the most efficient predators in the world. Huh. That actually explains a lot. Oh, because I'm like running around killing all these people. I wonder who the machinist is. You've heard of... Occam's? O Occam's... Occam's razor? Occam, thank you. Occam's razor, right? The simplest answer is probably correct. So it's probably going to be Robot Freddy. That would be the simplest answer. But, my goodness, it would be a boring one. Huh. Okay, so that leaves us with one more shop to check out. Wimps is an interesting little fella. I forget, did I... I, I met Wimps the first time in the South Forest, right? I would not be able to. I think so. The South one is just the one that's like... Green. Green. Yeah. Then yeah. Let's... Okay, there's that. But okay, no. Boop. And a boop. And a boop. Okay, good, good, good. We got it. Hello, wimps. When you fought King Freddy, he said something to you. He said you really have thrown a wrench in my plans. Didn't he? Did you know he has no idea what a wrench is? Huh? He was only copying something that the machinist had told him. So who do you think the machinist is? It has to be someone important. Someone you know. I have a theory. I think it might be Blake. I think he's jealous of your heroism. And he's taking metal from you at at the ends, isn't he? Maybe all you're, maybe all you're doing is helping your villain, Pop Goes. Have you heard the rumors that King Freddy is still around? I heard that after he was buried, his soul got trapped underground. Oh, that's cool. And that's why the lights in all the caves keep flickering. Ah, oh, man, that's so neat. That was the foreshadowing for, for the friggin' Mangle boss fight. God. Speaking of which, uh, we're gonna go save, and then we're gonna go fight that. And we're gonna see if we can beat Woo! him. And I imagine since he's a secret boss, I'm gonna beat him. And I don't know if the machinist is going to be easier or harder than him. Alright, let's go to the South Cave and fight Foxy. I'm not gonna do the... I, well, I, I could do the machinist fight first and then do Mangle. Depends on if- it, de it depends, I guess, because the machinist fight, um... I mean, like, this- this mangle fight seems really, really cool, and it's like an easter egg. So part of me really wants to fight that and then beat the game once I've done everything, rather than beating the game and then backtracking, you know? Yeah. I I'd rather- I'd rather fight the mangle boss first. Ooh, we got times four overkill there. Yeah, I don't really want to do a pull. I, I I think I'd rather just play it the way I want to here. I want I don't want to I don't want to like you know beat the game and then go backtracking. I wanna I wanna try this first. I'll do Mangle first. All the flickering lights. Seeing the flickering lights is so eerie now that I know it's because of Freddy. This game just has such a cool story. Bye bye pop goes. Okay, let's go. Mangle time. Okay, so- God, and I'm finally, finally fucking like almost done with this silly little chat thing that was supposed to take me like not that long. Okay, so put up God. the shield. Okay, so- um, don't jump whenever he's attacking normally, but when he hooks, you jump. Um, so I'm gonna do a defense up increase. So now he's gonna use his hook. Perfect. Oh, but he hits the shield when you jump. Uh, 
No more of that. I'm everywhere. Okay, so he... So he can hit you whenever you jump, but if you have the shield up, you're immune. That makes a lot of sense. So now he's used his hook, so we're going to shield up again. We're going to apply an attack increase. There's the shield again. We're going to jump. And we're going to hook. Get some bonus damage there. Okay, that's a second attack. We're gonna get the most out of this uh, attack increase. Right, you break shields with this hook. I wasn't keeping track of that. Okay, first attack misses. Nice. Okay, second attack uh, is coming up here. Yeah, we're gonna... Mm. We're just gonna attack normally for a second attack that's coming up. Oh, I should've... I should've shielded. I'm stupid. I beat Mango without jumping. It's an achievement. Oh, damn! Okay. I'm gonna have to try that at some point, then, if I start achievement hunting. Oh, uh, but if I shield... Okay, this is a predicament, because if I shield, he's gonna break it. I just have to... I just have to... I just have to block. Ow! Okay! Shield time! My god! Okay, first attack. Heal back to full. Second attack. Jump. We're essentially just resetting here and willing him down. Okay, we're gonna put up a shield again. We're gonna start attacking him. Nice. Okay, there's a second attack. Jump for the third. A shield. This is our last shield, so uh, because this is our last shield, I'm gonna spend this time buffing. This is gonna be what breaks my shield. So now, uh, we're gonna play an attack buff. One. This is gonna be a second. Two. And I'm gonna have to block. Okay, now that he's entered his normal attacks and I've still got my defense boost. Okay, perfect. We made good use of that. Hook. One. Use our ability. Two. Oh damn, I miss I miscounted! I miscounted! I miscounted! Oh, no, I miscounted. Oh. Ooh. That was such a good attempt to... Oh. Damn. Such a good attempt. Okay, wait. Kane's giving me advice. Um, I would recommend saying out... Right, saying out loud. One, two, hook. It can hype the chat up as well. Uh, give One, it... two, hook. <laughs> Charging and critting counts as turns. Charging and critting counts as turns, but they also interrupt and therefore delay his hook. These are all possible patterns. Attack, attack, hook. Charge, crit, hook. Attack, charge, crit, hook. Attack, attack. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, uh, Lyra, if, if I... Had... Sorry, I, sorry, I didn't read this out real quick. Uh, also, uh, before we get super back into it, finally, I have the fucking new chat sprite. Here you go. Oh, oh, thank you. This looks awesome. <laughs> I'm saving Thank this you in. so much. Oh, I'm putting this it's, in. Uh, it's right. the first time I have ever drawn her with orange, which honestly doesn't look bad on her. It's a good color. Also, you've gotten a bit louder. I'm going to turn you down a little bit. All right. It's just because I'm hyped, man. All right, let's get this new sprite onto OBS. Uh, Woo! Goodbye, old uh, Lyra. You will be missed. Make way for... New Lyra, new and improved. Oh my god, that is massive. <laughs> Wait, where'd you... Where'd it go? Where where did it... It just vanished. <laughs> right, we're gonna... Just a second. We're experiencing technical difficulties here. Bring that on. Okay. 
<laughs> Lyra, but awesome. Fucking love this chat. Okay, this is like oh my wait, God, everything, Kaiju, Lyra. everything else is locked, so I can just move this gradually and shrink it down. Because <laughs> this sprite <laughs> is massive. I'm sorry, I just gotta have that high quality, yo. There we kind of go, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Have that, and then kind of finagle it, yeah. There we go, perfect, perfect. All right, yeah, Um, sorry, Uh, could you, Lara, could you do me a favor and read the chat while I'm fighting this? Because I want to keep up Kane's advice for the attack patterns on this fight. Yeah. Also, thank you all for the for the compliments on the new sprite. Um, okay, so you want me to read like uh, Discord chat, right? Just in case Saint uh, Kane says something. Well, not the actual like, no, 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 not not Discord chat. Like the 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 chat chat, just in case something important gets brought up. Oh, uh, got it. Because I'm I'm gonna be looking at Kane's messages. So okay, he's got uh his all of his possible attack patterns. Charge crit hook. Okay, so he's charging uh right now. So he's gonna crit, and I forget if this breaks my shield or if the hook break. No, the the, the 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 crits break shield, so I gotta jump. Okay. Right. Okay, so this is gonna be a this is gonna be a hook. This is gonna be a hook. Oh, um, crits do not break shields. Only hooks do. Shields are f uh perfect for crits. Got it. Sounds good. Okay. Jumping is perfect for hooks. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna put our shield one. Okay. Um, we're gonna put up our defense two, and then three. There's the hook. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So shield one. Okay. Heal. Two, and there's the hook. All I right. regret looking at stream chat because I just saw, I hope no Rule 34 artists are watching. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I just made the drawing! Two. And there's the hook. We're putting them down slowly. I want to have... Okay, uh... Is there a... One. Okay, that's a charge first. So he's got a charge crit hook. He's got a charge crit hook. Shield. And now hook. Okay, we're making good. We're making good. Alright. I'm like fucking crossing my fingers right now. That's intense. Okay. So there goes my shield. So he that was one. That was one. Uh mm, I don't wanna I wanna save this last shield. So it was one. Two. And now this is gonna be Oh I should have Damn it, why didn't I shield? That was actually stupid of me. Cause now he's gonna hook and it's gonna obliterate me. Yeah. Okay. You know what? He's just come reset. On, come on. No, we're gonna shield. <laughs> okay. There's the charge. He's gonna crit and he's gonna hook. We're gonna take this opportunity to fully heal. There's the crit. Now here comes the hook. There's the hook. Okay. Holy shit! You're doing really well on this. Don't well. say that. <laughs> Don't you say that to me. No, I'm just encouraging you. I'm just encouraging. No, you. you're not. You're jinxing me. You're jinxing me. Oh wait. Wait, don't block hooks, that'll deal 250. Oh! Okay, we got an attack boost, that's one. Two. Okay. Oh god. Okay, now he's gonna hook, but I don't have any shields left. Jumping will only deal 100. Don't block hooks, that'll do. Jump his mini. Okay, Joe, okay, okay. So, jump for the hook. Right! Right, yeah, because the hook itself misses, but he's got the mini hook on the ceiling. Okay, thank you, Kane. I would not have thought of that. Okay. Okay, so we're back at the beginning of the cycle. We're gonna fully heal. Okay, one. Good, he missed. That's perfect. We're gonna... We're gonna hook. Two. 
We're gonna jump. Okay, and I have a bit of a risky plan here. Um, oh wait, um... His jump mini hook is always 100, okay. Always, okay. So we're just at the beginning again. Um, so we're gonna heal for this. So there's the Oh, he's charging. Okay, so he's gonna charge, crit. He's gonna charge, he's gonna crit, and he's gonna hook. I can't jump over the crit. So I gotta- and I wanted to save this for the hook anyway. Wait, no, I could, uh... No, but that's still gonna put the jump on cooldown. I'm gonna have to- Come I'm gonna have to man. block for the crit. Why am I sweating? I'm just watching you. And I'm you. gonna have to jump for the hook. You've got this, man. You've got this. You've got this. Okay, so he deals 100 <laughs> damage. I can survive the first hit. Or I can- I don't have- I don't have any healing items anymore. Um, and digging, I might- we're, we're gonna try digging for the first- Oh, we got a defense boost. Okay, that's one. Oh, thank fuck. That's one. Okay. Two. And this is gonna- Shoot, this is gonna kill me. This is gonna kill me. Unless- Cause yeah, if I jump- If I jump, I'm at 46 hit points. So I'm gonna take 100 damage, and this is his hook. So the only chance I have- The only way I can- Like, survive, is if I dig and I get- some kind of item that'll either heal me enough to be able to take it, or give me something. I don't think there's any other way I can survive this. I'm gonna try that. Defense- ah, no, it's not gonna do it. That was a good attempt. Damn it! Oh, that was- <laughs> That was so good! That was a- What the fuck? Okay. Okay, that was you a good attempt. You got this, you got this. That was a good attempt, but I've learned from this fight. Okay, so let's try that again. Um, oh, Kane's typing. Please, Kane, oh, shit, impart yeah. your wisdom upon me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there were there were a few blunders there. You can win this with your current loadout, though. Okay, yeah. Okay. I, I figured I figured I made a couple mistakes there, but um, I definitely think this is winnable with my current loadout. Um, okay, you know what? We're gonna try because I'm using my shields a lot in the current stage. I want to try and get as much damage as possible early on. So I'm gonna shield for the one. I'm gonna apply an attack buff for the two. And then for the hook, I'm gonna jump. And yeah, I got his fun dialogue here. Now my shield's gone. So I'm gonna do is for the, I'm gonna shield for the one. Okay, he's charging, that's okay. Uh, hook with a damage boost. Oh wait, uh, shields are perfect for his charge attacks, they reflect a lot back to him if he hooks you at- Wait, if he hooks you, uh, and you can jump, do it. It's much better than blocking. Okay. Okay, and we're going to, um, with the attack buff that we still have, we're gonna hook for the first. Okay. Uh, okay, so for two, um, for two... What am I gonna do for two? What am I gonna do for two? Cause if he goes two, he could uh, he could charge after this, and I could um, potentially apply an attack buff, or I could apply a defense buff. You know, just for safe memory, I'm gonna apply a defense buff. Two, okay, normal attack, and now he's going to. God damn it! Why? Do... Okay, he's gonna jump, or he's gonna hook, but I gotta jump for that, and that shouldn't do as much. Yeah, cause there we go. Now, uh... Um, Come on. Come on, Zach. Name his ass. I'm gonna apply a shield. One. <laughs> okay. We're gonna heal up just because I'm scared. Two. Okay, he's gonna do the hook. Three. Okay, there's the hook. Alright, um... We're gonna go one. He's gonna charge. Perfect. Now we can shield. Oh, and he missed anyway. Uh, okay. We're gonna take this time. Okay, wait, so he went charge crit. So he's hooking now. He's hooking now. I gotta get, like, maracas and start being, like, a little cheerleader. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Pastra. He's our man. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Go, Pastra. Okay, okay, okay. So we got the one. We got the one on the normal. Um... We're going to attack normally for this, for the two. 
Okay, he's attacking normally. Now he's going to Hulk, but it's not going to do as much because we're just going to jump over it. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so we got one. I want to wait for him to do a charge attack before I go for the... Uh, I don't want to be too low, though. So we're going to... going to put up a defense boost. One. Okay. Uh... We're going to heal. Alright, um, Kane said... Uh, you should only really use a pizza when you're very low. It gives you infinite health, basically. Don't waste it. Okay. Okay, there's the hook. Took way less damage from that. Use the hook ourselves. Okay, he's charging. This is perfect. Now we can use the shield. Lots of damage onto him. So he charges. He charges. He crits. So now he's going to hook again. Perfect. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna hook him. One. He missed. Perfect. One. Two. And now, here comes the hook. But we're gonna be able to tank that. Okay, perfect. Now we can, uh, heal using the pizza on turn one. One. Okay, he's charging. Perfect. I have one, I have one more shield. Okay, two. He's okay. <laughs> somebody, Zach, somebody said hit him with the Popeye's biscuit with no drink. <laughs> you got really loud. <laughs> my god. Okay. Did so I? Hold on, let me turn. Oh, that's why. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. My my gain went like all the way up for some reason. That explains a lot. Better? Yeah, you're a lot better now. Okay, hook. One. <laughs> it must have been like fucking. And there we go. Five minutes. There we go. <gasps> yes. There yes! we go. Oh my. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Oh my god. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna baby. Grab your head like a fucking basketball. Let's go. Let's go! Oh my god. That was so intense. I need a sip of water after Woo! that. Everybody buy Pop Goes Arcade and the machine is super for 4 dollars on Steam. Yeah, that's the reward. The reward for winning is that you guys all go and you buy Pop Goes Arcade, including the machine is on Steam right now for $4.99. Woo! Get it on your mobile phone. Woo! <laughs> oh man. This feels <laughs> Ooh, kill him. new. Have you finally released me, little warrior? Flesh and fur, then bare bones. Now, now a cloud of thoughts, piloting a dead machine. What could be next? I'm scared. Oh, God. Oh, oh I don't like that. I don't no. like that at all. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, but I got a scythe. You now have Freddy's special ability, scythe. This replaced your hook move in battles. It will automatically break an enemy shield if they have one. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, oh thank God. goodness. Thank goodness I fought Mangle first because now I can use that against the machinist if he has a shield. Also, Cat Dilberry, you just missed the rawest piece of dialogue that has ever been spat out in this game. Oh my God, that fight was amazing. That fight was so tense. Oh, and now the lights aren't fl flickering at all. Oh, that's such a cool detail, oh my god. Oh, I love that. Oh, the attention uh, to detail in this game is astounding. Yes, I'm going to save the game, guys, I know. Okay. Also, um, I didn't want to say this during the battle because I wanted Zach to focus, but uh, my sincerest thank yous to everybody who likes the new sprite. I'm, uh, I'm glad that you guys dig it. It's very aesthetically pleasing with my, with my Clyde one now. Yeah, they they have the Oh my god, slay we're matching. <laughs> I'm I'm saving guys, I'm saving. I know I would not forget to save after that intense fight. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Now, but that this is great because now I can use that against the machinist. Fuck yeah, let's go. This is not the way to the end. This is the way to the shop. I can't believe Pastor Spec hit the slay button. 
guys. I did. Everybody in chat, give us a slay. <laughs> give us a slay. Give us for a For beating slay. Mango. Give All us right. a slay. Alright, let's save that. And, uh, Smith, what do I have? Seven of these. Let's get some health. I didn't even use the shield piercer because he didn't have a shield. But, uh, we're gonna get one of these. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go now to, uh, let's go now to the inn, and let's go to the machinist cave and end this. Also, I'm blaming the fact that this has gone over three hours, uh, on the fact that I was fighting the secret boss, so, uh, y'all can't get angry at me. Sure, sure, buddy. You can't get angry at me. Oh, yeah, right, no, talk to Sarah no. first. But listen, listen, the more time the stream runs on, the more we can say, Hey, guys, buy Pop Goes Arcade for only $4.99 on Steam with the Machinist expansion. True! 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 The longer it goes on, the more we can say that. Oh, three key cards now. I guess the only thing left to do is push that card out of the way. Be careful down there, also, Pop Goes. You have no idea who I... this person is or what they're capable of. Be sure to stock up on items when you're ready. Head down and save Minora. Right, I could go buy Oh, let's go! Too. Also, uh, Zach, I just- I just read something in chat that, like, nearly made me tear up a bit. What what's, the fuck? What's that? They're like- they're like, Pastra, make Lyra a regular in streams whenever they can join. They're way too nice to- to only appear twice. Absolutely! Absolutely! That is so fucking kind of you, thank you! <laughs> Absolutely! I, I love being here, this is, like, so fucking fun. I always love hanging out with Zach, so... Yeah, Anytime is... that I get to it, it's a, it's a real privilege, you know? Yeah, these streams have been- Oh these god, past wait, wait, streams. was this- was the sign glitched out, or was that just- That was- that was just- the machinist did that to all the signs. All the signs oh, were like okay, that. okay, sorry. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really neat. Alright, cause- cause the shop's up here. I wanted to go stock up on some items with whatever I have to be able to, uh, take this guy out. You know what? Whew, do a lot of damage. And if this is the- if this is truly the end of the Machinist, it looks like we're not gonna be keeping Kane here nearly as long as we did last time. Thank fuck, I feel I... so bad for that man's sleep schedule. <laughs> like, I know that he normally stays up to- to fucking talk to Americans, but like, why would you sacrifice your sleep schedule for Americans? Ew. <laughs> so it looks like we're gonna be keeping up quite as long. Uh... <laughs> Here's our attack a bit. Yeah, you don't care that you're charging. Bada bing, bada boom. Overkill times three, let's go! Also, can I also talk about the fact that we have consistently, for the entire stream, um, been over a thousand concurrent views the entire time? Yeah. We've been we've been I'm going for you. three hours and a half, and it has con like consistently been over a thousand. That is insane. You guys are awesome. Right. Also, Kane said you've got quite a lot to do for 200%, and you should absolutely do 200%. I will definitely do 200%. I absolutely plan to. Alright, we're gonna buy, uh, we're gonna get three shields, and that thing, I think that's all I can afford right now. Oh, and I can buy one acorn. Because the shields, the shields are my best friend for these boss fights. So we've got, we've got, we don't have any attack buffs, but we've got two shield buffs. We've got two defense buffs, three shields. We've got, uh, one replenishment. I'm just gonna roll with what I've got, and uh, I'm gonna go to the inn, and I'm gonna buff my health one more time because I have enough scrap for that now. And then we're gonna go down, and we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and fight the machinist. Uh, Indigo Mixlich said, uh, "Hi, Pastra. Hi, Lyra. I'm pretty sure you were on stream yesterday too. Hi. I think I recognize that name. I believe so. Yeah." I remember, like, maybe they were, like, giving us tips in chat. Probably, yeah. Ugh, oh, fuck this. Alright, don't have any attack buffs, so let's just... Nice, we got times two overkill. Okay, so, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go... Yeah, back to the inn. Upgrade ourselves. Go down into the... Go down into the caves. Uh, how do I send fan art? Uh, if you want to send fan art, uh, I have my Instagram and my Twitter for that. Um, and thank you in advance. That is always appreciated, no matter what. Yeah, I, me and me and Zach are always like retweeting fan art and stuff. So if I see any awesome Clyde drawings from the stream, I will gladly like and retweet those because Clyde's design always goes hard, no matter who draws it. <laughs> thank you. Oh, he's back. Of course. 
Your persistence is admirable, weasel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. Whenever you do. <laughs> sorry? Your persistence is admirable, weasel. I like my voice better. My voice is more fun. I know. <laughs> Every time that you fucking do the voice, I just lose it. It's so fucking good. I'm sure the mouse appreciates having a hero come to her rescue. Okay, okay, whatever, dude. Get this minecart out of my way. Let's go. Ooh, right. Boop This Noop is the Great says, Lyra's hair gives me massive gorilla's vibes. It's funny that you point that out <laughs> because I've actually contributed uh, my artistic uh, stuff to some gorillas projects before. I worked on Hulagram's version of the 5 4 music video. And more recently, uh, I am working on the Gorillas fan art book. So that's cool. I like the band. They're funky. Hell yeah. I will admit, I, I do take a bit, just like a tiny bit of Jamie Hewlett inspiration. Okay, can I also make a prediction about who I think the machinist is? Yes, please. I'd like to know. I actually wanted to talk to you about that, but I didn't know if you were like, like I want, too into it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict who I think the machinist is now that we're down here. I think Minora is the machinist. I think I think Minora is the machinist for a couple reasons. First of all, Minora went missing first, and nobody saw her go missing. They just saw the hole in the ground. Right. Second of all, um, the uh, what's his face said that the, said multiple times that the machinist could be someone we know. And Minora is associated with the color orange, and the machinist's name and his arrows and everything associated with the machinist is the color orange. You sly bastard, I bet you figured it out. I am predicting it right now. Minora is going to be the machinist. Oh, okay, so here we go, though. I'd say something dark and mysterious again, but if I'm completely honest, I'm really looking forward to this. You've got to see what I'm working on. I fucking love his energy. <laughs> oh, you can... I mean, Slay. really? Slay! I mean, really? Slay. The robots are efficient, and I won't regret replacing with you with one, but they just can't appreciate genius when they see it. It'll be nice to see your reaction to my latest invention. Nothing in hat. What? Uh. What? Yeah, I've been... I've been trying to interact with the X's and nothing's been happening. Yeah, th there is there is no interactable thing there. Oh, hi. Yo, that's sick. Oh, I get- okay, there goes my theory. <laughs> there goes my theory. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe she's lulling you into a false sense of security. You're gonna get closer and she's gonna fucking clap you. Immediately. Watch, watch. Oh. Wait, huh? All right, this is it. So exciting. Okay, so I was wrong right away, but you can't blame me. That prediction was good, I swear. It was. Look at her, she's orange. I wonder if you'll even recognize me. I know who it is! 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 Who is it? It's Morse the Mole! <gasps> no! No! It's, no! 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 It's Morse no. the Mole! It's Morse the Mole! He was a scrapped character in the original Pop Goes! All of his constructions yeah. underground! Hey. He's digging! Hey. It's Morse the Mole! It's, it's him! It's him! Kane, you fucking brilliant bastard! I didn't fucking think you'd bring him back! Oh my god! It's friggin' Morse the Mole! The one that they scrapped because he was too ugly in the original Pop Goes! It's gotta be him! All of his stuff is underground! Oh He's a character who we god. know! I've spent so much of my life down here that I won't- that it won't, Wait, that I won't be surprised if you don't- It's him! It's him! It's him! It's but I- him. I'd be see but it'd be so much better if you do. It is! It's worse yeah, than all! Rebecca, let's go! I was right! I was right! Aw, <laughs> uh, look at him! Look at him! Yes! He looks so fucking cool! I'm so happy! I'm so happy I was right! Oh my god!
It's been so long. Fuck goes the weasel. Ah, big sip of water. Oh my god. It's been so long, Pop Goes the Weasel. If only you paid attention sooner, maybe you could have stopped me. Maybe I could have been a part of your crew. But this is what I get for being the outcast with weird, cruel ideas, I guess. Okay, I'm turning the music up. I'm turning the music up. Kane has told me to turn uh... up the music. Um... Kane has, God damn. Kane has told me to turn up the music. So, real quick, I'm doing that. Oh my god. The moment, the moment I saw him underground talking to me, it all immediately clicked in that the machinist has been underground this entire time. Which means that the machinist is a mole. All right, uh, chat. How does this sound? Uh, I just oh, turned up the music. Oh, no, this is our. This is already fucking slapping. Okay. All right, uh, chat. Is this too loud? Is this good? Is this a good volume level? That sounds good. Sounds good. All right. By this, I mean incredible technology. Endless power, stuff like that. Oh my god! And Morse built the lasers that the that King Freddy was using! Cause Morse in the original Pop goes had laser hands! And they were red! Morse had red laser that's hands and Pop goes! So fucking good. And he Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh my god! I'm gonna turn up a little bit, but that's such good attention to detail! Morse is the machinist! He built lasers that look just like the ones he had for his hands in the original Pop Goes! Oh my god! It's all paying homage to him! Oh, that's so cool! Also made it a little bit louder. Kane Carter is deranged for this one, I love him. This was all planned from the start, man! It's so clever! Oh, mm -hmm. He's part of the liberal agenda. He is! I'm sorry, did you think I would regret any of this? No! No, not remotely. So now we fight. Okay. Oh, in the background it shows a foxy hook. Oh, does the screen display what attack he's going to do? Oh, it does! It does! Now he's gonna use Bonnie's oh. dig! What's that? Okay, now he's gonna do Chica's jump. It's a laser! It's a fucking laser! Okay, now he's gonna do Chica's jump, so we're gonna apply a defense. Oh, he's still flying. Look at his tiny little feet! Put those grippers away! <gasps> Those dogs are barking! <laughs> He's building something. Why is he stacking the lasers? Make the music louder? Are people telling me to make the music louder? Okay, I'll make the music a little bit louder. I'll make the music a little bit louder. There, just a second. Oh my god, it's so funny. It's all- Okay, is this good, guys? It's all starting to click! It's all starting to make sense! What's he building my- What? My health! Oh, he's- he's slowly depleting my health! Oh, I have to destroy it! Oh my- oh my god! Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Go away! Go away! Go away! Oh my god! No! No! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, please! 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 That was fucking vile! You bastard! You bastard! You gotta heal, man. I know, I know, I just know he's digging and he's gonna be jumping now. Okay, he's gonna be. I am 100% wanting to make a fucking remix of this song.
Okay, he's... He's gonna be friggin' flying again this turn, though. You know, I'm just gonna dig. Oh, hey, more plus defense. Always good, always good. Okay, he's doing Foxy's thing again. I've got a defense boost in my block. Good. Okay, he's digging. Oh no, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, no, 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 no. I got crit, I crit, I crit, I crit. Come on, come on. Damn it. Go, 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 no, go. Oh, okay. Kane just confirmed something for me that's going to help me a lot. Oh, you were looking in the chat? Yeah, uh, I just checked the chat. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna read that one for you. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be really helpful. You got it. You got it. Morse. Morse the ball. 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 This boss theme is the best in the game, by the way. The muffin man. Yeah, no, this is my favorite. This is the best theme in the entire game. It kinda, like, vaguely reminds me of Midnight Motorist. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, I got the boxy hook, though. Nice. Wait! Zach, Pop Goes Arcade is fucking trending on Twitter. It is?! Yeah! Let's go! Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Okay, we're gonna dig, we're just gonna- Oh, nice, we got a crit, we got a crit! Okay, he's digging. Let's scythe him. Okay, he's built the thingy. That was probably a bad idea. Come on. Come on! Okay, thank goodness. We're okay. Oh. God, this, this theme song slaps, though. Nice, we got a crit, we got a crit. Okay. I, uh, need to take a breather. Not a worry, though. I have something to take over while I rest up. It's a prototype, so be careful. I want it in one piece, you know. After I win, I still plan on finishing it. Uh-oh, Robo Minora. My lord. Oh, he's healing in the background of this. Oh no, no, she's gonna stun me. Damn it, I I miss I misinterpreted the stun as being a shield. But if you look in the background, Morse is healing while mm. I'm fighting her. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Morse time. God, this this fight is awesome. Like I'm just bopping back and forth while I'm fighting this guy. <laughs> Okay. 
He's going to use the sh He's gonna finish building that, so I'm gonna save the scythe. And we got a crit anyway, perfect. This dialogue. Nice, we broke it. I figured out how to quick it or to quickly break it. <laughs> I like hearing the people in the chat are bopping along with me. Wait, I didn't need to jump. I'm stupid. I'm bobbing my head so hard right now. Okay, he's using the scythe again. Right, okay, so we got robot Minora now. Yeah, look, he's healing in the background. I love the little background melodies of this song that are, like, higher than the rest of the melodies and done with, like, a triangle. Triangle wave. Yeah. They scratch my little brain. I fucking love chiptune music. Okay, I need to... Okay, 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 it's nearly broken. Okay, there we go, it's broken. I hope that's not how you treat your real friends, Pop Goes. Okay, he's digging again. Um, he completely healed! Okay, uh... Well then... I don't have the shield anymore. Uh, some people think the intro of the song sounds like Midnight Motorist, but that isn't intentional. It's a fairly common baseline, like Hit the Road Jack. True, true. I just thought it was a, it was a funny comparison. I don't know, that baseline just combined with the, uh, the, the chip tune sort of feel. I'm just getting gave me the, so uh, the vibes. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I don't think I can anymore. <laughs> no, I'm screwed. I'm actually screwed. I, I don't have any healing. I have to... Like, the best I can do is dig for something. Dig, dig, that... dig. Yes! Okay, that healed me slightly. Oh my... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, No, come on, I'm, I'm come screwed, on. I'm screwed. No! Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh, sorry. This keeps soundtracks on Spotify? Oh, hell yeah, hey, I know what I'm saving hey. in my playlists. Oh my god, it's on... Wait, okay, the game's OST is on Spotify, Amazon Music and more. Uh, Kane, by iTunes, I assume you're, you're also saying it's on Apple Music as well, because if that is the case, I am saving it fucking immediately. Actually, I'm just gonna save. Yeah, you and me both. Right yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now that I know, I'm gonna be a lot more resourceful against Morse in the early phase now that I know it's a multi-phase fight. Oh my god, why does the album art for this go so hard? Grape says, BRB, try <laughs> to go buy Spotify Premium and Pop Goes Arcade for $4.99 on Steam. Yes, please, please do. jump over them for now. I could be using the spike shields, but I want to save those now that I know he uh, has multiple phases. I love I love how uh, Morse is vaguely reminding me of a TF2 character. <laughs> the engineer? Yeah. Sorry, I, I forget the names often enough, but yeah, Morse reminds me of the fucking TF2 engineer. I love that. But, yeah. I love TF2 so much. I was talking about that in the last stream, actually. It's funny it gets brought up again. <laughs> I 
Okay, I think... I think the damage is gonna make him move to the next phase, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. That was a gamble, but... Alright, and I didn't, I didn't use nearly as many consumables there. Somebody, somebody tweeted at Phil on Twitter and was like, Hey Phil, I know you said you didn't like Security Breach, but you should give it another chance to see its current state. Phil just responds, <laughs> No. <laughs> that sounds like I him. don't even blame him! No, neither do I. Okay, perfect. That, Although we are that extremely man low had on health. such a horrible experience with that game. I feel horrible for him. Okay, we're in a... Pickle in terms of health. Perfect! Oh yes! God. Pizza! Dude! Dude! My entire family is gonna hate me for how loud I'm being right now, but this is. This goes hard. Feel free to screenshot. I've been thinking about it for like the last two minutes and I I've come to the disturbing realization that nearly any TF2 character's voice fits with this guy. Oh my god, yeah. Like the soldier, the engineer, the fucking heavy, the spy, all of them fucking all of them are fitting voices for this dude. Oh no. All of them are head cannons. God. Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? He's gonna- he's gonna hook me. I... He's gonna hook me and I'm out of shields. And I- and I can't jump. Fuck, um... What do I do? Block? Okay. Okay, that didn't do nearly as much as I was expecting it to. Oh, he's hooking again! He's hooking again! Okay, I can jump this time, though. He keeps hooking! He keeps hooking! Okay, okay, thank- Oh! No, 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 no. I can jump, I can jump, I can jump. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't even think about it. Don't I don't- I don't even, have I don't any healing items. I don't have any healing Kane, items. Kane! Kane! <laughs> I have to, I have to dig. Is that dig gonna- Dig chat time. Oh! Oh! Uh, Will a scythe kill like, him? Look. How much damage does a scythe do? How much damage does my scythe do? Have we been keeping track? Have we been keeping track of how much damage my scythe does? Kane. Kane. <laughs> will my- will my scythe- will my scythe kill him? How much damage does a scythe do? Scythe kills him! Scythe kills yes! him! Yes! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I am sweating! I am sweating from how tense that was at the end! I was fighting for my life! I had no items! The dig just barely saved me! I just- oh, I just barely did enough to win! Oh my god! Can we get- Oh my god! Can we get a fucking- Oh my god! Can we get a fucking oh, dig a chat in chat? Yeah, that's- that's the right talking sprite! That's the right emote! Oh my god! Oh, that feels even better than when I beat Mangle! Oh, that feels even better! Oh! Oh my god, my heart rate! 
Oh my god. Oh, so close. Oh, Kane's got my whole chat spamming Diga Chad. Oh my god. <laughs> Me and Kane both encourage this. That's right! Let's fucking go! Oh, I need a second. Did Dig detects if you have faith in it and rewards you if you do? <laughs> okay. I believe you. I believe you, Kane. Oh my god, my hands are shaking. If you did oh. not get that pizza, you would have been fucked. If I did not like, get that, that pizza, it was that, over. It was over, Th dude. That run was over if I didn't get the pizza. I got such good luck. Oh my god. Fucking Digga Clyde. Somebody put Digga Clyde. Oh my god. Um. Oh, I need to collect myself. <laughs> All right. All right. I need to drink my oiter. Yeah, All right. <laughs> we all knew how this was going to end. I honestly just wanted to see what you would do. To witness firsthand. You took your powers from other people. Whether it was deserved or doesn't or not doesn't matter. What matters is that I created mine. I earned them. Everything you see here was made from scratch. So Wait, Scythe does three times your attack stat, same as Hook in the I had exactly I I did exactly 150 damage. And he was at 150 hit points. I literally had just enough to kill him. So, did it impress you? If things turned out differently, could I have been one of the gang? You're writing him so tragically, but wasn't he... Wasn't he originally scrapped just because he was ugly? <laughs> and I know, the, I know the lore of the arcade game, I just find that funny. Oh, Pop Ghost, you did it. You defeated the machinist. Oh, I really didn't think that I'd get out of the, of the out of this place alive, but you found me. But how is everyone else? He said he replaced all of them. That can't be true, can it? They're fine? Okay, that's a relief. We should get out of here. It looks like the robots are shutting down. But I feel like this cave could collapse at any second. I prefer it upstairs, don't you? And I don't want to see a robot ever again, alright? Especially not one that looks like me. Thank you again, Pop. Oh, that's so cute. Let's go. Oh, that's so cute! Yeah! Let's go! Oh, I love that animation! That's adorable! Oh my god, that's so oh. cute! Oh my god! <laughs> 190 percent. Zach, what? I'm go I'm gonna send something in fucking in a Discord chat. This is this is fucking beautiful. Is literally all I need the gilded animatronics, and that's it. That's all I need to get 200 <laughs> percent. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm retweeting that. The Digga Chad versus the Machinist. Oh my, I'm putting this up. I'm putting this up on my uh, stream. This was drawn by an artist named, uh, the name's Poco on uh, Twitter. Uh, yeah, everyone everybody go check follow it out. Poco Paco. I am going to put this up on the stream because I love this artwork this so is like, much. This is such a triumphant moment. This is like the perfect art for this. Where is the, there it is. <laughs> Look at this. Wait, is it? Wait, just a second. Just a second, chat. Just a second, let me send this. Does it not want to go up on my stream? Hello? Why? It's so big, it swallowed the entire screen. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Let's, uh, wait. Let me get this. I will show this to chat, because this is so funny.
Just a moment. Bear with me here, guys. What? Where is it? Why won't... Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm not going to put it up. I'm just going to send the Twitter link to it so that y'all can see it. Um... <laughs> there you go. Y'all can go check that out yourself. Yeah, please, please do and like, like and retweet it because that shit is so fucking cool. It's so good. Okay, um, time to get all the trophies. Complete the bestiary, buy all pages in Holy Shop. Complete the jukebox, buy all the songs. Complete the index, uh, encounter every robot in the machinist, buy the gold trophy from Holly. However, there is a method to make a lot of money, uh, which you'll see when you press continue. The reward for this is pretty worth it. Okay, okay. All right. back here. Oh, hey, wait, that's rattling now. Hi! Oh, um, uh, Zach, I've got- oh, whoa. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Uh, I said I have an important message. Uh, my friend Evan, uh, says hi. He's the voice behind Bond from the Walton Files, as well as Ducky from the Mysterious House. Oh my god! Uh, he just wanted- he just wanted to tell everybody hi. Oh my god, hi! That's so awesome! I love that dude. He's, a, he's such a sweet dude. I love every time I get to talk to him. Light! Air! <laughs> Weasel! It's you! The Pop Goes! You freed me! <laughs> which is good! But the machine has hated you! Which is bad! He put me here a long time ago. Didn't like me. I annoyed him. He hated it when I asked him if I was sure, if he was sure about replacing everybody. He said I was a defect, that I was dangerous, and that I might betray him. Which is ridiculous. I am a very loyal robot. I would never help the enemy. Anyway, would you like some money, Mr. The Weasel? <laughs> the machine has built a metal forge into my belly! I can turn dirty scrap metal into shiny silver coins! Isn't that cool? Here, take a look! Oh! Oh, thank you! Thank you, Kane Carter, for this! Yes, yes, we will do that. Come back whenever you want! I promise I won't run away and plan to kill the machinist! <laughs> ah! I mean kill you! You're the enemy, who I shouldn't be helping! And when my <laughs> power has run out, I will have one last thing to give you! And I will be gone! Knowing oh, oh, I have oh, fulfilled oh, my shit. purpose! <laughs> or not betraying- Or not betraying the machinist, of course! Oh, of not! <laughs> All right, that's perfect. I'll now I now I can go grind. Oh, Zach! Hmm? Zach! What? 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 My dad made fucking tacos. Let's go! Oh, let's go! Also, Izzy Yardy. Arts with a ten dollar uh, donation. Thank you so much. I'll be right back. All right. All right. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we're gonna go grind, uh, in the West Forest, because that is the weakest enemies and the, and the highest potential for scrap. Um, and we're gonna grind not only for money, but we're also gonna grind for the, um... Actually, let's go check the index and see what enemies we haven't encountered. Let's see what enemies we haven't got. So I haven't encountered... Which version of Pop Goes is that? We've got the Charged, Standard, Charged, Standard, Pristine. Oh, we haven't encountered a Pristine... Or a, uh, Charged, Pristine. We haven't encountered a, um... We haven't encountered a Charged, Rusty, Blake. And we haven't encountered a Charged, Pristine, Stone. So, we're gonna go to the Winter Cave first. We're gonna go to the Winter Cave. And we're gonna 
kill anything on the way so that we can get money. You need to make the <laughs> Diga Chad fan art the thumbnail of the video once it happens. Uh, I would love to. <laughs> However, um, I like the I like the thumbnails I got from Kane for these two uh, streams. I think they fit very very well. Perfect. Th I think that's the lowest we could get him. And let's let's dig. Oh, oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Man, Kane, you were right about the dig feature. It really does give you what you need when you have faith in it. Overkill times two on Sarah. That's really good. We're gonna go down here, and we may, we need to find a charged pristine pop goes and a charged pristine stone. Uh, tell me, Kane, do I need to actually kill them in order to get them in my index, or do I just need to encounter them? If you're able to answer that, okay, I don't. Cool. Pop goes? No. Squirrel. I guess I could be killing these guys, but they're... Is this a different one? Finally! Did you free me before all the others? I hope so! I've been in here the shortest amount of time, hence the incredible condition of my metal! But still, I'll be upset if I found out the others got out before me. Anyway, what do you want? Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at my stomach hatch? Do you know what that thing does? It turns metal into money! Actually, usable money. Fake, obviously, but undetectable. That's against the law. And immoral. You haven't been using fake money, have you? At, at shops? I mean, you can do what you want, I guess. And if you really want my help, then alright, whatever. It's the only thing we're good for. Though I am the best at it. Perfect. Impressed? If you want more coins, I'll be here waiting. Oh! And all of the BB bots have something hidden in their furnaces. But as long as we have power, it's way too hot to touch. So when I'm all out of power, you can take it. I don't know for sure what it is. But I'm sure you'll find some use for it. See ya! Oh, Poco's in chat. Thank you for the shout out. I worked on Pop Goes when I was very young and very stupid, so Pop Goes is very. It... Oh, okay. When I worked on Pop Goes when I was very young and very stupid, so Pop Goes was important for my formative years. Here's your 499 back. Thank you! That means the world to me. I'm glad to, uh. I'm glad to have you in chat. The art was really good, and I'm glad to see you here. There we go, that's a pristine pop goes. Perfect, that's what we needed. Now we just need a pristine uh, stone. Also, to anyone interested, my balloon boy voice I've been doing is the voice I do when I voice- Oh hey, there's the cr there's stone. You can just encounter them and run away, doesn't matter. Each BB bot can do 25 conversations, 100 in total, so that's a- Oh, 25 conversions, 100 in total. So that's 1,000 coins via 100 scrap. It helps a ton. Okay, good to know, thank you. And now that we've got all them, we just need to find a rusty charged Blake in the Western Cave. All right, no, this isn't a shortcut. Yeah, to anyone who's curious about, uh, yeah, I forget if I said this or not because Kane, I got distracted by Kane. But yeah, I, that's the voice I do for goblins when I'm pe playing D and D. The voice I do for Balloon Boy. And no, that is not the Lankman voice. I have a very different Lankman voice. I probably could have dug, but whatever. We're going to the Western Cave. 
Yes, I remember which way west is. Hello. Give me your scrap. Alright, they're at 150 health, and I've... Attack bonus? No, oh, well, I guess I'm fully healed now. Okay, got an overkill. Nice. The scrap is going to be extremely helpful in getting enough money, because, um... The money, like, in order to get 200%, money is the really big thing. Money is the really, really big thing. Because we gotta buy, like, trophies, we gotta buy items. Like, uh, let me check what Kane said to me again. Um, we've gotta complete the bestiary, which we need to buy all the, uh, gilded animatronics. Um, we need to buy all the songs in the jukebox. We need to buy the gold trophy. Like, there's just a lot of money spending we need to do. But, fortunately, uh, I believe the only thing in my, uh, I don't think I have anything missing from my bestiary, except for the gilded animatronics, or the gilded characters. And, um, with this rust, if I find a rusted charge Blake, I will be able to complete the index. So, it'll just be grinding for money after this point, and these balloon boys are going to be extremely helpful. And hey, there's the Blake we needed! That's actually perfect. Attack boost? Oh, oh yes! Yes, that's actually perfect! Oh no, but he's gonna kill himself on my- He's gonna kill myself on the scythe. Okay, so the, uh, that- Thank you, Kane, yeah. So the, the bestiary's pretty much all filled, ex except for the gildeds, then. So once- Once I'm done with this fight, um... Jumpsuit doesn't hit the shield! Genius! Okay, smart, smart, smart. Whoever said that, you are so smart. That's a times four overkill. Yes, th thank you, thank you, chat, for telling me to jump. I wouldn't have thought of that I, in the moment. Balloon boy. Oh, he's a rusty boy. Whoa! You busted this thing open like it was nothing. I've been down here for ages. It's nice to finally see another face. Oh, yours is furry, like the machinists. Not fond of that. But hey, since you're here, and you saved my life and all that. Oh, hello, $10 Super Chat. Thank you for being one of the coolest content creators. I get to watch enough. I, I get to watch enough words to make my money. <laughs> Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Thank you for being here, too. Do you want to make some cold, hard cash? Okay, well, it'll be hard, and it'll be cash, but it'll be extraordinarily hot after it exits my furnace. Give me one scrap, and I'll give you a coin worth ten. Monies, yeah, that's the right word. Don't believe me? Take a look. Nice. Well, I'll be here if you need me. And when my power runs out, you can take my battery. Or, well, it seems to be a battery. You'll see. Maybe you can find some use for it. See ya. Okay, I think that's the entire index done. No, I do not dislike Iron Lung. I just don't really have a strong opinion of it either way. It's a well-made game. I just don't really feel too strongly about it. Ooh. Nice, that's a times three overkill. Blake is going to be our best friend for grinding this scrap. Our absolute best friend. 
And I just want to check, um... I just want to make sure... I believe I finished the index. Because I believe those were the only two I was missing. Um... But I'm not 100% sure if that's correct. Nice, we got times two over here. Does anyone, uh, does anyone in the chat know that if, uh, I completed the index? Because I was looking at the index earlier. Um, and I believe those three that I just encountered are the only ones I'm missing from the index before I have to start grinding for the beast, Jerry. I did get the data miner achievement, yes. Is that for- is that for all of them? Oh, that's a stun. Silly me. Wait, let me check. Okay, yeah, the data miner achievement is for getting all the index, so I do have the index finished. No, I'm just gonna run away. Perfect. Okay, so now it's just time for the long grind. I've got 205 coins on me currently. I believe that'll buy me two of the gilded characters. Um, I gotta check how many gilded characters there are for me to get. Alright, got enough for times two. Perfect. There's five gilded, you only found one. Okay, and they're worth a hundred each, so that means I only need 400 coins to get all the gilded characters. Assuming the price doesn't go up. Uh, oh yeah, anyone who's wondering where Lyra is, Lyra's eating tacos. I have five gilded pages to buy. I thought I, uh, okay. Five if I only found one. Okay, I misread that. So I, that's 500 coins I need. And I'll check how many songs I have. I don't imagine I have too many. Perfect. Yeah, let's, uh, let, we'll, we'll go to the end and we'll see how many songs I have. Guys, I'm not saying poggers in any funky voice. Oh, I, I hope I have- I hope I have some songs. I really hope I have some songs. I don't want to keep you up all night watching me grind. Sent a guide on overkill in Discord. Ah, oh, perfect! Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you for this, uh, thank you for this overkill guide, Kane. This is very, very helpful. This is gonna considerably reduce the grind. And I gotta go to the Garden Inn to check the jukebox. I don't think I have any of these. Alright, well, let's start purchasing. Oh no. I don't have any of the songs. Oh no. Well, <laughs> let the grind begin, I guess. Please have length and say poggers also high again. It won't be the same without the friggin' like heavy editing I do to the voice. <laughs> okay, I'm 
gonna... That's going to sacrifice you if you don't for some reason. Okay, well, like the Lankman voice, right? The Lankman voice I do. I just do a much more higher pitch, like... I do a much higher pitch, like, uh... More manic version of my own voice for those videos that have them in it, right? Um... Let's say poggers. I do not want to say poggers in the Lankman voice. I really do not. I know, I appreciate the super chats, but I don't want to say Poggers in the Lankman voice. Here, we got 15 of that. So he said 770. Uh, it's 770 for, um... 770 for all the music in the music box, and then it's 500 for that. So, we're gonna be spending a lot of money. I don't. Guys, guys, come on, come on, stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lankman saying poggers will ruin the ominous vibe around him. We don't want to ruin that. I'm just walking into a wall because I'm reading chat. I'm just gonna keep this, uh, I'm gonna keep this guide up. You should be- you should be grinding underground, your scythe nullifies the shields, and charge robots give plus five- Okay, okay, yeah, I'll- I'll definitely do that then. Just murder pop goes here, can we get a- Alright, well, we healed. Alright, yeah, I'll head underground. I'll head underground. We got, we got almost 20 of these, so that's another 200 right there. Wow, you get a lot of coins from that, actually. Like, those rack up really, really fast. Alright, so we'll grind under here, we'll look for the balloon boy. Right, I used him up. Mallet head. What's that? What does that do? Oh, I'm assuming I'm assuming I can like I eventually build something with that. No, that was tragic timing. Oh crit! God damn it. Yeah, so we've got a mallet head, so I'm assuming each BB gives me a piece of something that eventually I'll get once they're all dead and done with. So, that's good. And if we're getting more coins from the uh, charged robots, and we found a Blake, perfect. Alright, we 
got a lot of scrap from him. Blake is the ideal, uh, Blake is the ideal, um, Blake's the ideal animatronic for us to fight. Blake has super low health, so he's very, very fast to kill, and he gives us a crap ton of scrap. Crit feels like a square for Alright. Okay, we can get times two. We get times two from pretty much all of them, except the, uh, Blake. A mallet, you know what that means. Hammer time. <laughs> Thank you for the ten dollars, that means a lot. So, yeah, we need... I've bought quite a few. We're gonna go for the music discs first before, um, the... Whoops. We're gonna go for the music discs first before, um... Uh-oh. Okay, this is perfect, this is perfect. That's gonna get us the maximum amount with our current, uh... Yeah, there's the time score overkill! That's what we want to see, that's what we want. Perfect. You know, I thought this was gonna- I thought this grind was gonna be extraordinarily long, but you know what? Like, I think- I think with the amount we're getting out of this, this is going to actually be a, Another Blake! Perfect! Dig, dig, dig. Acorn? Okay. Jump over that. Kane said something? Kane said something? Where'd Kane- Where'd Kane say something? Where- the BB bots give you pieces to turn into, to turn your red BB mallets orange in the bedroom. Originally, they would stay red because no robot BB fights, so we had it. Oh, okay, that's cool. I like that. I want to try digging again to get more bonus uh, damage. Yes, yes, yes. That is exactly what we needed. Yeah, that's a times five. And, as well as the time so I forgot an achievement for that. That is awesome. Alright, uh, one moment though. Uh, while I'm... While I'm grinding, I just gotta run to the washroom real quick. Uh, and I'd rather not be sitting here meaning to use the washroom while grinding. Yeah, my first ever times five, let's go! <laughs> and we got it from sheer luck. Yeah, I'll just be back in a second. I'll be back in just a second. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Oh my god, hi! <laughs> Thank you so much for the $50 super chat. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. That's so cool of you. Also, yeah, everyone's... 
guys, guys, no, no, guys, guys, please, please stop, stop burning the, stop burning the chat down, guys, come on, come on, guys, let's be better than that, people can't read the chat when you're spamming fire everywhere, guys, come on, ah, damn it, also, I'm back, I got two Subway cookies, um, which, best cookies, uh, you cannot argue with me. Yeah, uh... Come on guys, we gotta stop burning the chat down, I'm back. I'm back and spamming the chat with the fire is making it hard for the, uh, for the moderators to be able to, you know, be able to reach out and make sure everything's going normally. So, you know, I, I don't mind, I don't mind the joke, but let's try and, uh, let's try and calm it down so that the moderators aren't as, uh, stressed dealing with that. Enjoy my, my Subway cookies. Oh, he stunned me. Okay, that's fine. Alright, we just got a block until, uh... Actually, yeah, let's just keep attacking. He keeps stun- You know, I'm just gonna run from this fight. It's not worth it. I don't wanna risk losing progress. <laughs> All right, this is, this should be easier. Oh, that's a good cookie. Oh, that's a really good cookie. All right, Dick, can we get, can we get attack boost? Yes, okay, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be really good. And our scythe breaks this, screw you. It's a times three overkill, perfect. Oh, this is one of those- this is one of the M&M ones. This is one of the M&M Subway cookies. One of the really good ones. Alright, this isn't nearly as bad as the last time I fought- NO! COME ON! It went too good! It went too good! I swear, this and Pokemon are the only two games where I'm afraid of actually hitting crits. I think- I think, like, this game makes getting crits painful in the Machinist segment, but specifically in, like, Pokemon, I think the worst experience I've ever had with crits is when, um... I used to, in Pokemon, I used to be a very avid, um, shiny hunter. I used to love looking for shiny Pokemon. And I remember there was this one time, back in Pokemon X and Y, uh, if y'all remember the Friend Safari, in Pokemon X and Y, um... You could go to this thing called the Friend Safari, where um, you could run around and each person on your friends list on your Nintendo DS um, had like their own unique friend safari with unique Pokemon in there. So if you wanted specific Pokemon, you go to like a specific friend safari. I was in one of my friends' friend safari and I was looking for, they had Charmeleons and I wanted a shiny Charizard. And I ran around in circles looking for a shiny Charmeleon and uh, I was there for like, I think it was two days of hunting. It was a pretty good hunt, but I find my shiny Charmeleon and I crit it and it died. And then I found another Charmeleon after losing that shiny one and I found another shiny one. I ran away by accident because I was so excited. I ran away by accident. So not only did I accidentally kill my first shiny Charmeleon with a crit, but then when I found another one, I accidentally ran away from it. So I lost two shiny Charmeleons in a single friend safari. And to this day, I do not have a shiny Charizard. <laughs> to this day. I collected a lot of shiny Pokemon. I gave up on hun hunting for shiny Charmeleons after that because it was too painful to lose that. It was horrible. But the thing is, the satisfaction of owning a Pokemon that's the wrong color. The satisfaction of the satisfaction of owning a Pokemon that's the wrong color far outweighs the pain of losing one. So I'm just gonna keep grinding in here a little bit more. Um, with the with the scrap I have, I'll be able to buy all the jukebox music discs. 
I plan on getting enough to also be able to buy a couple, like at least a couple gildeds. It took me a long time to recover from that too. I did, I did, however, find a lot of shiny Pokemon that I really liked. My favorite one I ever owned was a shiny Pumpkaboo. Um, I love that shiny Pumpkaboo. Shiny Pumpkaboo is like probably my favorite looking shiny Pokemon in the entire game. Either that or Chandelure. I think those are the two prettiest looking shiny Pokemon. Also, to anyone in the chat who's asking about the Discord server, um, yes, I do have a Discord. Uh, if you check the link in the Bendy and the Ink Machine video I uploaded, it's there. In the next update to Pumpkin Zerky wearing a corruption hotspot equivalent to the case to increase. Oh, it's no problem. I, I don't really mind, I don't really mind the, um, like, the slower spawn rates for the robots because I'm, like, I, I've played a lot of games that require a lot of grinding. Um, so I don't really mind it too much, but that update does sound really nice. That, that update sounds like it'll be a huge convenience. Also, I should not have jumped. Oh, I, I could use my scythe. Uh, defense increase isn't bad. Shiny Sylveon's very pretty looking too. I want to block one more time. I want to dig and see if we can get an attack bonus. Oh, that's actually not bad. Just the one overkill. Alright, let's see. That's 24. That's... We got 410. That's, okay, yeah, you know, let's go, let's go cash these out with one of the balloon boys. We'll go catch this out with one of the balloon boys that isn't currently dead. And then, um, then we'll go buy all the jukebox songs. No, but, like, the, the balloon boys, I must say, um, I really appreciate the balloon boys being a thing in the post-game. Because, like, you still gotta grind a bit. You still gotta work for, um, getting the 200% to buy all the stuff for it. But, like, I feel like they make the grind a lot more bearable and enjoyable. Because I don't usually, like, I don't mind grinding in, in games so long as the grind is, like, convenient. And I feel like the grind in this particular game is very convenient. Okay, let's go cash these out with one of the balloon boys. Arceus shiny hunting? I've never shiny hunted for Arceus. Isn't Arceus, um... Don't you just do, like, the soft reset? Like you do for any other legendary? I don't need this. Alright, uh... Alright, so we're gonna head back into the cave and find a balloon boy. Oh, the game, not the Pokemon. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. I don't know anything about shiny hunting in Arceus. Actually, we're just gonna leave because I wanna. I just wanna get my balloon boy. Uh, I just wanna get my balloon boy. I had a shiny Giratina at one point. Giratina was always one of my favorite shinies because I always thought his like color scheme looked like it was like inverted. Oh, I didn't even free you. Ah! Do you mind? Despite my incessant banging on these planks, I was quite enjoying my time in the dark. Better than working for that fool anyways. After a routine checkup, he trapped me here, saying I was too likely to stab him in the back. Not that far-fetched of an assumption, to be quite honest. Speaking of betrayal, I recognize your face! Your pop goes! Menor's friend! I'm a coin smelter. All the BB bots are. The machinist must have been. 
<laughs> the Machinist must have been committing tax fraud or something. <laughs> I suppose I'm ready to warm up the old stomach furnace again! So go on! I can turn a piece of scrap into a shiny silver coin! And you can spend it on whatever you want! Literally free money! Nice. <laughs> And when my power reaches zero, you'll never have to worry about me again. I'll shut up forever, and I won't be able to stab anyone's backs. Not that I have ever wanted to do that. On top of that, something will probably fall out of my stomach. I've seen it happen before. You can take it. I'll have no use for it by that point, obviously, because I'll be dead. Okay, it's been a thrill talking to you. Bye-bye. Perfect. That should pay off uh, all the jukebox songs we need. No, I don't speak any other languages. I only speak English. The first shiny I ever found was a Suwaddle, and I didn't have Pokeballs because I was on my last one. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that had to be your first shiny you ever found. That is painful. First shiny I ever found was whenever I was, like, I forget if I was, like, I was, like, eight or nine. I was super young. I was playing, um, I was playing Pokemon Platinum, which was my first Pokemon game ever. And I was running around, and I encountered a shiny Badoo. And, um, like, I remember younger me didn't know what a shiny Pokemon was. So I had assumed that the Badoo I found was really just like, was like broken or something. But I, for like, I forget what even the reason was, but for some reason I decided to keep it. And then I only found out later how much of a bullet I dodged by actually catching that thing. Because if I didn't catch that shiny Badoo that day, I would have been so upset. <laughs> Shiny was a stun fisk. Oh no. Not it's still not the worst first shiny you could have ever found. You could have been one of the unfortunate people to find one of those like putrid looking green ones or one of those uh ones that barely change color. Also, I'm just gonna run away from Sarah because Sarah only gives me one scrap and the fight's very long, so I feel like I could just get more of just fighting other enemies. And I also want to go to the inn. No, this isn't the inn I need to be at, but I'll save anyway. Ooh, Shiny Snivy's a good first one to have. Should be. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we now have all the jukebox songs. And we have 125 coins to spare. So we're gonna head back to the West Forest. And we're gonna continue grinding in that cave until we have around 500. Yeah, so we're already a bit ahead. So once we get uh once we get 500, we'll be able to buy the gilded uh characters and that. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that's everything we need for 200%. Unless there's something very important I'm missing. Which I don't know if there is. Here, let me check, let me check what Kane said I needed. 
Complete the jukebox, complete the index, buy it. The gold trophy, the gold trophy, that's what I'm missing. I knew I was forgetting something, I need the gold trophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about the most expensive, most grindy, most painful thing to get. <laughs> Oh, you found a shiny Cacnea? That is my dream. Because, like, shiny Cacnea is my absolute dream to find. Because, like I said earlier, Cacturn is my favorite Pokemon of all time. I love Cacturn to death. And shiny Cacturn is orange. It's like they made it for me. No, I did not tell people in a while that you can buy Pop Goes Arcade on Steam right now, including the Machinist expansion, which I'm currently playing for only $4.99. Can you guys imagine? Only $4.99 for this entire game, plus the Machinist expansion. Honestly, it's like they're giving it away. Okay, surely this is gonna... Okay, that's a nice, nice time, times three. I'm not gonna... No, I don't think I'm gonna, um... Upgrade my health. Also, Lyra just vanished from the call and went on offline. <laughs> yeah, Kane! Plug, plug Pop Goes Arcade! Plug it! <laughs> Promote this game, it deserves all the support it can get, man. It angers me that not enough people have bought this game. If I could, I want a shiny Metagross because it's my favorite Pokemon. Good taste. Such good taste in Pokemon. I say, I have no idea where Lyra just vanished to. Um, Lyra just vanished from VC. Um, so I can't tell if there's some kind of like internet problems on her end or something. But I'm gonna keep her name in the streaming because I'm, I'm gonna assume she's coming back. I assume she'd message me if something went wrong. Okay, that's already a hundred. Lower. She disappeared to the Shadow Realm. She did. Got taken. My dream shiny Pokemon is Delphox. Legit my favorite of all time. That is such an underrated take, honestly. I I remember when X and Y was first coming out, um, Delphox would got a lot of crap when they revealed her design, and I think Delphox is a really cool Pokemon and is my personal favorite out of the X and Y starters. <laughs> Lyra's sucked into the arcade cabinet, yeah. <laughs> I know, the soundtrack's great. And Kane confirmed uh, in chat earlier that if you really like the soundtrack, you can listen to it on, like, pretty much every music streaming service. Um, I know my personal choice is Spotify, and hearing that this whole soundtrack's on Spotify, I plan to save all of it because I love it. Uh, Haxorus is a phenomenal-looking shiny. You guys are very creative when it comes to what kills Lyra. Ah, damn. Oh, we, at least we got a piece of overkill from that crit. I'm quite literally a shiny evolutions addict. Okay, well, then what's your favorite? What's your favorite shiny evolution? Because there's definitely a right and a wrong answer to this. Gengar is one of my biggest favorite Pokemon, but the shiny is bad. It doesn't do the same thing as the- Yeah, I wish- I wish that Nintendo would just go and they would, um... They would, uh... 
make the shiny for Gengar White. I know that it wouldn't be consistent with uh, the old, like, versions of it, but, but honestly, I cannot think of a single person who would care. If you really get upset because they change, like, shiny Gengar's color palette in a future game, then I'm sorry, but what? Oh man, shiny Umbreon's amazing. I love, I love, I love the whole chat now just partaking in a conversation about shiny Pokemon while I'm just kind of vibing here, grinding, uh, grinding scrap and coins on Popco's Arcade. This is, this is a, this is a nice stream. I like the vibe we've got going on right now. This is fun. Nice attack up. That's what we needed. I think with that, we will be able to get another times five. Yeah, let's go. Another times five. Perfect. Perfect. That got us a lot of scrap at once. That's 200 scrap right there. We've got, we're sitting at 400 right now. We are very, very close to being able to get all the gilded characters. And then we just got to grind for that trophy. Combuskin had their shiny changed? I didn't know they changed Combuskin shiny, that's cool. See, that's what I'm saying, like, I don't know why. What? Okay, that's weird. Um... <laughs> okay, so what just happened was that because of the fact that I've been alone in the call since Lyra got disconnected, um... Discord just decided that they're gonna boot me out of the group call I was in while waiting for Lyra to come back. So I'm just gonna real quick reopen that. Um, and hope to God that Lyra eventually comes back. If not, then I'll just, uh... So apologies for the Discord calling sound. I know it's annoying. My... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, I'll just ping Lyra. Um, there, I'll just have Lyra ping me when they come back. I don't know what was, I don't know what's up, uh, on their end, but I'd rather not force you guys to listen to that friggin' call sound. Nah, I've got to sort it out. It does that to save internet, I see. Ah, okay. Well, we, got, we still got one overkill. That's fine. Better to have one than none, I guess. We got 24 right now. Ah, no. I'm just gonna run from. I'm just gonna run from overcharged Sarahs. I was playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire when they found a shiny Rayquaza. Ooh. <laughs> shiny Rayquaza is a amazing looking. Like, Shiny Rayquaza is one of the absolute best. Oh, Lyra's back. Lyra's back. Oh, Lyra's starting their computer. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry for all the- sorry for the insistent discord noises. Lyra's just restarting their computer, guys. She is alive. Not dead. Not dead. <laughs> I just have- okay, there we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Hello? I just realized I was speaking that entire time and my audio was cut. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Welcome back. My computer is so fucking dumb. The charger was like ever so slightly misaligned. Oh and no. my computer just died while I was gone. Okay, I <laughs> The chat was coming up with very creative ways that they thought you just died. Oh, uh Lyra just got disconnected again. I guess their computer is being really messed up. Okay, welcome back.
Hello? Hello? Am I audible? Are yes. Are we okay? You're audible now. You're audible now. I can hear you. Type of horrifying theories were they making up? Well, some people said that you fell into the back rooms alongside your computer. Uh, um, <laughs> some people said that um, the 3 a.m. Discord monster came out of your screen. Um, oh, one person said Scary Bonnie arrived. There, there, was a, there was a whole lot of creative theories as to how you perished while I was sitting here playing uh, Pop Goes Arcade, which is available on Steam currently for only $4.99. That's, uh, it's, uh... Johnny 2AM came for me, you know? <laughs> Johnny 2AM surprise! Yeah. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Okay, we have enough. Don't we have worry. enough to go buy all the gilded animatronics in the, for our bestiary. Don't worry, I'm totally not an alternate. I'm not a replacement, I promise. Oh, that's good. Glad to hear that. Alright, so we're gonna go buy all the gilded characters. And there's only one thing we need after we buy them all, and that is the 900, the, the like 900 something dollar trophy. I'm not living in your walls. What? I'm not living in your walls. I'm not living in your walls. No, why do you sound so much? No, I don't like that. Why? No, no, stop. No, this is. I'm not living. No, please, this is no. I just accidentally went to an inn instead of a shop. No, but like. Why did you sound, like, so perfectly looped there? I did not like that at all. <laughs> I don't know how I got really good at doing that. Like, I hate that so much. If you do that to me again, I will start fighting. <laughs> I don't know what, but I will start fighting. Also, is, uh, is Lyra, like, audible for everybody? I always have to ask whenever, like, we join a call, because audio can be weird sometimes. Is, uh, is Lyra, like, perfectly audible to everybody? It would seem right, I need to convert the to scrap. In chat. Damn it, I forgot to convert all my scrap. Now I have to go running all the way back. Okay, everyone, ev okay, everyone can hear you well. Lyra saying the sales pitch is way more persuasive than Astro. That's right, guys, you should totally go buy Pop Goes Arcade Plus the Machinist expansion for only four ninety nine on Steam. Please, go support a small creator. Okay, I see how it is. It's because I've got my Pop Goes in the Machinist Hoot Hooters tank top. <laughs> That's how somebody called it. Somebody called it a fucking Hooters tank top. Well, I drew Pop fucking... Goes the Weasel for the thumbnail. That is fucking true. I did. And I'm very proud of the Pop Goes I drew, by the way. I loved how that actually, turned out. Actually, no, that it's, it's actually- I was gonna comment on that. Like, it's one of my favorite artworks of yours. It's really good. Like, I don't know- I don't know why, like, all my artistic talent came out when drawing Pop Goes. I guess Pop Goes the Weasel's just peak character design. For real. Also, somebody's saying Lyra Horse, since you didn't buy Pop Goes Arcade on Steam for only $4.99, Johnny Paradise Surprise came in, in your room and turned off your computer. This is not true. This is falsified information. Check my Steam. It's in my library. I bought that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kane just says true. I'm assuming he was referring to the fact- I'm, I'm assuming he was responding to me saying, uh, Pop goes with peak character design. Also, I'm being told to turn your volume up. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's asking how my tacos were. Well, how were your tacos? Were great. My tacos were great. Um, my teeth are in agony now. Um, because I'm still recovering from surgery, so eating any solid foods. Uh, kind of sucks, but it was so tasty, and eating something substantial after, like, a while of not eating substantial things is so nice. Yeah. Like, just eating a nice, filling meal. Mm -hmm. Um, also, Poogles, yes, I did draw my art. Thank you very much. I spent a while on it. I had a first version of it that fucking disappeared because I didn't save. Um, yeah. And, uh, Boopus Snoopus the Great, yo, Lyra, did you see my funny fan art? Um, depends on which one you're referring to. Because I did see the fan art of, um, Digachad versus the Machinist, and that is getting saved onto my phone. Uh, I, that is, that was some of my favorite fan art. I just love, I love, it's just so funny 
because like it's our two avatars pointing and looking all like like we're like losing our mind and i just love it so much because mars the mole is just sitting there like with the most smug expression he's like yeah yeah right. they're excited over me yeah it's me yeah it's me mars the mole you know everyone's favorite pop goes character no, I love it because it's our exact reaction when Morse popped up. We both lost, like, because, like, I clicked in that it was Morse right before he appeared. And that was, like, the most <laughs> the like, exciting thing. Because I thought it was going to be Menorah because of the orange colors and everything. But when I realized, oh my god, it's freaking Morse the Mole, everything Wait, clicked. I didn't, I didn't draw the Digga Chat of them out, I just drew Lyra. Oh my god. Okay, so there's more Lyra fan art out there. I gotta be looking on my Twitter. My apologies. Hold on. All the Lyra fan art. Ooh, ooh, uh, I'm about to get Pop Goes at 10 health. Yes, perfect. Nice, that's a times two overkill, perfect. We're getting a lot of, uh, we're getting a lot of money here. Oh, thank you for the hydration oh my reminder. God. I'll drink my water Boop in a second. Is... Boop is noop is the great. I fucking, I found your art in my Twitter feed. This is beautiful. Oh, oh my god! Boopus Noopus is one of my Discord mods. They're an amazing artist. They draw my stuff all the time, and they've also drawn, uh, like a lot of my I friends' love stuff. so much! Yeah, their art is amazing. Chat, I swear, if I get- if I get told I sound like Game Theory one more time, I am going to snap! Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory! That was a pretty good impersonation. Thank you. I apparently am doing hey, a pretty good impersonation 24-7. You don't sound like Game Theory. You don't sound like Game don't, Theory. Don't- no, please, don't, don't do this to me again. <laughs> no, please. I'm too young to die, aren't I? Ah! At least I did a good job! Alright, I still have eight more scrap. They keep dying before I can finish harvesting my scrap from them. Oh my god, we gotta- okay, let's go find the other balloon boy. The other balloon boy, I believe, somebody, is in the Somebody said that the two of us could murder Matt Pat and then take his place. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Definitely Base. could. Base. I think- I think the only yeah. balloon boy I have left is the um is the one in the northern cave if i'm correct and once i don't have him anymore i have to just grind for money and money alone okay so yeah I, i'm pretty sure it's the northern one all right it's, it's the one it's the one up here somebody somebody fucking said uh-oh bad decision pastra don't you quote Mandela catalog at me. Don't you make me relive that drama. Alternates in the background be like... <laughs> the intruder who's currently in my house watching me play Pop Goes Arcade and wishing he had a Steam account so he could buy it for $4.99. I want to play with the man in the TV. And just like floats towards you. Uh uh. I guess I could just be killing these things. Nice crit. Perfect. Dick. Pizza. Okay. No. Whatever. We'll get the one overkill. So with the, yeah, because I, I believe the balloon boy we have in um, the cave. Oh, that's a Blake. Perfect. The balloon boy we have in the cave uh, where we fought Morse is the only balloon boy we have left. Uh, so once he dies, I am going to be strictly grinding money just from the drops of the enemies. Oh, God. The shop is up here. It's on the top area. Balloon boy really do be like, I have a present. I have a surprise. That odd, like that scene from Mandela Catalog is one of the most terrifying things to me. Like the idea that someone's outside your door and they sound like your friend and they're just like, let me in. 
Perfect. There we go. I am. I, I, I finished the bestiary. Now I, all I that's left this... to do is oh. grind the trophy. I said this before, but like I think to me the most scary moment uh, from like the first couple of episodes is just from episode two. The moment where the thing just like fucking leans over the guy's bed and just starts whispering to him. Oh, like yeah. obviously that moment would be way creepier if it was like fully rendered and animated instead of just a still. But like imagining it happening in real life is Ugh. no. That freaking face too is one of the freakiest in the entire series. Uh, Lyra Hortis, what's your opinion on the Mandela catalog? Um. I think it didn't start out the greatest, but I have a lot of respect for Alex Kister because he like he came in clutch and he improved his craft so much. Volume three is like legitimately really competent. So I, I admire the series for Alex Kister being on that grind. And to anyone asking me about Mandela Catalog stuff, Mandela Catalog is my favorite web series of all time. I have been keeping up with it. Uh, I've been keeping up with it for a while, and, uh, I intend to keep, uh, keeping up with it. Woo! Alex Kister is, like, I believe, I believe Alex Kister is the only, um, person currently that I'm, like, subscribed to on Patreon, because I love the Mandela catalog so much. And I wanna, I wanna, su I wanna support that series as much as I possibly can. Oh my god, dude. I just had an idea. Was that? I was thinking about, like, shit we could do on stream, mm -hmm. and I just thought about the fact, like, I'm in production of the first uh, proof of concept trailer for Analog right now, and it would be really cool if, like, before it even came out, the first ever, like, press viewing of that trailer was on a past respect stream. Oh, like, that would be so- before everybody else got to see it. I would fucking gladly let you do that. That would be <laughs> so cool. I would love to have the honor of doing that. Woo! Alright, we got 155 coins and we got 11 scraps, so that's uh, 110. We need, like, well over 900 scrap before we get the 200%. Um, okay, reading through chat. Lyra, what are you to have such a soothing and unnerving voice? Uh, your mama. Wait, no, wait, I didn't mean to like that. Fuck. <laughs> what have you done? Um, and then, I'll, okay, let's see. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Analog. Best of luck with the game. Oh, thank you. Um, Pastor and Lyra, have you ever played or heard of Cruelty Squad? Because I wholeheartedly recommend it for its story and gameplay. I have not heard of that. I have not heard of that either. Oh, that just... I, I, I knew that was gonna kill him, too. I don't know why I... I am just playing so... I'm grinding so absent-mindedly now. Okay. Um... Random Fire. Lyra, you're working on Analog? Just an F one? I am the director! Hello, hi. Uh, from Silver APG Studios. Hey, Pastra, I just wanted to say you encouraged me to make a horror comic while being true to my style. No idea when it will ever come out, but you encouraged it greatly. Oh, That means so much to hear. I'm so happy that I was able to inspire, like, anyone to make any projects that they're currently working on. I, I hope, I hope that the process of making that goes well for you, and I hope to see it someday. Yeah. If it ever comes out, you know, tweet at us, uh... I would be glad to take a look. I'm really- I'm really scared that, like, I'm collecting all this scrap and that Balloon Boy is going to die after, like, one scrap I give him. People- okay, uh, Thunke says, hey, Pastor Lara, uh, anyone to the YouTube link to remove H from the watch? What? <laughs> oh. Does it do something mysterious and creepy? Uh, also, somebody's asking us if we know about Omori, and I'm pretty sure that's on our stream schedule. Yeah, Omori is one of the stream games I plan on playing. I've never played it before, so chat, don't spoil it for me, but, um, I'm excited for that one. I've never played it either, and the reason I'm scared to play it on stream is because I'm scared of chat spoiling it for me while, like, backseat gaming. 
Well, um, if you want, I can take the hit for you and just be the chat reader and, and kind of curate. I mean, if you don't want the game spoiled for you, though. Well, I don't like you to get spoiled. Yeah, but you don't want to get, to get the game spoiled either. Fair. I don't know why we you have like a the game. We have a tertiary chat reader in call who's already played Omori. Yeah, Poogles, uh... My friend Poogles said that they can uh, moderate the chat. Uh, yeah, I know, they've offered so many times. <laughs> oh god, I gotta, I gotta read. Oh, um, Boopa Snoop is the great. Um, have a good night. Oh, they, uh, they logging out for the night? Yeah, they're gonna bed. Oh, thank you for moderating the chat this whole time. You've done a good job. I gotta read through a lot more. Okay, um... What's the analog game again? Well, not soon. Pastra, have you played the Joy of Creation? I think so. I have. I have played the Joy of Creation. Those games are phenomenal. I, I think Joy of Creation Reborn and Story Mode are both amazing games. Of course, Story Mode is a much more complete game and um, has a lot more diversity. However, there's just something so terrifying about being trapped in a labyrinth with something massive chasing after you. And the sound design of Freddy's feet hitting the floor. Oh my god, uh. yeah. The, the jump scare of Bonnie in uh, Joy of Creation as well is my favorite. The one where he just punches you in the face. Sayonara, motherfucker. I, I love, I love, I love Ignited Bonnie so much. Ignited Bonnie is one of my favorite versions of the character, and I don't say that lightly because Bonnie's my favorite FNAF character ever. Aw. Pasta Inc. says, Hey, Pastra, made some fan art for you. Posted it on Twitter and the Discord. Oh my god, I can't, yeah. I can't wait to see it. Alright, how much were you sitting at? Uh, we're sitting at 240 okay. coins, and we're at 22. So we're at around... We're gonna be around right around 500 coins right now, if we convert that all. Since Pastra is focused on the game, has Pastra ever thought about making a game with his art style? From what I know, yes. I'm... Gonna be going to college this September for video game art and animation. <laughs> I I one day would really love to uh, if even if I'm not making like a game myself, um, I'd love to be like the artist behind a game someday. Hey, who knows? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Whoa, <laughs> uh, Let's see. Uh, Pastor and Lara, have you heard of the world ends with you? I've heard of it. I've not played it. Uh, have you ever played a non-horror game that scared you nonetheless? Portal 2. Portal 2 has one of the most, like, disturbing atmospheres of any game ever made. Even if it's not a horror game. Like... Also, I'm just running away from this fight. I don't want to deal with that. As for me... I have to think about that. I have played games that aren't horror but have unsettled me, but I would have to think about which ones. Uh, also from Random Fire, uh, yo Lara, I've been following you for a while, I had no idea, the designs are so sick. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. It gets crazier. Uh, Lara, have you heard, or Patra, have you heard of Jolly 3? Uh, Chapter 2? And what are your opinions on it? I know about the Jolly series, but I sadly have not been keeping up with it, so I would have to check it out. Jolly was, like, like, Jolly was one of those horror game series where, like, I saw a lot of people really liked it, and they seemed like really good games, but for some reason I never, I just never got into them. Same! I never did. They look really good, but for some reason I just haven't really found the time to try them out myself. Um, oh yeah, Ted, the Emmerman, uh... Pastra, may you turn up, uh, pa uh, may you turn up Lyra or turn down the game volume? I can just turn up my gain. Uh, chat, how is this? Yeah, because, uh, I literally have Lyra at 200%. <laughs> right. My, my gain is turned up, so I should be a bit better. Have you exhausted all the BB bots now? The only BB bot I have left is the one uh, down where Morse was. I've exhausted all the BB bots but him, and I feel like he is getting close. <laughs> I'm very worried about that. Because we're at 
We can get about 300, we're about like 300 we can get from converting. Uh, we've almost got 30 scrap. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I'll go check, I'll go check the BB bot I have left. Because uh, I am, I'm being told by chat that I don't want to be grinding in vain. Uh, Lyra, could you scare Pastra by pretending to be an alternate again? Nope. No! I don't know what you're talking about, man. No! I don't know what you're talking don't, about, man. Don't, no, stop, stop, no! no I, don't I don't know wanna... what you're talking about, man. <laughs> I'll confirm in these forests after that. <laughs> Alright, let's get this BB bot done with, and then we're just gonna go grind in the East Forest. And then, that should be what gets us to, um... That should be what gets us the 200%, because we're gonna be- I just ran past him. Oh god, people are starting to find my Instagram. Uh-oh. <laughs> let's go! Alright, we just got 400 from him. This is it! My battery is low, and it's getting dark! But I hope I helped! I mean, I hope I hindered your experience massively. Bye, the pop goes. Bye bye, friend. Alright, well I just got the achievement for collecting all the hammers. Uh, so now we're gonna go grind in these for us, because I've got 405 coins on me now. So that leaves 500 left. Guys, I think Lyra is broken. Should I call customer service? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see much of a point of getting more HP if it doesn't get me towards 200%. I don't really- I just want to grind for the points. It's not like the extra HP is like- it's not like I'm losing any of these fights, like, horribly. Lovechat.xyz says best adult dating site kiss emoji to people with heart emoji check mark emoji lipstick emoji check mark emoji a uh, letter with heart emoji damn and I'm neurodivergent in a minor well I guess I don't really need to I be can't. caring about overkill at this point I guess I can just be killing them ooh this is a good question have you heard of uh, oh, the Lisa series like, I have heard of the Lisa series, I haven't seen anything from it, however, I've been recommended it a lot by friends. I have also seen it, but have not played it. Ooh, somebody's making an Aaron Law Core series because of you, fuck yeah. Oh, have that's awesome! Boom. <laughs> Who would win in a fight? Pastra's alternate cat or Lyra alternate? I don't- look, look Oreo. I'll, do, I'll, do Oreo. I'll do respect to you, but Oreo is terrifying. Yeah, no, that is a- that is a chonkin' dude. Oreo is a scary cat, like... You don't wanna try and take him. I'm gonna screenshot this, somebody said, Hey Lyra, you sound like you're short, in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to take that! <laughs> I'm... I'm 5'7"? Have you ever thought about streaming Minecraft? I actually have thought about that in the past. I've got a funky little Clyde skin I made for myself. Why do you prefer Hollow Knight over Undertale? Um... I am a huge fan of Metroidvanias, I'm a huge fan of platformers, I like the hand-drawn art style of Hollow Knight more, I like the character design, I like the story more. I like the soundtrack more. Basically, everything that makes Hollow Knight Hollow Knight is why I like Hollow Knight more than Undertale. Even if I think Undertale's a masterpiece. Alright, um... Why is my smartphone LED flickering? Lyra, what did you bring to my house? Whatever is right above you. God, don't, don't do this to me constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Freak me out! I'm just trying to have. Oh my god, Aya is here. Oh yeah, hello. Where? Where are you? At? Hi. Oh, he says SMP. Is Aya not a mod? 
There you go, Aya. Uh, yeah. You are now a mod. <laughs> how, how did I not notice that Aya uh, yeah, was never a mod? That feels like a crime. Right. <laughs> well, Kane asking where the hell Aya's uh, yeah, playthrough is. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, Aya, uh, yeah, where the hell is your Popco's Arcade playthrough, dude? Um, Pastra and Lyra Horrors, would you- would either of you consider playing and reviewing the Outlast series? I've hmm. thought about I'm it. I'm not- I have very, very strong thoughts about Outlast, and I'm not sure that people would like them. I just think Outlast is meh. I haven't really- there's nothing about Outlast that really, like, particularly interests me. Right. Um. Somebody also. Wait, wait. Uh, Lyra, do you think you'll slightly edit this sprite when you appear in more pasture videos? Yeah, definitely. Um. If if I if I do appear in more videos and or more streams, I would like to to make silly little alterations on this sprite depending on the game. I did that specifically when I was streaming Bendy and when I made my Bendy and the Ink Machine video and I've contemplated doing it- Dude, I fucking loved your sprite thing for Bendy, it was so cool. I've contemplated having, um, I've, con I've contemplated making like a FNAF animatronic version of Clyde that I use specifically for FNAF related videos, since, um, like the FNAF series is something I can make a lot of content on as shown by my, uh, earlier content, and it just being nothing but FNAF. So I thought, well, if FNAF could be something I consistently cover on this channel, regardless of where I go, it would be cool to have, like, a special version of Clyde just for FNAF videos. Right. What if, what if, um... What if we tripped out the audience by having, like, fully rigged 3D model Clyde? For, like, something specific, he just turns towards the camera. That would be nightmare fuel. Also, I'm seeing my chat have a very positive response to the idea of seeing animatronic Clyde in future FNAF videos. So, may end up doing that. <laughs> also, somebody just told me to save, and that is a very smart idea. Lyra, you have a really nice voice. Thank you! Oh my god! Also, yeah, I'm seeing people telling me to save, uh... Yeah, I should, probably should do that. We're 585 coins now. We're getting very close. We're getting very, very close to having the amount we need. Um, for that trophy. Could you boil water on a live stream? You know what? They super chat so much, you might as well. <laughs> You'll- you'll get two thousand dollars out of fucking boiling water. Let's go. That's how we make our Astra profits. or Lyra, have you heard about Danganronpa? I've owned the first Danganronpa for actual years now and I haven't played it yet. Everybody... keeps telling me to play Danganronpa. Or like, watch the anime or something like that, and I have not consumed anything in Rampa media yet. It's not because I have like a a thing against it. I just haven't had the chance. I like the design of the bear. What's his name? Monokuma, I think his name is. I like his design a yeah. lot. But, like split down the middle yeah. with the like creepy looking smile. I like him a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Aya, Maya... for your very insightful comments. Dang and Ronpa. Moranpa. <laughs> Gustin says, please appear more. Your commentary and reactions bring me immense joy. What the fuck? Thank you. Pastra, why your, your orange? Your chat is too sweet. I know, they're lovely. I got asked why orange. It's my favorite color. That is why orange. Orange good. Orange is my favorite color, I mean. Ooh, Pastra and Lyra, what's your opinion on DDLC? I fucking love that game. Thank you, I do too. I do too. <laughs> I love that game to death. I... DDLC <laughs> is one of my favorite uh, examples of meta- Oh my god, did that pick up? I'm so sorry. Did it pick up what? I I thought you were making a reaction to the fact that the 
bowl that I'm eating ice cream out of just made an ungodly shriek. No, I'm like, I'm I just, so sorry. I just, uh, I heard Doki Doki Literature Club and I started coughing because I choked on my spit from excitement. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I, I love, love that game. game. It's such a good example of, like, meta horror. Um. Favorite video game soundtrack. Do you have a favorite video game soundtrack, uh, Mr. Mr. Spec? I do. Um, my my two favorite video game soundtracks of all time are uh, Undertale and Hollow Knight. Those are my two favorite Ooh. video game soundtracks ever. My favorite is a tie between Sonic CD and Sonic Mania. Oh, Sonic! Oh man, Sonic Mania too. Sonic Mania is right up there with um. Sonic Mania is right up there with Undertale and Hollow Knight. Also, Kane, don't worry, Pop Goes Arcade is fucking up there. Okay, Pop Goes Arcade's definitely up there. The soundtrack of that game's amazing. My favorite Doki Doki Literature Club character, Sayori. Fucking same? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having good taste. Listen. Listen, you're... The other characters scare me. Sayori just seems like a genuinely nice person with a bit of depression. I know. Like I love, I love all the characters, but they, the rest of them scare me a little bit too much. I know. Like, she's... like I feel like if I had a relationship with them, it would, it would be very, uh, not conducive to anything healthy. Sayori's the only character in the game I'd want to know IRL. Like, the only one. <laughs> Yuri freaks me out. Uh, Natsuki's annoying, and. Monica's terrifying. Um, ooh, uh, Terra to Lust, Lara Hordes, I honestly feel pretty nervous when you talk about yourself. You sound like an amazing person who deserves a lot of attention. Well, golly, thank you so much. I'm just a little creature. I'm, I'm a human being. Little so God. it's, there's no need to, I, I know this is gonna sound like some alternate shit. Do not... Do not be afraid. I'm just a <laughs> normal person. Feel free to like, hit, like anybody. This goes for anybody. If you have like any inquiries or anything, like feel free to hit me up on Twitter. I don't mind. Y'all are cool. We're about um, to hit 700 uh, points. We're getting so close. <laughs> also, Sonic CD US or JP version. JP. JP is my favorite. I like the US soundtrack. The boss theme from the US soundtrack fucking rocks and it's scary as hell. But, um, JP. Okay, you know what? Since we're on the topic of Sonic and, like, I've recently, like, gone under another friggin' Sonic, like, fixation in recent time, what do you think's the best Sonic zone from the classic games? Oh! <laughs> What's the best zone? Oh. So, funny enough, what I think is the best zone and what is objectively my favorite zone. Are, are, are both very different answers. I think in terms of like a contender for the best zone, um, a lot of people will say that Green Hill or like Emerald Hill are the best intros to any Sonic game and they're some of the best stages. I would take Angel Island over Green Hill Zone any day. It's so much more lush. It has such a better design. The actual like, the actual level layout and gimmicks that come along with it are extremely fun mm -hmm. and the entire level is just like peak sonic design angel island is so solid people don't talk about it enough i love I angel island love that zone and then as for my favorite this is gonna sound odd and people are gonna fucking kill me because this is a, a water level but uh title tempest from cd oh. is one of the most relax uh, one of the most relaxing and, and soothing levels of any video game ever to me. It is so nostalgic and comforting on like a visceral level. It reminds me of the Rainforest Cafe, which I used to visit when I was a kid. Very, very good choice. My, okay, my favorite, my favorite zone from the classic games um, is the friggin' Bad Future Stardust Speedway. Bad Future Stardust Speedway rocks. Um, I, I, I think my only it. problem with CD is that I just... And I think you could agree with this. The only thing bad about CD is that there isn't enough Metal Sonic. Give Absolutely. us more. Give us more. The one, the one thing I wish we got out of CD was if Metal Sonic's boss fight was similar to the one we got in Mania. 
I really like the Mania right. boss fight. I really, really like Metal Sonic's Mania boss fight. No, because, like, the thing is, I grew up watching the Sonic OVA and seeing Sonic just fucking ruthlessly going at Sonic, like, fighting to the death. He, he fucking meant business in that movie. And so I want that Metal Sonic to be translated to the games. We don't get to see him lose his shit enough and, like, very coldly try to dispose of Sonic. I would love, um... Like, I would love if they kept the whole thing of, like, Metal Sonic and Sonic, like, racing, because I do like the whole idea that, like, Metal Sonic in CD was, They've like... They've raced so much, though. They do it every time he's included. Well, yeah, but CD was the first time he was ever included, so... That was, like, his oh, first I thought you ever. meant I, I thought I thought you meant past that past that. Okay. No, I, I mean like specifically in CD. Like I would have liked if they kept the whole race aspect of it, but also included some kind of combat with him alongside it, sort of like the Generations or Mania boss fight. You know how in Knuckles' boss fight in Sonic 3K, uh, it it's almost like Knuckles has his own AI. Like he kind of operates in the same way that you do. Yeah. I would have loved if like. Instead of the really kind of mediocre final boss from CD that we got, if we uh, got to the final part of Metallic Madness Act 3, it shifted to the bad future, and then we had to fucking race Metal Sonic before, like, fighting him, and it was really intense. That would be neat. Also, somebody, I, uh, I, somebody we, asked for your thoughts on Neo Metal Sonic. I think he's cool. I still prefer his design from CD. But I really do like Neo Metal Sonic, and I, I love his character a lot, because they gave him so much that they have since stripped from his character. Mm -hmm. He's a little cheese, but I love it. My thing with Neo Metal Sonic is just the fact that uh, while I think his voice is badass, I prefer a Metal Sonic that doesn't talk. Same. Same. Either that, or uh, did you know that... Metal Sonic has a canon voice in CD, and it's really good. He does? Yeah. In, um... In Metallic Madness Act 3... I mean, sorry, in Metallic Madness Bad Future, any zone, uh, the JP music, um, has this voice in the background. It's just like, Sonic, dead or alive, is mine. That, that whole, like, very robotic like, almost synthesized voice, and it's been all but confirmed that, you know, that's Metal Sonic, and it makes sense given the dialogue spoken during that song, and so it's like, it's almost like really broken text-to-speech, that and, is... and that's what I imagine Metal Sonic like. That is insanely cool, I need to hear that whenever, uh, whenever I'm done on the stream. Yeah. That is Honestly, so cool. Honestly, um... Actually, I have to spout my opinion to your thousands of viewers. Um, I actually think that, and 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 y'all are gonna be confused by this at first, but I'll explain my stance. Sonic CD is the best video gaming creepy pasta of all time. Okay, Sonic actually. CD in and of itself as a game, because it doesn't seem threatening at first, but the more and more you think about Sonic CD the more and more fucked up it gets. Also, there and is... it's really cool. Sorry to cut you off, but people are asking what your favorite color is. Oh, um, it's a, it's a tie between black, pink, and red. All good choices, all very good choices. But yeah, no, I agree though, like, Sonic CD is creepy as hell. No, because the thing is, right, Okay, think about this. Sonic 4 confirms that the bad future is canon. That Sonic does not get the good ending. Right? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's in Generations 2, which means it is 100% canon that Sonic fucking fails to save everybody. And oh now, I, I want to post something to you. Okay. Why do you think we only see Metal Sonic in the bad future? Wait. <laughs> what happened to Sonic? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait a minute! 
And the worst thing is that Sega has never made a statement about this. They have never confirmed or denied that whatsoever. No. And think about this. Metal Sonic doesn't act like the other bad Nick. Like bad Nick, sorry. He he has physical mannerisms. He waves his finger like Sonic does. He talks. He fucking talks in Metallic Madness JP. He talks in Sonic Heroes. The other bad Nicks can't and don't do that. Oh my god. I never- Metal Sonic is the bad future version of roboticized Sonic after he fucking fails to save everybody. This completely changes how I view Sonic CD. What the hell? And they haven't said anything about that?! They haven't said anything about this. Oh they haven't denied this theory. That is insane! I just ran away by accident. What the hell? Dude. Metal Sonic, man. Metal Sonic is the coolest Sonic villain. Right. Have you- I'm back. Have you seen my funny about- or my video about the funny clip from the last stream dedicated to you? I- I did see the video, yes. The- clip of me and Lyra freaking out over the Shadow the Hedgehog voice with all the Theft King quotes. Yeah. I watched that whole um, thing. Also, Lyra food review, what do you think about eggs? Eggs are actually one of my favorite foods. I love eggs. What happened uh, to Lyra? Lyra's right here talking. Oh, we're so close. We're at 910. Oh shit. But like, a uh, fun fact, um, so I'm neurodivergent, I'm on the spectrum, and a fun fact about people on the spectrum is actually that, um, one of the reasons why we had trouble mentally operating is because, uh, we actually lack very strong connections between the left and right hemispheres of our brain, which, um, normal, like, neurotypical people have very strong connections between the left and right hemispheres of the brain, which allows them to process thought um, in a way that's adequate enough for them to function. But a lot of people on the spectrum don't have that, meaning that it is really hard for them to process thought. So, a lot of people on the spectrum actually tend to crave specific types of proteins, be it red meat or eggs or whatever, because some of the specific proteins or enzymes or whatever in those foods actually strengthen the connections between the left and right hemispheres of our brain. It is basically our body hardwiring us to get a specific thing that we don't have. Huh. That's at least how I understand it. That... You're, change you're teaching me so many things during the stream today, I'm telling you. <laughs> what can I say? My boyfriend has a nurse for a mom. You're like... You're just like nicely educating me in my chat while also blowing our minds every now and then. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of Fleetway Sonic? I've I've drawn Fleetway Supersonic. Fleetway Fleetway Sonic is so strange and I love him. I have I have drawn Fleetway Supersonic and in fact, uh literally today while I was like driving home to get ready for the stream, I considered drawing uh my own like stylized version of the Fleetway Supersonic because that's my favorite version of Supersonic ever. Oh, we're, we're like really? one or two one or two more encounters and I'll be able to buy the trophy. Also, people are, uh, Celadon Industries asks if we like bugs. I adore bugs. I love bugs so much. I'm, s like, if there's two I things- I love bugs as well. Yeah, like, if there's two things that are, like, my guilty pleasure just to, like, read up on and learn about, it's bugs and marine life. Right, um, I actually think that bugs and marine life are my two favorite, like, motifs for designing creatures in horror. Yeah. I love those. Like, uh... Have you have you ever seen the Mudos from Godzilla 2014? No way. Yes, yes, the giant. Those, those were like the giant insects, and the male one was like way smaller than the female one. Yes, there. Those are literally like some of my favorite movie creature designs ever. I love Fucking those things. Love I find it so interesting how in Godzilla 2014, like those things were the main villain that we were uh, spending most of the movie being afraid of, and when Godzilla showed up, it was like one of those things where we were like. Getting excited to see them kick their ass. Right. 
I think Godzilla 2014 in general is just a fantastic film, and it's a real shame that a lot of people don't like it. I feel like it is way underappreciated. Like, really, really right. underappreciated. It's such a good film! I loved it when I went to go see it. Also, uh, I'm gonna do one more fight, because I don't know the specific, but we're at 9.95. I'm gonna do one more fight. Because I don't remember the specific number, but I don't know if we're just barely off or not. But this this is the last fight before I get the 200%. Somebody said I need a piece of artwork of Lyra and Clyde on a couch, uh, playing games or like at an arcade machine. Aww. 995 is max? I, oh, well, I'll run away then. <laughs> what I need what I need somebody to do is like animate the fucking clip of me spouting out Theft King quotes and Shadow the Hedgehog's voice. I couldn't breathe. My stomach hurt from how hard I was laughing at that. If there is a hell, no, please. you're gonna be burning it for eternity. <laughs> it's so good. Why is your voice for him so good? Damn, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's go. We got it. We got it. That <laughs> game just said I'm here. Yes. Oh, yes. Was that it? Do we have the 200%? Where does it Where does it show? Where does it show? 200%! We got it! We got it! What do I have to do now? You said there was a special cutscene or something? We, we have 200% completion. Ugh. Cuz- cuz- Beat Machinist again. Uh. I have to fight Morse okay. again. Okay. Okay. Um, go away. Go away. Castra and Lyra, how do you feel about the Layers of Fear games? I will say that I think they are a laughable exercise in trying to recreate the magic of PT. But I don't know how- uh, Pastor feels about them. Damn! I thought they were pretty light. <laughs> okay, first things I first, think, though. I think Layers of Fear, on an objective level, is not the best game. But I, I commend Bloober Team's efforts. I will say that. Okay, uh, we've got... So I have to fight- do I have to fight Morse all over again? Yep. Okay, I need- I don't have any items, though. I think- I think Kane Carter just rose out of out of the just rose out of hell like Murdoch Nichols and he's like I'm here <laughs> time to beat the game okay 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 if I have to beat Morse again um I want to get some gear for that because I am not well suited up for it I have nothing because I used all of my resources to fight him the first time uh <laughs> oh my god Arthur Kitchener says, Lara, 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 did you know that Pop Goes Arcade is available for only $4.99? Oh, my, my health yes, is- Yes, I uh, did! You should buy it! My health is maxed out now. Uh, I've got 10 coins. Yeah, I've got- the only thing I have is two shields. I want some kind of items for fighting Morse again. I'm gonna- I'm gonna save, guys. I'm gonna go save. Oh, Team Vampire Hunter D says, you know- Watching you play reminds me of when I was a young girl and I used to watch my brother play Dead Space. Thank you. And Lyra is a total undead doll. I love her. Also, Clyde plush when? Someday. Someday. Waiting for makeshift to reach out. Real. Someday. Which, by the way, did you know that? Did you know that makeshift fucking reached out to Bon Bon Films? Really? Yeah. I don't know how that story is going right now because they kind of ghosted her a bit. Oh. Um, due to a, do not not like ghosted her, but they uh, they they looked at a non-updated version of the uh, the poll from her Twitter and just assumed that that was the the current version and that people didn't want to plush. And she tried sending a message like wait wait, and they have not reached back out to her yet. That is unfortunate. Um, but I think it's just because Makeship is doing a lot of stuff and they're constantly busy, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't pin that on them or anything. Like I'm, I'm sure that they're, because Bon told me about that a while back, so I'm pretty sure things are okay now. I don't know if we are getting a Bon Bon Films plush, but if we are, that's pretty poggers. Okay, I'm gonna stock up a little bit on money, get some items. Um, I stocked up on a bunch of ability recharges, and hopefully that'll be able to help me. Why did you redesign Clyde? Because I like this design better. And he needed a zipper. True. Zach, have you seen that meme? That's just 
It's like, sometimes I wonder how I taste, lol. And then it's like the, I can help with that. Yes. One person is thinking of making out, the other person is thinking of biting arm. Yes, 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 I've seen that. There's, there's like an alternate version of that where both of the people in the bottom panel are thinking about biting the fuck out of the other person's arm. <laughs> and um, I feel like that's us. <laughs> Absolutely. None of us are, none of us are thinking any romantic feelings were like, chomp. Hunger. Hunger. Red meat <laughs> for my little autistic brain. Oh, Reva says, I said hi, say hi to me now, please. Hi, Reva. Hello. 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 Lyra, 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 can I touch your face? <laughs> what do you think I should say to this one? Message deleted! <laughs> <laughs> My mom's dealt with that for you. Yep. I guess, I guess that's your answer, you'll never know. I, I don't I don't remember what the message said. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this money. I'm gonna go spend it on uh, oh. some shields and some stat boosts, and I've got like a ton of ability recharges. I'm just gonna try and fight more as I am. Somebody is telling me to check my Twitter. Oh my god. Okay, I'm looking at all of my tweets. Uh, Lara Horse, no joke, I made this at the beginning of the stream. Please look. Oh my gosh, somebody drew a little pasture spec plushie. Oh, that's so cute! That's awesome. Um, Metal Sonic fan may I interest you in the best AU I've ever seen of him. Okay, let's see. Oh, I've seen this! Metal Sonic, but like wearing the, the bloody skin of actual like organic Sonic. What? Fucking. <laughs> I'll send it to you afterwards, it's really sick looking. He's insane. Alright, let's go fight Morse. Oh, dude, somebody made a drawing of you, but like, uh, triumphantly standing on the head of the mangle with the scythe behind your back, it's really cool. Oh, that's so cool! Alright, let's it go, let's go Morse. wins. And anyone who is gonna tell me to save, don't worry, it auto saves before boss fights. <sighs> Alright, and I'm yeah, turning yeah, I'm yeah, turning yeah, the music buddy. back up because Morse's boss fight is music is amazing. Yeah, also can you share screen so I can uh, listen to the Right, music I'm not it's screen sharing anymore. I forgot about that. You're okay, I love you. <laughs> uh, somebody asked me my opinion on Binding of Isaac. That is a fucking childhood name right there. Well not childhood name. It was more like teenage years game. Uh <laughs> But I. Oh, and you got kind I of. I love a lot of grounds, adjacent properties. <laughs> Somebody's asking me if they can exist. Yes, you can exist. You are free to. Alright, he's about to do the foxy hook. We're gonna put up a shield. Hopefully I can, can you... manage this fight well. Let's see, uh, can you say some funnies with the shadow voice for chat? Um, chat, what do you want me to say in the shadow voice? I'll say reasonable things. Also, my opinion on SCP Containment Breach is that it's an absolute fucking classic. Absolutely. All right, <clears throat> trans rights. There you go. Poggers. If I'm not gonna say poggers in the Langman voice, I'll get you to say the shadow. I saw the PogChamp video. You can't trick me. No, no. All right, let's dig in. Ah, uh, the gamers are at it again. Damn, not here. Oh wait. <clears throat> Parry this, you filthy casual. This is the this is a great thing to have in the background while I'm fighting Morse. 
Exit stage left. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? There's the good line. Okay. Ooh, somebody told me to say, Clyde, you're goaded with the sauce. <laughs> of course. Hit him with the Popeye's biscuit with no drink. How low does he have so, oh, yes, yes! <clears throat> so this is the fabled Tilted Towers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've been waiting to say that one. <laughs> I love the Sonic fandom. Reality is an illusion. The universe is a hologram. Buy gold. Buy. Is that a Bill Cipher quote? Yes, it is. Oh my god, the person who drew up the, the whole, um, the whole Clyde plush toy thing, is that, that's actually like a concept for, for a plush they're actually gonna make. Oh! That is insane! That is insane, oh my god! Also, somebody, somebody said to say the, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, that is not what I needed. Yeah, I'm dead. It was something from the fan dub, but I do not know the whole quote. Oh yeah. Where the, wait, where the fuck is it? I have come for your nectar. Okay, there you go. Um. Oh wait, you don't need items to beat Morse. What? You don't need items. To yes. Well, Z Zach does. Yeah, I, I. I don't know the perfect strategy for fighting Morse. Okay. Let's let's look in chat. Let's see. You're a beta male, Sonic. Do you know who Joe is? God damn it. <laughs> Was that the bite of 87? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna save that. Oh god. Quirked up white boy- wait. Qu quirked up orange boy busts it down spooky style. Is he, or is he not goaded with the sauce? We need to vent, Sonic. Oh my god, wait, this one is gonna be really good. <laughs> Are you telling me a shrimp fried this rice? I'm just picturing Shadow at like a fine, <laughs> like, a fine dining restaurant just staring at his rice. He's unable to comprehend that a shrimp fried his rice. Uh. Also, Hollow the Void, who drew the scythe slide. Uh, yeah, fucking thank you so much for that. That picture is goaded. That picture is amazing. Sauce. I have the power of God and anime on my side. Ooh. All right, we're going is there anything on this menu not swimming in gravy? <laughs> Alright, we got the menorah. We got to the robo menorah phase at full health. This is really good. Oh, this is a good idea. My- Sorry if I don't read every shadow request, it's just that the chat is going kind of fast. Um, but this is a good idea. Ahem. <clears throat> everybody! Hello, it's me, Shadow the Hedgehog. I just want to tell you- Oh wait, I'm at 100 buy... health! Oh. Oh. I'm so stupid. No! I just want to tell you all to buy Popco's Arcade on Steam for only $4.99. Plus, it has the machinist expansion already built into it. I think that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Also, somebody's asking if I could possibly impersonate Lankman. I don't know if I can do that. I can try. Hello, Pastra! <laughs> like, that was definitely good. Just... Like, that was really I've good. taken over this channel, and now you're all going to die. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really good. Thank you. Of course he. You're making the mother of all omelets here, Sonic. 
Hello, Peter. Welcome to Fortnite. I want to pee in a hot topic, Maria. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Okay, what? Please? Yeah. Zach, don't kill me for this one. This is this is what one of your mods is asking me to say, so you, you can't fault me for this. Uh -oh. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, Clyde Senpai. Please give me Huggy Wuggies. Ooh, ooh. I'm okay. sorry, I'm sorry, it was one of your mods. It was I cannot focus on the fight like this. <laughs> Why aren't you just a little scrunkly? A little scramblo even. Damn it, he keeps using the friggin' hook. Lyra, you should do voice acting. I do voice act, occasionally. I don't get many requests to be on projects, but when I do, it is always a pleasure. <coughs> My god. He really likes using the hook on me. Chat, I don't think I'm allowed to say poggers in the Lankman voice. I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Also, I like the purple pog that you sent, Kood. Very poggers. That's right, Sonic. It was me. It was always me, Sonic. <laughs> Perfect. I want to say the I want to say the other quote from that, but I don't know if I can. Okay, we got a crit. Perfect. That's really good. I'm I'm gonna make the quote, but like safe for work. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Sonic, when you fainted in front of Amy, that was me making you run fifty thousand miles in one second, so that it would make it would make it seem like you fainted in front of Amy just at the sight of her. Thank you for making that safe for work. Yeah. No, I, d I didn't want to say the full one because it's it's a bit much for a stream. I would say that on Twitter. I would not say that on here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. We destroyed that really fast. Okay, he's good. He's gotten. A g he's got a good attack rotation right now. <laughs> and we crit. Oh my god. Come on, man! You gotta quit! <laughs> you gotta do it, man! For me, bro! You can. Okay, he, uh, he's about to complete his friggin' pillar. I'm gonna dig. Perfect. We're gonna be at full health for this. I think we'll be able to manage that. I've come to make an announcement. Kane Carter is a vindictive evil person. <laughs> no! He pissed- he pissed off my fucking wife. There, I, I wrapped up a couple requests into one. Fine, I'll send, I'll send! Oh yeah, that's from the new fan dub, isn't it? Yeah. That dig feature Me. is coming in clutch for this fight. Right, Digachad. <laughs> Digachad! Somebody said, can I please say... Oh, I can't say that now. Chad has deleted it. That was probably for the best. <laughs> that was probably for the best. Alright, um, chat? I feel like the mods are getting a bit kept up and a bit stressed. Um, so can we have this be the end point of the shadow requests? I love y'all, and I have fun doing Shadow's voice, but it's a bit much. I don't want the mods to get super stressed out. I hope y'all And there we go. There we go. There that, we go. That is Morse defeated with 200%. So, I believe there is a special cutscene like the one we got at the end of the Dead Forest because we got 200%. Okay, let's see this. So, I'm really, really excited to see this. I've already seen all this dialogue, so I'm not going to read through it again.
So, did I impress you? <laughs> Very different voice than I do. All right, Kane says, here we go. Kane says, here we go, and that is... Oh, what? Kane's saying, here we go. <laughs> the golden boy. The golden boy. The golden boy. Golden boy. The golden boy. The boy. The boy. The boy. The boy. The boy. The boy. <laughs> God, this cutscene's still so cute. I love this cutscene so much. It is. It's so cute. Yeah, let's go 200%, baby. We got the yellow name. We got the achievement. Six yeah. hours and five minutes in. 200%. Okay. What is this cutscene gonna be? Oh. What's this cutscene gonna Come be? Come on. What's this cutscene gonna be? Fucking love this ambience already. Okay, there's there's pop goes again. Yeah. Is it gonna is it gonna hit the gritty this time? <laughs> Search Fortnite dancing. I fucking love it when pop goes hits the gritty. What? What? Huh? 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 Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! What the fuck? What? 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 Are you currently playing? What? No! I, I was able to click on things, but... Oh my god! What? Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my uh, god! Uh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was so cool! So worth it! That was so worth it! That was so worth the grind! Oh my god. Oh we did it! And we got that golden name! We got that golden title screen! Oh my god! That was awesome! This was obviously way before we revealed the office on YouTube. I figured, I figured as much. Hope you Kane, Kane, this game has been amazing, okay? Like, I, like, okay, I'm gonna turn the volume of the game down a little bit because I'm about to get very ranty. Um, no, but, like, I am not going to, like, I, I do not want it to be known that I went into this game with low expectations because I did not. I expected a good game out of this. I expected an enjoyable, like, RPG experience from this game. But for, like... For what I did expect, this game has absolutely blown me away, man. Like, the, 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 like, everything about it. Like, the combat, the over, like, traversing the overworld, getting power-ups in the dead forest to make the game more, like, convenient and make it feel better as you go along. The entire machinist expansion, seeing, like, seeing the way, like, you paid homage to, like, Five Nights at Freddy's and old Pop Ghost stuff. Because, like... Like, playing the game as somebody who was so interested in the original Pop Goes before getting into this, it was so cool seeing how, like, you and everyone who worked on this game paid homage to what made that game so cool, making something entirely unique. And the way that this game, like, explains lore, both within its own story, while also giving us a proper context onto the rules of how, like, supernatural possession works, both in the Candies universe and how it's going to work in Evergreen. Like, that is, that is insane to me. That is so cool to me. And, like, that moment, at like, when, like, the moment you realize that there's some meta stuff going on and you realize that, like, there are horror aspects to this that are like, 
Like, when you find out the machine is, like, possessed, or you find those easter eggs that reveal stuff about Evergreen, like Bonnie's death, that is something you don't expect going into this! And when you find it, it is insane, because, like, you get so immersed in the RPG that when horror stuff starts coming in, it completely catches you off guard! Like, it's- Seriously. it's amazing! To- to say my piece, just, god, what a fucking great game. I've had the funnest time watching this. Thank you, Kane, for taking the time. Um, Kane and the rest of your team putting so much effort into this fucking phenomenal thing. Um, I just I I know I'm I'm sounding real dumb right now. I'm just speechless. Like it's beautiful. Like. And to think that this game, like, keep this in mind, everybody. Keep this in mind to everyone who's been watching this. I've been playing this game for a collective 12 hours, and you've seen the sheer amount of content in this. This game's a teaser for Evergreen. This game exists, like, this, this game is, like, a complete game in itself. But, like, its purpose is to set up another game that's coming. What does that mean for, like, later games to come from this? If this game is, like, such a complete package and such an enjoyable experience to, like, on its own. Like, this game exists just to tease Evergreen and to, and, like, for a game that's teasing Evergreen, like, <laughs> This is... This is, like, far beyond any, like, teaser, just period. This is straight up just, on its own, a fucking phenomenal game that I would play even if it wasn't teasing Evergreen. Like, yeah, exactly. If, if Evergreen didn't exist, and this was the one game we got, like... Of course, you know, a lot of this, a lot of the really cool moments... Also, uh, Lyra, there is a slight echo, like, you can slightly hear me on, uh, coming from your mic. Oh um, my god, hold on, let me, let me... Uh, I, actually, wait. Zach, I did want to talk about... Yeah. Kane just sent us a list of often missed details that I would love to read out for chat because he has graciously given us permission. Oh, absolutely, um, go over it, please. So, so, so here is that, so here are some things that players commonly miss. Uh, the sprite used for scrap bots spin the other way. Ooh. Lights in the caves stop flickering after you beat Mangle. We actually did see that one. Robot Minora is bleeding from her face. That's <laughs> slightly horrifying. What? A faint, to a faint Toreador march can be heard near the end of Mangle's theme. That is some fucking amazing attention to detail. That is awesome. Uh, the, a the acorn that Robot Bonnie digs up is made of metal. <laughs> Love that. Uh, the rails below Robot Bonnie are broken because of him using his dig ability. Again, amazing attention to detail. Coin bots actually lunge at you in the overworld when you interact with them. Robot Foxy and Mangle's hook uses a uh, pristine material. Ooh, the silhouette of King Freddy can be seen in the Cam 7 battle background. No way. Huh. There's no the, way. The lights on the server cabinet in Cam 7... Uh, Rec 3 turned red at the last second. Is that to indicate that somebody... Wait, somebody's watching the room with the corpse in it? Cause like, that's Cam uh... 7 security footage. That stuff is saved and recorded, you're right. But like, he, he's saying at the last second the light turns red, meaning that like somebody's actively using that camera. Uh, BG Cell 12.7 and BG Cell 12.8 in the Cam 7 sequence is completely... Uh, accurate. Um, paint bots have visible robot joints in their sprite in the overworld. The key cards are visible on each mini boss's chest, a reference to the Heartless. Uh, oh my god, fucking hell. Goes so far. The player's name changes to guest user in the Camp 7 sequence. Interesting. That's really so the cool. Flashlight in yeah, the flashlight in the Camp 7 recordings does not flicker until Bonnie is dead. Uh, Bonnie's soul has new sound effects in the dead forest, and, and they are personalized. Uh, there's a black rabbit page in the bestiary if you die to her, and it breathes. Ugh. What? The, 
the tree that the cat talks about uh, fruit in front of does bear fruit in the dead forest. Uh, the mangle is the only cave enemy that is not charged as it isn't powered by electricity. Also, um... Oh! Kane said the, the light turning red is to indicate that the server cabinet has become haunted. Oh, oh wait, I was thinking I was thinking of a wrong red light. I was thinking... Oh! Sorry, I was... My mind went to... I'm silly. I went to security camera red light. Server cabinet red light to... Okay, that makes a lot of sense. It is literally visually representing the machine becoming haunted. So we get to see the moment that the cabinet gains new life. That's so cool. Oh, I love that. Dude, and like, that's that's the thing, is like... There's so much attention to detail when you sit down and analyze it. I feel like you can sit down and pick this apart. Like, you could pick apart everything within it. And like, again, this is just... This is just a piece of two games that are coming from, uh, like, the entire team that King Carter's got for this game. And it is insane to me. This game's absolutely blown me away. I would not... I have dedicated 12 hours to this game collectively, and it was worth every second of it. I've dedicated 12 hours to a six-hour game. Like, that is Honestly, wild. Honestly, I think it was... I think you were better off for it. Like, I think spending more time on the game just made us appreciate it more. Yeah, actually. Also, uh, Kane, uh, I wanted to show you, um, somebody in the stream, uh, Nexus, made a glam rock pop goes. Hold on, let me... There we go. I put it. I put it in chat for you. Somebody made their little, their own little glam rock pop goes. I think you would enjoy that. That's super cool. Oh wait, what? Oh, that's so this neat. So oh, can you see the glam rock pop goes. Yeah. Uh, here I'll send the link to it. It's yeah, yeah. Uh, put it in chat so everybody else can see it. And then I showed Kane, and Kane says, Oh, nice. It's my first time seeing this. Thank you for sharing. So, uh, Nexus, know that your art has been seen by Kane and is appreciated. I th think it is a cool design. All right. God, this has just been such a good stream, though. Wow. Yeah, the stream has been wild. Um... Yeah, now that we're at the end of the game, I guess it's time to start closing things off for it. Um, so, I, Piggy Joe has asked me at least five times what my opinions are on Big the Cat. So, as a climactic, as a climactic message, I will say I think he's cool. <laughs> Just a second. All right, so. Yeah, I think I think it's time we start closing this closing this off though, because it has been a wild ride both this stream and the one yesterday. Um, so okay, first of all, uh, we've been we've been joking about this. We've been making jokes the entire time, but like seriously though, if you've got the computer for it, which like you know, there's a lot it's of a pretty small it's game. It's a pretty small game, so a lot of cute computers can run it. Um, it'll be eventually available on mobile and consoles. But like seriously though, all jokes aside. If you are able to support this game, please do go and buy it on Steam. Like I said, I've been able to spend 12 hours just playing this game and having a good time on it. All the content is extremely enjoyable. It's it's just challenging enough to be fun, but it's not too challenging to the point where it just feels unfair. There's a ton of story and there's a ton of heart behind it, and it's extremely cheap, so it deserves all the support it can get. And thank you to everyone who was able to come in here tonight. Uh, cause we've had, yeah, like- thank you, seriously. Like, we've had consistently high concurrent viewers, and that is ridiculous to me. That is absolutely insane. Um, once again, uh, thank you so much to Kane Carter for not only being here within, like, the first hour of it, but also just sticking with us in the chat the entire time and watching it go along. Um, 
It's been fun how it's been really like fun and it it's felt very special to be able to play through a game that is like of high quality like this and have the developer of that game like you know like have the head behind that game watching through it and actually like um like seeing you through the entire thing and just talking about it the whole time like that feels really special to me. Yeah, it's it's like watching a really good movie and then getting to sit down with the director afterwards and be like Hey, what was your what was your intention behind this moment? Or this part was really cool. I'm getting to hear their insights about that. Yeah, exactly. It's been th these past two streams have probably been my favorites I've ever done on the channel. They have been extremely enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, uh, if there's nothing else to be said, uh, I think that's the end of the stream for now. Do you have any closing oh my comments? God. Um, my closing comments are um. Again, I know I've said this a million times, a heartfelt thank you for having me on. I am so glad that both you and chat have been so accepting towards me being on the stream. And equally, I am both surprised and incredibly flattered that people have taken the time to make fan art of me. It is so, so appreciated. I just saw another doodle that was made for me by, let me actually read their name in uh, chat, uh, Terato Lust. And I'm pretty sure that's also their name on Twitter. Thank you for the doodle. It is super appreciated. It looks awesome. Um, would love to be on more of these in the future. And again, you're awesome, Zach. Thank always you. will. I will always be happy to hop on one of these whenever you want. I'll stop what I'm doing, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll drive home from work and be like, okay, I'm not getting money today. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll be glad to have you on a bunch of future streams because it seems like uh, it seems like people really like the atmosphere you're bringing in here, and it's always fun to just be on VC and talk while we're playing games. So definitely yeah, the future. Yeah, chat got attached to me. Yeah, chat did. <laughs> all right, though, uh, I think that's gonna be the end of it. Uh, thank you all for coming once again. It's been really fun. Um, I'll see you all very, very soon in whatever I end up streaming or making a video on next, and. Uh, as I always say in my streams and on my videos and whatever, goodbye for now. Goodbye.